Chapter 30, Jumbo Loot Ocean Despair had immediately recovered after the boss had been defeated. Brother Expert, you're my idol from now on. You do not know how much I admire you. Snowy Death shouted in the party channel. Zhang Yang said, don't release your bodies yet. I'll be looting the corpse so that all of you can revive at the dungeon entrance after that to save time. Okay, the crowd agreed. Holy spirits abracadabra, please give me the shield recipe. Zhang Yang rubbed his hands together and went towards the boss corpse. Resurrection, skill book. Use, you will learn, resurrection. Class requirement, sacred knight, priest. Wow brother, you have the lucky hand. Phantom Day yelled. Have a talk with the sacred knight, we must get our hands on this skill book. Crimson Fire quickly sent a private message to Silky Snow. Resurrection, would be extremely useful in dungeon raids, greatly reducing the time consumed to revive oneself and therefore boosting the efficiency of dungeon raids. Okay. Silky Snow replied and sent a private message to Ocean Despair, Ocean, can you let me have this, Resurrection, skill book first? I can pay you. How about 100 gold coins? After a while, Ocean Despair replied, I want to learn this skill too, let's roll together and see our luck. Silky Snow was in the middle of persuading Ocean Despair when Zhang Yang said, both healers roll for it. Silky Snow thought about it and decided to roll first. If her roll was higher then she could save herself the trouble of persuading a hard-headed person. Even if she had rolled a lower number, it was still not too late to strike a deal with Ocean Despair. The rest of the party had passed, leaving both healers to roll. Silky Snow, 86 points. Ocean Despair, 91 points. The skill book immediately went into Ocean Despair's inventory. Without hesitation, he immediately patted the skill book on his body and gained the resurrection skill. Silky Snow had still wanted to private message him, but who could have guessed that Ocean Despair had acted so quickly? Ocean, you can use your new skill to save them now. I'll continue to loot the corpse. Zhang Yang laughed and said. With a hum from Ocean Despair, he began chanting to resurrect the party members. Smithing recipe, earthen round shield, smithing recipe. Use you will learn to smith earth and round shield. Requirement, beginner's smithing skill. That's it. Zhang Yang's eyes radiated and said, everyone, I won't be courteous now. They had a deal previously, that if a smithing recipe dropped, it would be given to Zhang Yang. The entire party had passed on rolling, and Zhang Yang patted the recipe on his body at once. A golden light flashed, adding earthen round shield to the initially empty smithing list. Earthen round shield, green copper, shield. Defense, plus 40. Vitality, plus 20. Level requirement, 10. Holy cow. The shield alone had provided 200 HP and 40 defense points. Even if the boss had high attack, it could reduce an ample amount of physical damage, significantly boosting one's survivability. Furthermore, most players only had white wood equipment now and they were definitely going to be unable to break past this 40 points of defense. Big Bro Jan Yu, posed the shield description, let us witness its power too. Phantom Day could not help but ask when he saw Zhang Yang's foolish grin. Zhang Yang smiled and posted the shield's description to the party channel. Wow, such high defense. I object. Objection. High dexterity and low strength classes like us thieves would definitely be unable to break your defense with just normal attacks. Snowy Death was shocked. Brother Zhang Yu, please smith a few more for us if you have enough materials. Our guild will buy them from you. Crimson Fire sent a private message to Zhang Yang. He could imagine that with tanks equipping this shield, their survivability would definitely be raised to another level. Okay. 
His main purpose in obtaining this recipe was to sell the shields for money anyway, so Zhang Yang had agreed readily, 500 gold coins each. Damn, you have no mercy. Ha ha, your guild is so wealthy that a mere 500 gold coins is nothing for you. Crimson Fire hesitated a while before saying, OK, I'll book one for now. Mail it to me via cash on delivery when you're done. OK, pleased to be working with you, big boss. Zhang Yang laughed. The primary materials to smith this shield were iron bar and rare copper bar. Iron bar, could made from, iron ore, which was worthless, while, plain copper bar, came from, plain copper ore, where a spawn point was available at the third boss. Each time hardcore mode banger crypt was cleared, he could collect two to four plain copper ores. Basically, he was doing a zero capital business. Little Yang, hurry up and loot the corpse, I can't wait any longer. Fatty Han expressed his impatience. Zhang Yang laughed and extended his arm to loot again. Shiny silver pendant, green copper, necklace. Physical, plus three. Intelligent, plus two. Equipped effect, target receives an additional buff of magic shield each time a healing spell is casted. Shield disappears after absorbing 20 points damage or after 30 seconds. Shield effect cannot be stacked. Level requirement, 10. Wow. Even though the attributes are nothing much, there's a special effect. Phantom Day exclaimed. All necklaces and rings have special effects. That's why the drop rates are so low. Zhang Yang nodded and said, healers, roll for it. Ocean Despair and Silky Snow helped themselves and rolled, Ocean Despair winning the roll, at the end. Shadow Collar, Green Copper, Necklace. Vitality, plus 3. Strength, plus 1. Dexterity, plus 1. Equipped Effect, each attack on the target will inflict one stack of, Shadow Wrath. When three stacks of, Shadow Wrath, are achieved, 20 points shadow damage will be inflicted onto the target. Level requirement, 10. All physical attack classes can roll for it. Let's roll together, no need to give it up to anyone. Let's see our luck. Zhang Yang said laughing as he rolled first. Those who had initially wanted to give up their rolls changed their decisions and tried their luck after hearing what Zhang Yang had said. Even if they could not get it, it was still for the fun of it. As a result, Zhang Yang overshadowed everyone with a mere 76 point roll. Ha ha, what sha asterisk tty luck you guys have. Zhang Yang shook his head and equipped the necklace. Archer's ring, green copper, ring. Vitality, plus two. Dexterity, plus three. Equipped effect. Ranged attacks have a fixed rate of activating, wind's blessing, effect. Effect increases attack speed by 10% for 10 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. Level requirement, 10. Hunters, roll for it. Zhang Yang selected to pass. Oh yeah. Defiant Monk was very lucky to have rolled 100 points, instantly winning 100 shots, and Fatty Han. Amber ring, green copper, ring. Vitality, plus three. Strength, plus one. Equipped effect, each successful dodge of attack have a fixed rate of increasing 20 points strength for 10 seconds. This effect cannot be stacked. Level requirement, 10. D asterisk MN, why is the trigger conditioned by dodging and not attacking? Phantom Day was angry. This effect would be useful in park or solo grinding but for dungeon raids, he would have no chances of evading attacks as a damage dealer. Fine if you don't want it. Zhang Yang laughed as he said. Who says I don't want it? Come on, let's roll. Phantom Day said quickly and tapped the roll button. Zhang Yang was aware that he had gotten more than enough and decided to pass. The result was Crimson Fire winning the role.
D asterisk MN, Guildmaster, you a thief class need dexterity, not strength. Don't snatch it from me. Phantom Day cried. F asterisk CK, more nonsense and I'll throw you out. Crimson Fire laughed as he said. Phantom Day immediately went speechless. Zhang Yang looted again but there were only gold coins left. However, they had hauled four equipment, a skill book, and a recipe, it could already be considered as a jumbo loot. Ding. You have received ten silver coins after distribution. After every item was distributed, Momoriomo's corpse too had disappeared. All right, all done. Everyone can now go back to the capital and complete the quest. There should still be a black steel equipment reward. Zhang Yang took a teleportation reagent from his inventory and asked Fatty Han, Fatty, you have teleportation reagent? Teleportation reagent? What is that? Fatty Han returned Zhang Yang a lost sheep expression. Zhang Yang shook his head and traded a teleportation reagent over and said, this will teleport you to the nearest friendly town, saves you the journey. There's such a thing. Fatty Han quickly confirmed the trade, little Yang, don't be so stingy, give me a few more. F asterisk CK, this thing costs one gold coin each. It's expensive. Despite his complaint, Zhang Yang had still traded a few more reagents with Fatty Han. He still had 20 plus gold coins anyway, and Crimson Fire had still owed him 10,000 more. Brother Zhang Yu, why not reserve your dungeon entry tomorrow for our guild? I'll hire you, what do you think of 1,000 gold coins per hardcore mode raid? And if the equipment looted are of use to you, you'll have the highest priority. Crimson Fire sent a private message to Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang pondered, leading dungeon raids would undoubtedly be a good way to earn a fortune. Not only could he get equipment, he could also earn lots of gold coins. It would only be for now though. When he had finally established his own guild, he would not need to work for others anymore. Okay, tomorrow morning at 9am. We'll gather at the dungeon entrance. Zhang Yang quickly sent back a private message, but I want to reserve an attacker spot for Fatty. Deal. See you tomorrow. Crimson Fire agreed readily. Big Brother, please approve as friend, said Snowy Death as he sent a friend request. Snowy Death had acted as a prompt for the rest of the party, and they too had sent friend requests to Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang smiled and approved each friend request. Ripping teleportation reagent, a magic circle glowing with a white light appeared under his feet. With that, he quit the party and said, Goodbye everyone, see you. Big brother, bye. See you. Since teleportation reagent was overly expensive, the others were not willing to spend it. Other than Fatty Han who had also torn one of the reagents, the rest of the party members went by foot. Ten seconds later, the magic circle was formed completely and a white light enveloped Zhang Yang. With a flash, the white light dissipated and Zhang Yang had appeared in the portal of White Jade Castle. Another white light flashed and Fatty Han too had appeared next to Zhang Yang. Little Yang, since when did you become so powerful? Fatty Han had been Zhang Yang's buddy, but his outstanding performance made him felt like Zhang Yang was a complete stranger. Since when was I not outstanding? Zhang Yang laughed. F asterisk CK. Fatty Han booed but did not ask further. Regardless of what had happened, Zhang Yang would always be his brother, and that was enough for him. Chapter 31, Pride Quad. Let's go, it's time to complete the quest. Zhang Yang dragged Fatty Han in search of Army Captain Soren and completed the raid quest, obtaining a black steel ring. Soren's appreciation ring, black steel, ring. Vitality, plus two. Strength, plus three. Equipped effect, each attack triggers a fixed rate in healing your HP. Recovery rate will be 1% of the damage. Level requirement, 10. 
this would be the first equipment in the game that possessed the life steal effect. It's too bad that the recovery rate was too low, and so was the trigger rate. It could not be helped since this was a general quest's reward, a ring as a reward was considered satisfactory and it's always better than receiving nothing at all. Hong. Huh? A flash of golden radiance illuminated the area, and Zhang Yang had risen to level 11 with the 10,000 EXP reward from his quest. He had thought that he would enter the player level ranking but after he checked the board, he found out that those who were still level 10 that morning had all reached level 11. He was not in the ranking but thankfully the player who had ranked first was still level 11. Fatty, I'm going to make the shield. Go level up yourself, said Zhang Yang. Fatty Han yawned and said, I've only slept for three to four hours. I'm feeling sleepy again so I guess I'm going to get some sleep first. Zhang Yang peeked at the system clock and said, F asterisk CK. It's going to be 6 p.m. What sleep? Go have your dinner and come back online to play for a while more. Rest well at night and don't burn the midnight oil anymore. You're playing for such a long time every day anyway, why would you stay up late? Hmm, makes sense. Well then, I shall go kill some mobs now that I've just gotten these new weapons. Eh? Hey? Hold up. Someone just private messaged me. He paused for a brief second and his face had immediately morphed into a perverted one. Little Yang, a pretty babe wants to chat with me, so I'm not gonna bullshit with you anymore. Zhang Yang smiled and left for the auction house. To make an earthen round shield, he would need 100 iron bar, S and 1 plain copper bar. Zhang Yang did not have any iron bar in his inventory so he had to buy them from the auction house. The auction house was where players trade, buy or sell items in the game. Every city would have them but different cities would not share the goods. Simply said, items put on auction in White Jade Castle's auction house could only be bought from the house itself, and players from other cities would have to travel all the way here if they wanted that particular item. Once Zhang Yang entered auction house, he loaded the search window and keyed in the keywords iron ore, iron bar. Tapping the search button, a whole page of results appeared. Since the game was still in its early stage, all sorts of prices were set. Zhang Yang did a simple price comparison and auctioned for 15 stacks of iron bar S that had costed 50 silver coins for each stack, buying a total of 300 bars. He then went to the mailbox and collected the iron bar S that were sent by the auction house. After that, he went to the smithy and placed 100 iron bar S and 1 playing copper bar onto the cast. He then opened the crafting window and selected the earthen round shield and tapped craft. His character then moved on its own and picked up a hammer, a progress bar appearing below his avatar. After 30 seconds. Ding. You have crafted earthen round shield. Your crafting skill has increased by one point. In God's miracle, Crafting level could be categorized into beginner, amateur, advanced, professional, specialist, master, and grandmaster. Each level up required 1000 crafting points. NPCs would not teach players to craft any items, and all of the items could only be learned through recipes found by players. The lower ranked recipes were easier to obtain but once a player had reached the professional level and beyond, it would be extremely hard to obtain even one recipe that corresponded to the level. Furthermore, going from professional to specialist would require a player to craft items from professional ranked recipes. Nothing could be done if there was no recipe of that rank. That was why even after five years in the game in his previous life, Far too few players had managed to become a grandmaster of crafting. Zhang Yang stroked the shield lovingly and swapped the old shield to equip it, raising his attributes by heaps. Player, Zhang Yu. Level, 11. HP, 790. 
Defense, 64. Strength, 86. Dexterity, 32. Luck, 2. Melee damage, 102-110. Attack interval, 2 seconds. 64 defense. Zhang Yang laughed. With such a high defense value, not many players would be able to penetrate his defense at the moment. His 790 HP could allow him to stand still and it would still take half a day for someone to kill him. He then proceeded to utilize all his materials and crafted two more shields. After that, he went to the mailbox and mailed one of the shields to Crimson Fire via cash on delivery. He then put the other shield up with a minimum bid of 400 gold coins and without a buyout price for a day on the auction house anonymously. It was about 6.30 pm when he had wanted to log off and have his dinner but he was interrupted by a private message notification sound. Buddy, I have a lot more, iron ore, s here. If you would like to buy more of them, you can contact me directly and I can give you a lower price. Zhang Yang checked and saw that the message was sent by someone named Professional Miner. He immediately recalled that it was the person whom he had bought the iron plate S from in the auction house. Auction houses would usually charge a 10% service fee, so most players would want to establish direct transactions with regular customers to cut their cost. Realizing that he would need a large amount of iron plate S to craft shields, he would indeed need a stable supplier. Zhang Yang then replied the message saying, A, I would require 10 to 20 stacks of iron plate S daily. Can you guarantee the constant supply? Ha ha, my name is Professional Miner 10 to 20. If you want several times more than that amount, I could also dig them up for you. Professional Miner replied smugly. Very well. What's the price? It depends on how many you want. Um, let's make it 100 stacks for now. Zhang Yang simply gave a number. That amount would allow him to produce only 20 shields anyway so it was not that much. Sheesh. What's with that amount? Professional Miner drew in a shaky breath. Ha ha, you said you could do it. Zhang Yang laughed as he replied. He he. 100 stacks are too much. I only have 30 stacks for now. Okay, 30 stacks it is. Name your price. Um, how about 48 silver coins per stack? Professional miner had auctioned a stack for 50 silver coins in the auction house and the 10% service fee would have cost him 5 silver coins. Therefore, the price offered now was cheaper by two silver coins which Zhang Yang thought was acceptable. Zhang Yang replied instantly, very well, mail them to me via COD. I'll be logging off to have dinner now. Okay, let's be friends. It's easier to keep in touch. Zhang Yang easily accepted the friend request and logged off. Taking off his gaming helmet, Zhang Yang let out a long breath. After laying down for such a long period of time, his body felt rather stiff. He stretched in his room for a bit before heading to the kitchen to prepare his dinner. He logged back in after having a simple meal. The email notification indicated that he had new mail so Zhang Yang went to the mailbox and retrieved them. The first one was about the iron ore S from professional miner. 14 gold coins were deducted after Zhang Yang selected accept as the transaction was via COD 30 stacks of iron ore S were then added into his inventory. The second mail contained 500 gold coins that the system had sent over after Crimson Fire retrieved the shield. Zhang Yang sent a message to Fatty Han, asking him to complete a quest together but Fatty Han rejected him saying that he wanted to chat with a pretty girl and did not have time for him. Hoes before bros, what a douche. Zhang Yang shook his head, he had wanted to bring Fatty Han along for a special quest, but since that Fatty could not be counted upon, Zhang Yang would just ignore him. Going out of the city and heading eastward, he was blocked by four players who prevented him from walking further. 
floral shorts, prideful precepts, prideful babysitter, and kindling chest hair the pride quad. F asterisk CKU, noob warrior. I've said it before. If you didn't add us back into the party, I'll kill you back to level zero. Prideful precepts glared at Zhang Yang, gritting his teeth. Oh, how infuriated they were after Zhang Yang had kicked them out of the party. They then discussed and decided that they would not let this matter rest and must make Zhang Yang pay for his arrogance. Therefore, they had waited at the dungeon entrance to gang up and beat Zhang Yang up once he came out. However, what had greeted them after waiting for so long was the red text laden server announcement. They had felt angrier after seeing that. If Zhang Yang had not kicked them out from the party, they would have been part of the glorious feat. These four players had not even reflected on the reason of their expulsion but had piled all their fury and blamed it on Zhang Yang. This had further steeled their will to punish Zhang Yang. After Snowy Death and the rest of the party had exited the dungeon, they had waited for another period of time yet Zhang Yang was nowhere to be found. Prideful Precepts then realized that Zhang Yang must have used a teleportation reagent. They then rushed hurriedly back to the city and with such coincidence stumbled upon Zhang Yang in their journey. Zhang Yang smirked with just you bunch of useless douches. Useless your ass. Why are we still talking shit with him? Wreck the guy. Kindling chest hair held his hammer tightly with his eyes locked on Zhang Yang. Yes, roll him over. If he's not killed back to level zero today, I can't stomach this insult. Floral shorts said as he used, stealth, disappearing from their sight. Prideful precepts had started to cast a fireball, while kindling chest hair had wielded his hammer and rushed towards Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang waited patiently with his arms crossed, sneering. Noob warrior. Just die, said kindling chest hair as he dashed over, swinging his shield and tossing it towards Zhang Yang. Shield toss. Pa. A damaged text floated above Zhang Yang's head. One. Ding. You are under attack by Floral Shorts and his party. You have ten minutes to counterattack. After the system notification rang in his ears, Zhang Yang's gaze turned cold, revealing his lethal aura. According to the game's rules, whenever a fight occurred between players, the first to attack would be identified as the challenger by the system and marked with a red name tag. The other party would then be given 10 minutes to counterattack unrestrictedly. A red tagged player would drop two levels if they were killed regardless of whether the deed was done by players, monsters, or even NPCs. Zhang Yang had not initiated the attack solely because he had wanted the system to identify them as red tagged challengers. At the same time, Floral Shorts had emerged from his stealth mode and appeared behind Zhang Yang, slashing him with two swords. One. One. Unable to penetrate Zhang Yang's 64 points of defense, Floral Shorts could only cause a pitiful one damage. Shit. How is this noob warrior's skin so thick? Floral Shorts asked surprised. Dang. Kindling chest hair's hammer landed on Zhang Yang yet he too could only deal a pathetic one damage. 36. Prideful Precepts Fireball had also landed on Zhang Yang and had finally dealt damage that was not too shabby. Defense could only reduce physical damage, it would be ineffective against magical damage. Zhang Yang scoffed and used charge towards Prideful Precepts, stunning and slashing him with his sword causing a devastating 103 damage that was one-fourth of his HP in an instance. F asterisk CK me. How is his damage so high, screamed prideful precepts. Babysitter, heal me. At this time, both floral shorts and kindling chest hair had come back, raising their weapons to attack Zhang Yang. Block. 70. 82. Block. Reflected damage text floated across kindling chest hair and floral shorts heads simultaneously. 204. 
210-209-190-20. The horizontal sweep had caused high damage on the pride quad and triggered the necklace's shadow rage, reflecting on Zhang Yang's current target, prideful precepts. What the hell, this guy isn't human at all. Babysitter, heal me. F asterisk CK off, me first. 166. Zhang Yang flicked his wrist and bashed his shield on prideful precepts. Shield bash, dealing incredible damage, sent prideful precepts whose HP was not even 100 points, straight to resurrection spawn point. He did not even give prideful babysitter any opportunity to heal him. Ding. You have killed prideful precepts. 99. Zhang Yang swung his sword and slashed prideful babysitter, simultaneously activating, force strike, and dealing 101 damage. Ding. You have killed prideful babysitter. In an instant, only floral shorts and kindling chest there, with their 146 HP and 428 HP were left. Chapter 32, Spawn Camping. 1. 1. 1. Floral shorts and kindling chest there, had used all their brute strength in attacking Zhang Yang, but were unable to penetrate his defense, their faces paling in shock. God's miracle was designed really well. Even a player's inner feelings could be expressed so realistically. Zhang Yang applauded internally and then dealt a horizontal blow towards kindling chest hair. 92. Damn, this guy must be using hacks. How can AF asterisk King Guardian deal such high damage, cried Floral Shorts. He had thought that they could take Zhang Yang easily by outnumbering him 4 to 1 but unexpectedly the situation was reversed. How could they not feel embarrassed? Fucking GM won and shitty game. Why didn't they do anything about the hacks? What the F asterisk CK, F asterisk CK you and your ancestors. Kindling chest hair cussed immediately. Zhang Yang raised the shield immediately after, block, S cooldown completed. 70. 80. 2, block, reflected damage texts popped up while Zhang Yang conveniently activated, shield bash. 156. Kindling chest hair huffed in pain and exclaimed, Floral, let's withdraw quickly. Trying to run, sneered Zhang Yang as he drew his sword again and launched another, horizontal sweep. 202. 20. 208. Plus 2. Life steal, from the ring was triggered. Floral shorts and kindling chest hair did not even manage to turn around before they both fell and died. Kindling chest hair had actually dropped an equipment. It was the heavy chest plate he had obtained from their normal mode banger crypt run together. Ding, you have killed floral shorts. Ding, you have killed kindling chest hair. Zhang Yang picked up the equipment and stored it in his inventory without a second thought. Although he did not need it, it could be sold for a few gold coins if he auctioned it at the auction house. He was in need of money so every penny counts. Some ten minutes later, Floral Shorts and his friends had revived themselves by returning their spirits to their bodies. Sure. Suddenly, a shadow sprang out from the bushes by the road and charged towards prideful precepts, causing rotating stars which symbolized the stun status effect to immediately appear on his head. Crap. That noob guardian is spawn camping. Floral Shorts yelled in surprise. 106. Zhang Yang waved his sword and a huge damage text floated across prideful precepts head. How could prideful percepts who had just revived with only 20% HP withstand such a blow? Thus, a white light flashed and he was sent to sign his attendance at the graveyard once again. When his rage rose to 25 points, Zhang Yang wielded his sword and used horizontal sweep. 198. 205. 208. 20. K. 
kindling chest hair and the two others who stood close to each other were then sent off to meet the resurrection goddess in a stream of white light. F asterisk CK F asterisk CK cried prideful precepts in his spirit form as he appeared at the graveyard. Not long after, he received notice of floral shorts and the others' deaths. All of them were dropped to level 6 from dying twice under retagged names. That guy, could he still be camping our bodies, said prideful babysitter with a tone of fear in his voice. Let's run back to our bodies but not resurrect ourselves yet. We'll wait, said floral shorts. The four of them returned to their bodies and waited patiently. One hour later. He should be gone by now right, said floral shorts with uncertainty in his voice. Yeah. It's been so long now. He shouldn't have such patience, said prideful precepts, I'll count to three and let's resurrect together. One. Two. Three. A gust of wind blew by and all four souls were still there standing. F asterisk CK, why didn't you guys resurrect, scolded prideful precepts. Damn, why didn't you resurrect? Floral shorts argued back as well. Stop, stop. Stop. Stop quarreling, we're all a family. Let's do this again, whoever doesn't resurrect this time is a noob bastard. His son will be born without an asshole, and his daughter cursed to forever remain flat-chested, said prideful babysitter. One. Two. Three. Four of them resurrected together? Sure. A flash of sword went by and four bodies laid dead on the floor. I. Crap, prideful precepts was filled with tears. The other three looked at each other speechlessly. They had wanted to kill Zhang Yang back to level zero initially but looking at their own pathetic states now, they have already dropped to level four. If they were killed another two more times then all of them would really end up hitting level zero. Let's resurrect here. Floral shorts finally said after a long time. Resurrecting directly at the graveyard would incur additional penalties, dropping one level and decreasing all attributes for 80% for an hour. Zhang Yang leisurely laid by the bush and played with a stalk of grass, glancing at the four bodies by the road occasionally. Suddenly, all four bodies turned transparent and eventually disappeared. He he, they've resurrected directly at the graveyard, huh? Zhang Yang patted his butt and stood up. The nearest graveyard was in the capital, and it was prohibited for players to fight there, so there was no chance for him to kill the pride quad back to level zero. Zhang Yang had been an absolute dictator since he was young. The title Liel Overlord of Octagonal Alley was not bullshit, it was in fact a title he had earned through sweat and blood. The despicable pride quad had dared ambush him and even threatened to kill him back to level zero. Naturally, he had needed to remind them to engrave this lesson into their hearts. Checking the time, he realized he had actually wasted two hours on the pride quad. Zhang Yang thought about it and chose to log off immediately. The place he had intended to travel to was not nearby and he would have to go to bed by the time he arrived and killed only a few mobs. In addition, he had a dungeon raid at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Running back and forth would be such a pain. Theoretically, a player could only get a mount at level 40 and a flying mount at level 100. How Zhang Yang missed the days in his previous life where he could roam the world on his Stormhawk. Just as Zhang Yang had logged off, he recalled that he had forgotten to inform Fatty Han about the next morning's dungeon raid. Inevitably, he had to log back on to send the fatty a private message, telling him to wait at the dungeon entrance at 9 a.m. the next morning. Fatty Han seemed like he was still chatting with a certain pretty girl and had only acknowledged the message after some time before completely ignoring Zhang Yang once again. Logging off and laying on his bed, Zhang Yang took out his diary and scribbled what he could remember from the game's trend in his previous life. According to his memory, the final boss Marzaway in the level 20 dungeon, Marzaway's lair, was a magic-type monster. 
its shadow ball, had been extraordinary. Currently, nobody possessed much magic resistant equipment and could only achieve high magic resistance with the aid of potions. There was an alchemy recipe that could produce a potion called beginner anti shadow potion. Upon consumption, it would increase a player's shadow resistance by 100 for one minute. This would be an absolutely necessity to clear Marzoway's lair. Zhang Yang's next stage of his get rich quick scheme would be to sell this potion, it would definitely rake in massive profit. After he receives Crimson Fire's gold coins tomorrow, Zhang Yang plans on hoarding brassica weed and ginkgo flower, the two main ingredients in crafting beginner anti shadow potion. Zhang Yang strategized for a while and went to bed. The next day, Zhang Yang woke up at around 6 in the morning and spent an hour exercising. After having his breakfast as well as a short break, it was already around 8.30. He put on his game helmet and logged on. Ding! Player Crimson Fire invites you to join his party. Will you accept his invitation? The moment Zhang Yang went online, he received a party invitation. He accepted it since they had made an agreement the previous day. Ding. You have joined a party. Party leader, Crimson Fire, group looting parameters, master loot. He checked the party list and well, there were already 10 players. It was just lacking him. He already knew half of the party members, Crimson Fire, Phantom Day, Silky Snow, and Fatty Han, the other five were unfamiliar faces but he guessed that they would probably be the elites of Lost Paradise. Royal Pardon, Dwarf, Beastmaster, Level 10. Love Lonely, Human, Pyromancer, Level 10. Absolute Defense, Human, Defender, Level 11. Favorite Orange, Elf, Creomancer, Level 10. Little Demon, Human, Sacred Knight, Level 10. Immediately, Phantom Day and the others had greeted Zhang Yang enthusiastically. So early. Zhang Yang asked in the party channel as he laughed. Yeah, you're the last one. Hurry over. We can begin once everyone's here, replied Crimson Fire. Okay, I'm coming. Zhang Yang had logged off midway yesterday so it would only take him roughly 10 minutes to walk over to Banger Crypt. HMPH, how stuck up. Nine of us have waited for such a long time for you. Absolute defense suddenly said. Zhang Yang was surprised and thought to himself, it's already said that the dungeon raid starts at 9 a.m. I looked at the time before coming and it wouldn't have passed 9 a.m. when I reached the dungeon anyway. What a temper this bro has. F asterisk CK. Don't play if you don't want to wait. F asterisk Ker, who do you think you are? Fatty Han had a far shorter temper than Zhang Yang, turning angry immediately when he heard people complaining about his brother. Crimson Fire hurriedly pacified them and said, Absolute, stop your nonsense. Ten minutes later, Zhang Yang arrived at the dungeon entrance. Differing from yesterday's deserted state, the valley was filled with people, as most players had reached level 10 and wanted to try raiding the dungeon. Lone players were searching for pub parties while parties were finding players they lacked. All sorts of messages flooded the open channel as though it was a market. Among the crowd, tanks and healers were undoubtedly scarce. Although Zhang Yang had hidden his profile information, People could still recognize him as a tank because of the shield he was carrying on his back. He had received no less than 30 private messages asking him to join their parties. Let's enter the dungeon, commanded Crimson Fire. Ding. You have entered Banger Crypt, Hardcore Mode. All ten players appeared at the entrance one by one. Zhang Yang glanced at Fatty Han and was surprised. Why are you in a guild? As coy as Fatty Han was, he would never hide his profile information. Slim and handsome, Crypt Slaughter, level 10. Blazing City were the two rows of text above his head. He he. 
Yesterday I met this pretty chick who really fancies fatty. So I've decided to temporarily join her guild and give her an opportunity to further understand her idol. Fatty Han said shamelessly. Oh yeah, why don't you join in as well? I'll be bolder if you're with me. Zhang Yang frowned and said, we'll talk about it later. Translator note. 1 GM stands for Game Master, Game Moderator or Game Manager. This is sort of the admin forward slash go to person hired by an MMO developer to cater to the masses of people playing an online game. GMS generally help ensure the stability of the server and usually have various kinds of jobs as long as they are related to the game server. Chapter 33, A Small Obstacle Brother John Yu, I've gathered all the elites in the guild here, do you think we have a shot at the fastest hardcore clearance ranking? Crimson Fire sent a private message to Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang could not help but laugh, aren't you being a little greedy? Just 1000 gold coins and you want me to help you get on the ranking. Crimson Fire smiled awkwardly, if we really did get on the ranking, I'll add on another 10,000 gold coins. How could a mere 10,000 gold coins be compared to a server announcement spam? Zhang Yang shook his head and said, you have no idea how it works to be on the speed ranking, right? Eh? Isn't it just breaking the previous record? Crimson Fire replied earnestly. It's divided into two conditions. First, like you've said, if the ranking already has records, you would only have to break the previous ones. Second, if the ranking is empty, like it currently is, then you would have to fulfill two conditions in order to be ranked. Zhang Yang continued, the first condition is to beat the record time taken by the first clearance, and the second is to beat the system's own allotted time. What? There's a system allotted time? Crimson Fire really did not know. Of course. Otherwise you could spend the whole day for your first clearance then beat the record by improving just one minute each time, and that would have let you spam your name all over the ranking. You must know, each record breaker of fastest hardcore clearance ranking will be rewarded with items like runes, gems, and so on. Do you think that the system would really be this easy and nice? Oh. Crimson Fire finally understood. That's why the system has to set such a high bar. You need to fulfill these conditions before the system recognizes your result to qualify you for the ranking. As for Banger Crypt, the speed limit set to be ranked is 30 minutes. Sure asterisk T. That fast. Even if Crimson Fire bore the title of Guildmaster, he still could not help but curse it. Zhang Yang laughed, that's the case so it'd be better to just raid for the equipment. When everyone has reached level 15 and has mostly green copper equipment on, you might be able to consider trying to do a speedrun one. With Zhang Yang's explanation, Crimson Fire abandoned his idea, giving up on his hope to rank on the fastest hardcore clearance ranking anytime soon. Guildmaster, can we start now? Absolute Defense said smugly, taking off the shield from his back, and the hammer from his waist, his gaze on Zhang Yang filled with hostility. Zhang Yang was puzzled. When did he ever offend this man? However, he was not the kind of man to be afraid of rocking the boat. He did not have to endure this so he had immediately rolled his eyes back at Absolute Defense. Absolute Defense felt so wronged. He was lost Paradise's mount, main tank, there was not a single person in the guild who had not politely addressed him brother absolute. No one could match his monster pulling skills nor his reaction rate. He had received many poaching attempts with high salaries from large guilds when he was still in other games to sway him to switch guilds. If it had not been for him liking Silky Snow, he would have left this tiny lost paradise. However, he felt that he had been humiliated yesterday. Their guildmaster had actually abandoned him to join a pub party for a dungeon raid, saying things about discovering a powerful tank and wanting to check him out. What was that? Lost Paradise already had him, the universe's strongest tank, so why would they need another tank? 
Furthermore, what happened in the end had angered him even more. Not only had the pub party cleared hard mode, they had also managed to take down hardcore mode. Absolute defense was furious. How could he not be involved in such a valiant event? He would never acknowledge that his standard was lower than that pub tanks. He felt that luck was merely on his side, and that was all. Last night, Crimson Fire gave him a shield, and had insisted that he raided hardcore mode the next day together with the party. Absolute defense was completely dumbfounded once he had inspected the shield. It was a green copper equipment. The best shield in the game so far. He did not have to put much thought into it to know that the shield must have been obtained from hardcore mode banger crypt. Why did that pub party's guardian, this John Yu guy, not claim the shield? As a tank, shields would have been the most valuable defense equipment. He could not have let this go. The only reason he could think of was that Zhang Yu must have been an additional supporting cast in the party, and not worthy of the shield. That would explain why the guildmaster had held on to the shield, and gave it to him. The more absolute defense thought of it, the more sense it made for him. When Crimson Fire had said to raid hardcore mode together with Zhang Yu, he had personally decided to properly humiliate that lucky bastard. To think that the brat had managed to tag along with his guildmaster, and obtain the first clearance of hardcore mode, which even he did not get. Absolute defense equipped and unequipped his, earthen round shield, repeatedly to try and provoke Zhang Yang, as if he was saying, look here, this shield belongs to me. Who do you think you are, huh? Take a look, take a good look and be envious. Zhang Yang could not comprehend one bit. Why on earth was this guy showing off the shield he had crafted? What could it mean? Hmm, he definitely had a loose screw. Never mind, no use wasting time on a dimwit. I'm going now, keep those heels on me silky. Absolute defense dashed towards the mobs with flair, not forgetting to give another despising look at Zhang Yang before he left. Your guild's tank, this one. Is his brain still working properly? Zhang Yang could not help but send a private message to Crimson Fire. Still, absolute defense must be of a certain level to be lost paradise's mount. Defenders were a natural at pulling groups of mobs and those six monsters had completely locked on two absolute defenses aggro with no signs of swaying to other targets. Even then, absolute defense was no Zhang Yang. He had fully depended on his defense and skills to absorb the damage. Hardcore mode monsters were expected to be ferocious and absolute defenses HP shot up and down like a roller coaster ride, putting a load on the healers. Zhang Yang stood by one side and watched. They were only minions. There was no need to put up such a big fight. Elites were indeed elites. The monster killing rate was completely incomparable to the pub party yesterday. The minions were quickly killed without Zhang Yang moving an inch. However, the healers had completely drained their MP and had to rest and consume some food to recover their MP. Zhang Yu, can you complete a quest together with me later? Silky Snow had quickly refilled her MP and skipped over to Zhang Yang to ask him sweetly. Silky, what quest is it? I can go with you. Absolute Defense jumped to his feet immediately. His feelings for Silky Snow was not something recent. Zhang Yang shrugged, trying to indicate that since there was someone for you, we should not waste more time. Although there was such a saying you are only young once, Zhang Yang had experienced the uncertainties of life, and was now fully determined to strengthen his own capabilities in order to be Lin Yu's dependable rock. There was simply no time for flings. Silky Snow felt agitated, turning to glare at Absolute Defense. Absolute Defense had no idea of her hidden agenda, and had gotten angrier instead, not only is that little rascal a bastard, he dares to flirt with my girl. Unforgivable. With totally no intention to, Zhang Yang had leapt from being a bastard to someone's love rival. Moving on. 
Crimson Fire led the party forward without realizing the conflict that had occurred between Zhang Yang and Absolute Defense. The Gatekeeper Zhang Yu, you and Absolute Defense take one each. Even though Crimson Fire knew perfectly well that Zhang Yang alone could tank the entire hardcore mode, but since he had already brought along his guild's tank, it would be a humiliation to Lost Paradise if he had just sat aside. HMPH Guildmaster, I can do this alone. Absolute Defense was utterly confident ever since he had equipped the shield, and mere mortals would not be able to stop his panache. Zhang Yang only gestured for Absolute Defense to welcome him to give the fight a try. Absolute Defense scoffed again and went ahead with his hammer. Pa. 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 After a moment of chaos, Crimson Fire hurriedly asked for help, Zhang Yu. Go quick. Absolute is gonna fall. Hurry, healers increase the healing speed. Fatty Han laughed watching the scene. Zhang Yang unsheathed his sword and used, charge, stunning one of the monsters, and began dealing damage. After the monster had recovered, Zhang Yang used, provoke, and had stabilized the aggro once the two second provoke effect wore off. When Absolute Defense had noticed the same shield on Zhang Yang's left hand, he was befuddled. How could he have won too? To save time, Zhang Yang refrained from quibbling with Absolute Defense and cleared all the minions along the way so they had arrived at the entrance of the first boss quickly. Having witnessed Zhang Yang's capabilities and his astounding ability to pull aggro, it had made Absolute Defense felt like a total extra. When Black Claw had been defeated, he was even more surprised. Stacking over ten stacks of Death Stare, Zhang Yang was not hit even once by the boss. His manipulation of movement and timing had opened Absolute Defense's eyes, he had not known that a tank could actually reach this level. From then on, he was completely listless, attacking monsters without making a sound. Since the party was stronger than yesterday's, and Zhang Yang's equipment had a major upgrade, the party had not been wiped even after defeating the hidden boss, though some deaths were inevitable. According to the deal made, Zhang Yang would be prioritized for any equipment that would be of use to him. Zhang Yang had then accepted four green copper equipment without hesitation. Lord's Helm, Green Copper, Heavy Armor. Defense, plus 6. Vitality, plus 12. Strength, plus 6. Dexterity, plus 2. Level Requirement, 10. Blooded Cape, Green Copper, Cape. Vitality, plus 3. Strength, plus 2. Level Requirement, 10. Warrior's Chest Plate, Green Copper, Heavy Armor. Defense, plus 6. Vitality, plus 12. Strength, plus 8. Level Requirement, 10. Amber Ring, Green Copper, Ring. Vitality, plus 3. Strength, plus 2. Equipped Effect, each successful evasion has a fixed rate of increasing 20 points strength for 10 seconds. Effect cannot be stacked. Level Requirement, 10. 47 Minutes. Crimson Fire had timed their progress. John Yu, do you think we could get the time down to within 30 minutes if we upgrade our equipment and master our battle strategy a little better? Millimeter, there's hope for it said Zhang Yang as he equipped his new gears. He he. We'll continue to raid hard mode and not take any more of a professional's time, said Crimson Fire. With equipment obtained from hardcore mode, it would be a humiliation to not pass hard mode. Okay. Bye bye then. Both Zhang Yang and Fatty Han quit the party. Translator notes. One speedrun is a style forward slash strategy for running a dungeon forward slash instance forward slash raid in games where the highest priority of every member should be the completion of the run in the shortest duration possible. This strategy generally foregoes item loots, experience, hidden bosses, etc, and the party composition would generally try to include as many DPSers as possible. 
Common tactics used in speedruns include a full DPS party, or kiting many monsters together for AoE classes to nuke at once. Chapter 34, Physician's Friend Fatty, let's go, there's this special quest I want you to do with me, said Zhang Yang to Fatty Han after leaving the dungeon. What's the reward? Increase the effect of using bandage by 100%. PSH, pointless. Fatty Han said impatiently, Fatty here is a hunter. My baby will block attacks for me, I need no bandages. Little Yang, the pretty babe came to chat with me again. You're on your own, I'm not following you. D asterisk MN. Zhang Yang made a disdainful gesture. Since Fatty Han had refused to join him, Zhang Yang could only go on his own. After Zhang Yang left the dungeon, he made his way out of the valley, and proceeded eastward. He went through several forests, and finally arrived at a small village. He went ahead to meet the village elder, and accepted the quest missing livestock. Zhang Yang then left the village, and arrived at a huge lake. The monsters here were all level 15 and above while players were generally around level 10 so they were either raiding Vanga Crypt or grinding on level 11 or 12 wild boars at the wild boar mountain. The site had remained empty with no players present aside from him. Under the shade of an obscure big tree, Zhang Yang found an old man wearing a white medical coat, his eyebrows and beard were snow white. He had Deckard the head physician in a tag above his head. Old man, why are you here? Zhang Yang started a conversation with the NPC. Adventurer, I'm the physician of White Jade Castle. I'm currently developing an antidote and need a large amount of Python gall. Can you collect some for me, said Deckard. Ding. Deckard the head physician has a quest for you, collect Python gall. Will you accept it? Of course he would. Adventurer, those pythons are venomous. It is very dangerous, you must be cautious. Deckard voiced his concern. Zhang Yang remembered very clearly that this NPC would send a follow-up quest with an ultimate reward of the title Physician's Friend. When, first aid, was used, the bandage healing effect would increase by 100%. First aid, was categorized as a supportive skill that has no relation with class skills. Any player could learn it from the first aid trainer when they had achieved level 20. First aid, would allow a player to create a variety of bandages, different kinds healing different amounts of HP. This was an alternative recovery skill aside from potions for non-healer professions. In order to trigger the follow-up quest, two conditions were to be fulfilled, first, the player must not have learned, first aid, in the capital. Second, the player must repeatedly complete the prerequisite quest collect Python Gaul. According to a player who had completed the quest in Zhang Yang's previous life, he had to complete this repetitive prerequisite quest for 99 times. After the follow-up quest had been completed, Deckard would return to the capital one day later, which theoretically meant that there was a possibility that all players could obtain the reward. Of course, Zhang Yang had not only come for the reward alone. A grey silver chest would randomly spawn around this lake, and there was a very small chance that the chest would contain the recipe, beginner anti-shadow potion. This was his main purpose. Collect Python Gaul, Difficulty, C. Quest Description, Deckard the Head Physician needs your help to collect 20, Python Gaul, S to develop an antidote. Those monsters should be in the Tranquil Lake. Progress, Collect, Python Gaul, 0 forward slash 20. Missing Livestock, Difficulty, C. Quest Description, Those Pythons in Tranquil Lake were dreadful. They have eaten a lot of the livestock in the village. Go, kill them. Progress, kill gold venomous python 0 forward slash 40. These two quests could be done at the same time coincidentally. Take this. This should aid you in your quest. Deckard handed over a bottle of potion to Zhang Yang. 
Ding. You have obtained item, diving potion. Diving potion, consumable. Use, allows you to breathe underwater for one hour. Level requirement, 10. Zhang Yang consumed the potion, and a buff icon appeared on his head, enabling him to breathe underwater. Two. He dived into the lake. A dark golden flash sparked on Zhang Yang's left, and a 14 damage text floated across his head at the same time. Zhang Yang dived in the water, gaining an underwater vision of the lake. A two meter long golden line snake, as thick as an arm, had stretched its mouth wide and glided towards Zhang Yang. If it had been on land, Zhang Yang was sure he could dodge this attack. However, his movements were restricted while underwater, so how could he have kept up with the python's agility? Ding. You are affected by, Gold Python Venom, Stack 1. Reduces 10 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. Zhang Yang's face turned dark as a debuff icon appeared on his avatar. Gold Venomous Python, Normal. Level, 15. HP. 750. Zhang Yang's defense was high so the physical damage received was very minimal. However, the python's venom was magic damage so it would be troublesome if he stacked too much of them. Zhang Yang grabbed his sword and began attacking these monsters as fast as he could. His damage output had already been high since the beginning, and with the four new green copper equipment that he had gotten today, his HP increased to 950 points, while his attack damage had reached 115-123. Truly remarkable. Only three four strikes were enough to kill the python. Zhang Yang stretched his hand and easily looted the gall, and with luck, two venomous python fangs. They were whited etc1 items that were to be sold for money. The lake was full of gold venomous pythons. Zhang Yang had no idea where the chest could have spawned so he could only make rounds to explore the whole lake. An hour later, he had collected 23 python gall, s while the quest missing livestock had long since been completed. He had already killed over 100 pythons. Since the diving potion, S buff had worn off, Zhang Yang could only go back to Deckard to complete the quest. Brave adventurer, citizens of White Jade Castle will never forget your good deed. Deckard praised Zhang Yang generously but did not reward him with any actual item. Adventurer, are you willing to help me again? Could he not willingly accept it? Zhang Yang sighed and accepted the same quest once again. He went back to where he had come out from the lake, and jumped in again, hunting for, python gall, s while searching for the chest. Zhang Yang had already forgotten how many times he had completed the quest, and how many times he had taken the, diving potion, for he had been killing pythons to the point of sickening monotony, when his eyes suddenly gleamed as he spotted a silver chest on a rock, at the bottom of the lake. He had finally found it. This F asterisk King Lake was ridiculously huge. He had swam for so long only to have searched two thirds of the place. However, there were four pythons guarding the chest but they were all normal mobs, not bosses or even elites. Zhang Yang took aim at one of the pythons and launched, charge, dashing towards it. 105 the other three venomous pythons immediately swam over in attempt to attack Zhang Yang with their blooded fangs. Block. 84. 84. 84. Block, reflected damage. 183. Shield bash. 224. 215. 231. 222. 20. Horizontal sweep had caused four damage texts and had simultaneously triggered the necklaces, Shadow Wrath. Two seconds later, all four pythons charged towards Zhang Yang again. Ding. You are affected by, Gold Python Venom, Stack 1. Reduces 10 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. Ding. 
You are affected by, Gold Python Venom, Stack 2. Reduces 20 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. Ding. You are affected by, Gold Python Venom, Stack 3. Reduces 30 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. Ding. You are affected by, Gold Python Venom, Stack 4. Reduces 40 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. These pythons were truly cumbersome. Zhang Yang focused his attacks on a python and killed one instantly, the second following. Zhang Yang had already stacked five stacks of gold python venom by the time he had cleared all four pythons. His HP had reduced to 358 points when the python's venom effect had disappeared. That was more than half of his HP. Monsters with dot effects are not something you could just ignore. Zhang Yang sighed as he opened the chest. Dot, damage over time, a continuous damage effect over a fixed duration such as the python's venom as described above and, curse of water and fire, by the second boss in Banger Crypt. 10%, 20%, 30%, 100%. The chest opened. Zhang Yang looted and... Undine's lungs, special item. Allows you to breathe underwater without equipment. A must-have for leisure travel, and killing people. Mayor, even though it had taken a slot in the inventory, at least he would not have to find Deckard after every one hour. Treasure map piece, 2, grey silver. Use, put together all three pieces of the treasure map, and obtain a, complete treasure map. A, uh, treasure map piece. Zhang Yang's eyes glinted. There were numerous treasure spots in God's Miracle, but it could only be dug when a complete treasure map had been obtained. Naturally, different grades of treasure maps would lead to corresponding treasure spots. What a pity, there was only one piece, another two more to go. Again. Recipe, silk belt, leather work recipe. Use, you learn how to craft, silk belt. Requirement, beginner leather work. Ding. You have obtained 50 silver coins. The chest became transparent and eventually disappeared. No more. Zhang Yang sighed, the obtained recipe was not the one he had wanted. Continue grinding. Zhang Yang began to grind non-stop. With Undine's lungs, he did not need to leave the lake for air so he grinded until all 40 slots of his inventory were filled. He then got out from the water and completed the quest for Python Gaul S. At the end of the day, Zhang Yang logged out at 12 a.m. He had completed Collect Python Gaul quest for a total of 14 times. It was still a long way to go compared to the 99 times the player had mentioned. However, Zhang Yang had gained a level, but he was still not enlisted on the player level ranking. He wondered if those ranked lunatics had ever logged off to actually sleep. Fortunately, he was still motivated because the beginner anti-shadow potion recipe had still not been found. Otherwise, he would definitely lose his patience grinding on those crappy snake again and again. Grey silver chests would only be spawned once every three days, and that meant that he could only spiritlessly grind mobs tomorrow. Translator notes. 1 etc forward slash misc. A category which stands of etc or miscellaneous loot. These are loot that have no other purpose in the game, not for crafting forward slash quests forward slash equipment, and can only be sold off to NPCs for a small amount of money. Chapter 35, Final Quest A new day had arrived. Zhang Yang went online at 8.30am and did a hardcore mode banger crypt run with Crimson Fire and his party as per yesterday's arrangement and went straight to Tranquil Lake after that to resume his endless farming of Python Gaul S. It was around 3pm when Zhang Yang's body flashed a golden ray after he killed yet another gold venomous python. Ding. Congratulations. 
you have achieved level 13. All attributes plus 1. Obtained 5 SP. Ding. Your level has fulfilled the conditions to enter the player level ranking. Would you like to be enlisted in the ranking? Zhang Yang had not expected that there was an additional option other than the usual level up system notification. I can be enlisted. Zhang Yang was stumped, he did not realize that he had been gaining experience so quickly as he had been focused on killing the pythons. Then again, it was expected. Zhang Yang's high attack power was undeniable and nothing else was on his mind as he had been grinding the whole day, thus his level had risen so quickly. He checked the player level ranking and saw that all top 9 places were level 13 while the 10th spot was a level 12. If he had selected to be enlisted, he would then replace Folk Stories, a Templar. In his previous life, Zhang Yang had entered the game two years too late, consequently he had never gotten the chance to be enlisted on the player level ranking. That was why he did not know he had a choice in being enlisted on the ranking. He contemplated and eventually selected reject. Right now, it would be better for him to stay out of the limelight while he accumulated his wealth. After level 10, Zhang Yang had changed his way of assigning his AP, investing all of them into vitality. Before this, he had been completely equipped with white wood equipment, which had then required him to assign his AP to increase his attack and maintain aggro. Now that he had green copper gear, his damage output had significantly increased which subsequently required him to invest into his HP instead as monsters and bosses in level 20 dungeons were all ferocious beasts. Furthermore, some of the bosses were magic based and their skills would have been unavoidable with evasion or block. If he had not invested in his vitality, he would be in a tight spot. Since he had gained a level, his farming speed had also increased. Just in a single day, he had submitted, Python Gaul, S for the repeatable quest 15 times. On the third day, Zhang Yang made it to level 14 and completed the, Python Gaul, quest 14 times. On the fourth day, just as he entered the dungeon, Zhang Yang had heard Crimson Fire say, Zhang Yu, you've got to slow down your leveling speed. We still want to break the dungeon speed record. If you zoom your way to level 16 then our results won't qualify. Zhang Yang took a glance, noticing that everyone in the party was either level 12 or 13. In comparison, his leveling speed was indeed a little fast. Right now, leveling is the most important aspect of the game. Don't put all your efforts into dungeon raids, said Zhang Yang. He had suffered enough in his previous life for leveling slower than everyone else. Moreover, the reward for obtaining the Hardcore Mode's first clearance was SP, while rewards for Hardcore Mode's fastest clearance ranking were only runes and gems. The difference between these two rewards was too much. However valuable runes and gems were, there were just as many ways to obtain them. Zhang Yang did not value them as much. If he had delayed his leveling for these gems and missed the following first dungeon clearance, that would be his biggest loss. Ah. Please don't. Crimson Fire tried to persuade him. Although Absolute Defense's equipment had been beefed up in the past two days and had the capabilities to tank hardcore mode now, ultimately he was still thousands of miles away from Zhang Yang's survivability, offense, and aggro control. Plus, they key to speed clearing hardcore mode was time and a tank's capabilities would directly affect the efficiency in clearing the dungeon. It was only understandable that Crimson Fire did not want to let such a strong player like Zhang Yang off his grasp as he hurriedly turned to Silky Snow and signaled her to persuade him as well. Silky Snow laughed depreciatingly. For the past few days, even though she had become closer to Zhang Yang, their relationship was not any different from the others, what difference could she make in persuading him? Crimson Fire persuaded Zhang Yang once more but seeing that he had steeled his desire to maintain his current leveling speed, he could only give up. As a guildmaster, it was naturally his duty to prioritize the advertising effect of the red server announcement spam. 
As of now, Lost Paradise was the only guild that has cleared hardcore mode Banger Crypt. He had to maintain this status quo, and take it a step further by ranking in the fastest hardcore clearance ranking. Now that Zhang Yang could not be depended upon anymore, Crimson Fire had to find another solution. After clearing the current hardcore mode, Crimson Fire had stopped asking Zhang Yang to reserve his dungeon entrance count for the next day, but had assigned Absolute Defense to be the main tank, training the teamwork of the new party. Even though Zhang Yang felt that losing the 1,000 gold coins of income each day was a pity, he did however earn 4,000 gold coins in the past four days, and with the 10,000 gold coins that Crimson Fire had owed him earlier, he almost had enough funds to initiate his plans. Returning to Tranquil Lake, he resumed his endless farming of Python Gaul, S. Once again, he had managed to unlock another chest, but he had only obtained another treasure map piece, with no beginner anti-shadow potion recipe in sight. He would have to wait for another three days. From the fifth day onwards, there were an increasing number of players present for the quest. While there were still not that many players around, Zhang Yang's crisis awareness had still rang. He was not afraid that they would take up all the monsters, but it was them stumbling upon the grey silver chest and looting it that he was afraid of. Moreover, this chest would spawn at random places. The only thing quelling his worries was the fact that there would always be four gold venomous pythons guarding the chest when it had spawned so random players could never take on the monsters alone. It was lucky that the poison effect of these pythons was utterly annoying and underwater maneuverability was tough, so most players would just leave the place once they had completed the quest unlike Zhang Yang who had already made the lake his second home. The fifth day had passed and Zhang Yang had reached level 16. He had submitted Python Gaul S for the 73rd time. Since Fatty Han's equipment had graduated because of the hardcore mode runs, Zhang Yang did not raid dungeons anymore and had instead spent his entire day farming at Tranquil Lake. On the sixth day, Zhang Yang reached level 17 and submitted Python Gaul S for the 88th time. Dash. The seventh day. Around 2 p.m. Zhang Yang brought the last 20 Python Gaul S to Deckard and completed the 99th Collect Python Gaul quest. As of now, he had reached level 18 and if he wanted to, he could have been in the top 3 of the player level ranking. Of course, that was excluding the fact that there could be others like him who did not wish to be ranked. Young adventurer, your bravery impresses me, your persistence awes me. Deckard was finally moved, looking at Zhang Yang with admiration, your kindness is akin to Buddha's. Oh, bless you young adventurer. You must lend me your aid for one last time. Finally. Zhang Yang cleared his throat and said, I will do my best. Ding. You have accepted the quest, the last python gall. The Last Python Gaul, Quest Difficulty, S. Quest Description, Deckard wants you to head over to the Python King's Nest, west of Tranquil Lake. Slay the Golden Venomous Python King, and obtain its Python Gaul. Adventurer, please be cautious. Golden Venomous Python King is extremely strong, it would be better if you could bring your companions. Progress, obtained, Golden Venomous Python King's Python Gaul, 0 forward slash 1. Quest Reward, Specialist First Aid, Title Physician's Friend. Physician's Friend, increases bandage healing effect by 100%. Awesome, the quest had directly rewarded, Specialist First Aid, Skill. Zhang Yang was delighted. To increase, First Aid, S Skill Level, he must continuously make bandages, from, beginner linen bandage, to, coarse cloth bandage, cotton bandage, and, silk bandage. Each level would require at least 1000 of its respective bandages and above to level up. This quest had rewarded Zhang Yang with, specialist first aid, saving him the trouble of going through beginner, 
amateur, advanced and professional a total of four levels and time to make more than 4,000 bandages. Since the reward had been revealed, the quest score would be irrelevant. Regardless of an average or perfect score, the final reward would remain the same. Exactly what level would this golden venomous python king be? Zhang Yang went to his friend list and was about to invite Fatty Han to slay this boss together when to his surprise, found that the guy was not online. Oh well, let's try it once. If I fail, then I'll find someone for help. Zhang Yang thought and headed west. A few players were killing pythons by the bank. When Zhang Yang traveled past them, they did not pay him any attention. The west of Tranquil Lake was a thick bush. At first glance, it did not look anything like a king's nest. Zhang Yang dived into the water to examine the bush closer. After ten minutes or so, he finally found a hidden cave. Was this the python king's nest? It looked nothing like one. Zhang Yang went into the cave and slowly swam inwards. The cave was very narrow and after several meters deep, it was completely dark. Even with his eyes wide open, he could not see anything and all he could do was follow his gut feeling and continued swimming forward. After a while, Zhang Yang could obviously tell that the water level was decreasing from his head to his chest, then to his stomach and knees. Finally he had stepped on land. Since it was a game, once his character left the water, his clothes and equipment dried immediately. Turning around the corner, a wide swathe of planes greeted his eyes. Zhang Yang found himself exiting a hollow trunk of a huge fallen old tree. He checked the minimap and found that he was still in Tranquil Lake, but this place clearly did not resemble anything like the lake. How did the game developers design this place? Not far away, a huge python was coiling its body. Its girth was thick as a bucket, but its length could not be determined since it was coiled. A rough guess would estimate the length of the python to be at least 10 meters long. Resting peacefully beside the python was a grey silver chest. The chest. Zhang Yang's eyes glinted. No wonder he could not find the chest after a whole day today. It seems like it had spawned hidden in such a secluded place. Highlighting the python, the huge beast's information window hovered in front of Zhang Yang. Golden Venomous Python King, Green Copper Boss. Level, 20. HP, 60,000. Zhang Yang was filled with anticipation. He knew that he would get a handsome reward if he could beat this boss. However, high returns meant high risks. Even though this boss HP was not as dreadful as a hardcore modes boss, he did have a party of 10 players in hardcore mode. Let's just try it first. Zhang Yang decided and unsheathed his sword, using, charge, on the boss. 110. Such strong defense. Zhang Yang was surprised. His current attack power could have dealt 143-151 damage, but he had only managed to deal around 100 damage on the boss. It was evident that the boss had a strong defense probably 40 points or so. The higher a monster's level, the shorter it would take to recover from being stunned. The Python King had recovered in no more than one second and shot towards Zhang Yang with a hiss. Block. 58. Block, reflect damage. 156. Shield bash. The Python King did not manage to land any of its attacks so it had quickly whipped its tail about in an attempt to coil Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang hurriedly withdrew, evading the attack while simultaneously brandishing his sword to counterattack. 103. Chapter 36, Golden Venomous Python King. A monster's most dangerous aspect was not knowing what skill it possessed. Not knowing its skills had naturally meant that there was no was of formulating a counter strategy. Only through constant deaths could a player reveal the monster's skills one by one. This was why Zhang Yang who was familiar with almost all future dungeon bosses skills and tactics had a significant competitive edge. 
even if he was not skilled, just his thorough understanding of the boss's skills would be enough to bring him fame in the server. All the guilds would have wanted to recruit him. Right now though, Zhang Yang could only cautiously stare at the Python King, staying alert of any moves it might make. He had never faced this boss before, so he had to wait patiently for the boss moves in order to counterattack. This was the most passive strategy ever but he had no alternatives for now. 97%, 94%, 90%, Python King's HP went down slowly. This green copper monster seemed to have no other special skills, as it kept attacking with its predictable fangs and tails. Ding! Gold Venomous Python King has used, Strangle. Just as he thought about how monotonous the fight was, the Python King glided towards Zhang Yang at lightning speed and coiled around him with its golden body. Although Zhang Yang had been alert, the skill had no activation sign so he could not have prepared for it. He had been careless to have used, block, which was now in cooldown, so even though he had quickly withdrew, Zhang Yang had still lost to the boss speed and was strangled by the huge snake. 184. Immediately, a red damage text appeared on his head. Referring to the battle record, Golden Venomous Python King's Strangle has dealt 184 points of physical damage. 116 HP was reduced. Zhang Yang had 20% of damage reduction passive skill and up to 70 points of defense, thus the 300 point damage was reduced to 184 points. He quickly used a red pot and a plus 100 floated across. 88%, 86%, 84%, the boss HP continued to decline. Ding! Golden Venomous Python King has used, Venom Spit. Subconsciously, Zhang Yang used, block, immediately and raised his shield. Ding! You are affected by, Venom Spit. Reduces 50 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. He had used, block, for nothing. Only then had Zhang Yang realized that the boss, Venom Spit, was of magical property damage instead of a physical one. The debuff status icon appeared on his avatar at once. Crap. Dot again. His high defense had been totally useless. Ding. Golden Venomous Python King has used, Strangle. D asterisk MN. Zhang Yang cursed out loud. His, block, earlier had been wasted so the effect had disappeared right after one second. He had nothing else to block this skill with now. 184. Another red damage text glided across Zhang Yang's head while Venom Spit S. recurred with 40, reducing his HP to 712 points. This was the disadvantage of knowing nothing regarding the boss skills. Otherwise, Zhang Yang would at most have been damaged by Venom Spit and could have definitely used Block against Strangle. Indeed, ignorance is the ultimate enemy of mankind. 82%, 80%, 78%, Zhang Yang calmed down and continued to hack away intensely. 20 seconds later, the Python King stretched its mouth wide and spat a dark green venom towards Zhang Yang once again. Ding! You are affected by Venom Spit. Reduces 50 HP every 3 seconds. Lasts for 15 seconds. Zhang Yang bemoaned inwardly, he could nullify, strangle, with, block, but he could do nothing against, Venom Spit, a magical attack. Although he had 20% damage reduction from his passive, it still dealt significant damage. Sigh, if he had brought along a healer, obliterating this boss would have been a piece of cake. He was left with 452 HP yet the boss still had 75% of its HP. It seemed impossible to clear. He had wanted to give up quickly and get a rematch after finding a healer but Zhang Yang guessed that there might still be skills the boss had yet to cast, so he decided to continue the fight. Ding! Golden Venomous Python King has used, Strangle. Block. 58. Block, 
reflected damage. Red Pop's cooldown had completed and Zhang Yang used it at once, causing a plus 100 text to pop up. 71%, 67%, 56%. The boss defense was high but Zhang Yang's attack damage was equally substantial. He had brutally slashed the boss HP down to 40% but his own HP was also at a sad 92 points. He could only withstand two more dot effect. 40. Zhang Yang's HP went down to 52 points. Three seconds later, another 40 floated across his head, and he was left with only 12 HP. Another dot was bound to appear when a white light had suddenly flashed by Zhang Yang. A green plus 154 text that had never looked any cuter floated across his head at the same time. Someone had healed him. Zhang Yang turned and saw a lady dressed in white standing by the trunk's entrance. She was incredibly tall and slender, her especially thin waist highlighted her voluptuous hip with such allure, and her pert breasts heavily blessed, being astoundingly ample. Character's physique was not modifiable in the game, which meant that this woman would have the same well-proportioned body in real life. Unfortunately, while the lady had a figure that at least 90% of the female population would be jealous of, her face was ordinary. She was not ugly but she had quite a distance to go to call her a beauty. However, her pair of eyes were very beautiful. They were magnetic and faintly enticing. Thank you, said Zhang Yang quickly. He had a good impression of this lady with a fantastic body but a plain face if it had been someone greedy, they could have opened the chest while he was battling the boss. This lady did not hide her profile. Little Snow, Level 13, and Lone Desert Smoke were the two rows that hovered above her head. Judging from her appearance, she would be around her twenties. The face could be modified though, so Zhang Yang could not be sure if what he had seen was her real face. Little Snow smiled and casted another healing spell on Zhang Yang and said, You're welcome. I was just passing by. Oh right, where is this? I'm completely lost. I got confused and walked for so long and then I arrived here. The game had a mini-map that marked the player's location. It would be really hard to even get lost even if you wanted to. Now that she had actually lost her way into this place, that sounded even more ludicrous. Zhang Yang remembered how the cave's entrance was properly concealed and had he not accepted the quest which sent him here in search of the Python King's nest, he would have given up long ago. Terrible sense of direction. Zhang Yang concluded in his head as he sent a party invitation to her. In God's miracle, as long as a player has dealt damage to the monster, they would be eligible to obtain its loot. For sacred knights and priests though, they could not get any equipment nor experience just by healing, so they must be in a party with attackers. Zhang Yang had intended to ask Ocean Despair for help, but since Little Snow had helped him and left a good impression, he had decided to share the loot with her. The equipment Little Snow was wearing were not bad. Everything was basically level 10 black steel equipment. Although Python King was a level 20 boss, Zhang Yang's attack nullification ability was incredible. It would be more than enough as long as she healed the HP lost from Venom Spit. Wow, you're already at level 18. Little Snow hesitated before accepting the party invitation. She was surprised when she noticed Zhang Yang's level, why isn't your name on the player level ranking? Enlistment is optional, explained Zhang Yang. Oh. Little Snow nodded and her eyes shone, ah, you are that Zhang Yu. Are you interested to join our guild? Defiant Monk kept praising you. Defiant Monk. Eh? You didn't know Defiant Monk was in our guild. Zhang Yang only knew that Defiant Monk joined a guild, but he did not remember clearly which guild it was. He laughed and said, I see, we're kind of fated then. Little Snow's eyes were beguiling, the corners of her mouth raised into a faint smile. 
She might have looked ordinary but her beautiful eyes made up for everything, outshining her flaws, Brett, trying to flirt with me. Brett? Zhang Yang smiled depreciatingly. Although he was only 22 years old currently, adding the five years of his previous life, his mental age was close to a 30-year-old uncle. Elder sister who was terrible at directions. Zhang Yang quietly amended his evaluation of Little Snow in his heart. With the addition of Little Snow, Python King was no longer a threat to Zhang Yang. Even as it used both its skills interchangeably, its death was still imminent. 5%, 4%, 3%, 2%, 1%. As the last drop of the Python King's HP vanished, it too had fallen to its death. Ding. The party you are in has killed Golden Venomous Python King. Obtained 30,050 EXP, 50 points party bonus. A. Eh? This monster is a boss. Little Snow was very surprised. If it's not, do we need such a long time to kill it? Zhang Yang replied stoically. He had thought that killing this boss would induce a system reward, this could have been the first green copper boss in the field. After waiting for some time though, Zhang Yang dropped his head in disappointment as there was no reaction from the system. A. Eh? It's not strange since a tank's attacking damage is low, isn't it? Little Snow was indignant. This girl, did she not see the boss HP? Did she not see the damage he had dealt? Zhang Yang sighed and asked, where have you been looking all this while? The tank's HP bar of course. Little Snow had a despising look, if you die, how am I, a priest, supposed to survive? Made sense. Zhang Yang shook his head and said, okay, let's loot and share the equipment. He looted and the first equipment came out. Python King's hood, green copper, cloth armor. Defense, plus two. Vitality, plus eighteen. Intelligent, nine. Spirit, plus three. Level requirement, twenty. This one's for you. Zhang Yang passed easily. Little Snow darted her eyes and said, Hey, are you really trying to flirt with me? Ha ha, Zhang Yang laughed dryly, can you please not be so narcissistic? I already have someone I like. HM. I know that. That person you mentioned must be me. Little Snow said with an I know it all expression. Chapter 37, Great Lucky Hands. A narcissistic elder sister who was terrible at directions. Zhang Yang ignored her as he proceeded to loot the corpse. Aphelia's staff, green copper, staff. Magic attack, 168-191. Level requirement, 20. Note, this staff still carries the stench of Python Kings in its. Poor Aphelia. May your soul rest in peace among the gods. Again. Yours. Zhang Yang sighed heavily. It was not that he wanted the equipment, but more so because he did not want Little Snow saying that he wanted to court her. Nevertheless, Little Snow giggled happily, carrying an I knew it expression. HMPH, Drama Queen. Another loot. Zhang Yang did not believe that it would only drop priest's equipment. Boots of agility, green copper, cloth armor. Defense, plus two. Vitality, plus ten. Intelligence, plus six. Spirit, plus four. Level requirement, twenty. F asterisk CK my life. Zhang Yang felt speechless. Again, again. Resurrection, skill book. Use, you will learn, resurrection. Class, priest, knight. Zhang Yang shed a manly tear. All four items were for priests. Little Snow's eyes had turned into crescents from smiling, mumbling, indeed, kindness is always rewarded. Zhang Yang looted the corpse again. He had finally gotten something that was not for priests. Golden Venomous Python King's Gall, quest item. 
Ding. You have obtained 15 silver coins. With the last item looted, the boss corpse disappeared instantly. There's still the chest. Zhang Yang rubbed his palms and rushed towards the grey silver chest. Wow. A treasure chest. Little Snow's eyes radiated with interest. Let me open it. Let me. Since they were in the same party, it did not matter who had opened the chest. Zhang Yang moved aside. Little Snow threw herself on the chest, and rested her cheek on the lid of the chest, as her hands caressed the chest. Her indulgent expression scaring Zhang Yang. A fortune-loving and narcissistic elder sister who was terrible at directions. After some time, Little Snow had finally opened the chest, with great reluctance under Zhang Yang's urge. The unwillingness written on her face was as if Zhang Yang had murdered her father. 10%, 20%, 100%. The chest opened and Little Snow stuffed her hand inside. Silver scaled sword, grey silver, one handed sword. Weapon attack, 197, 219. Attack interval, 2.6 seconds. DPS, 80. Equipped effect, increases, critical strike. S rate by 1%. Level requirement, 20. Jackpot. This, silver scaled sword, would really put his current, refined iron sword, S1624 weapon attack to shame. Since yellow gold equipment could only be obtained from level 50 bosses, he could use this sword until he had reached that level. Zhang Yang looked at Little Snow and thought to himself, is this Yin and Yang one they are complementing each other as he had looted her equipment while she looted his. Wow! Such a pretty sword! Little Snow picked up the silver scaled sword. Before rolling, anyone who was eligible to roll for the loot could pick up the equipment but was unable to equip it nor store it in their inventory. It was obvious that men and women had completely different perspectives. What Zhang Yang had cared about was, Silver Scaled Sword, S Supreme Functionality, while Little Snow had only cared about its appearance. Zhang Yang rolled 42 points while Little Snow passed without hesitation. The strongest one-handed sword, at the current stage of the game, then went into Zhang Yang's inventory. It was a shame that he had two more levels to go before he could equip it. Recipe, Beginner Anti-Shadow Potion, Alchemy Recipe Use, you will learn to craft Beginner Anti-Shadow Potion. Requirement, Beginner Alchemy Skill. Seriously, it came out. This thing's drop rate was not even 1 in 10,000. In his previous life, even when the game had reached its mid-late stage, Players who could craft this potion only numbered a handful. Silver Scaled Sword, Alchemy Recipe, these were extremely rare drops yet she had looted them both in one instance, what great lucky hands. Zhang Yang's own two points of luck was crap in comparison to her. Little Snow, this is something that I need, can you give it to me? This was a matter concerning his fortune, so Zhang Yang had to quickly speak up. I will consider it if you call me elder sister. Little Snow was more than delighted. The lady did look like she was older, but Zhang Yang's mental age was almost 30 years old, so it was extremely hard for him to utter the words elder sister. Eh? You won't say it? Well then, I'm going to roll now, teased Little Snow. Little Snow, you're more like mischievous Snow. Zhang Yang sighed. Ha ha ha. That's why it's fun. Hey, are you saying it or not? Elder sister Zhang Yang said gritting his teeth. He added another word under his breath, which. Good boy. Come, let big sis here give you a candy. Little Snow grinned, her eyes forming crescents. After Zhang Yang kept the recipe, he thought to himself, Wait till I make a huge fortune with this recipe, and make you cry your heart out. Little Snow looted once more, and the last item popped out. Treasure map piece, 1, grey silver. Use, 
put together all three, treasure map piece, S, and obtain a, complete treasure map. Zhang Yang checked his inventory. Right now, he had piece, 1, and piece, 3. This piece would be a recurring one so he unhesitatingly passed. He was extremely contented with a, silver scaled sword, and the recipe. After Little Snow obtained the map piece, the chest dissipated slowly. Come, let's get out of here, said Zhang Yang as he went into the empty tree trunk. Little Snow hurriedly followed behind. As he moved forward, Zhang Yang had suddenly realized that the little blinking dot that had represented Little Snow on the minimap had disappeared. Zhang Yang quickly asked in the party channel, Little Snow, where are you? I... I don't know. Little Snow replied, it's dark everywhere. This woman could get lost even when she was following him. She was really something. Stay there, I'm coming. Zhang Yang could only say feebly. Okay. But hurry, it's so dark here and the water is so cold. It doesn't feel nice at all, complained Little Snow. All right. All right. I'm coming now. The blinking dot had finally reappeared in his minimap after some few hundred meters of swimming. Zhang Yang swam over to her and said, follow me closely. She replied, I can't even see you, how am I supposed to follow? Can't you read the map? Zhang Yang might have thought too highly of her. Nope, I can't understand it. Gives me a headache. Little Snow replied. This was how a directionally challenged idiot came about. Zhang Yang sighed and extended his hand, then grabbed onto my hand. Okay. Holding onto the idiot's hand, Zhang Yang led Little Snow out of the water. After 20 minutes of swimming, they finally saw daylight, both of them emerging from the bushes. My hands are soft, aren't they? Little Snow asked out of the blue. H.M., they are all right. Zhang Yang casually replied. How long do you plan on holding them? Little Snow's tone was laced with a feeling of the calm before a storm. Zhang Yang looked. Oh, he had forgotten to let go after holding her hands for so long. He he, my bad. My bad. Zhang Yang let her hands go and took a step back to express his innocence. Little Snow looked at him haughtily and said, Rascal, be careful next time. I'm not someone you can easily take advantage of. Speaking of arguing, Zhang Yang was not afraid of her. Before he had confirmed his relationship with Lin Yu, he still had his fair share of dating women. He just wanted to avoid causing trouble as he would rather not have any affairs with the opposite sex. With a light smile, Zhang Yang said, I'll be on my way to complete a quest. See you next time. Zhang Yang left the party and headed towards Deckard. He lifted and waved his left hand to bid farewell. TCH. Rascal. Little Snow murmured and opened the voice messenger. Hello? Cousin, are you calling me to pick you up cause you're lost again? A crisp voice of a young girl came through. How many times would this be? Come on cousin, stop making a fool out of yourself. You're a Cambridge graduate, how can you have less sense of direction than me, a high schooler? HMPH. I majored in business administration, and not tourism or geology or even archaeology. Can't I get lost? Coos, you've gotten lost too many a time, don't you think? Fine, fine. Fine. I'm done arguing with you. Where are you? I'll come and pick you up. The girl on the other side of the line gave in. Who asked you to pick me up? I'm not lost. Eh? Then why did you call me? I was in the middle of grinding. I met that John you just now. H.M., he's strong indeed. Stronger than you. Wah ah ah, I'm a berserker. Why would you compare me to him? Nothing. I'm just comparing. 
Little Snow stretched lazily and said, Here's indeed someone worth recruiting. Well then, go pull him in. He he, you have big boobs. Didn't they say that guys like big boobs? He's sure to be enticed by you, the girl on the other side of the line laughed. You little brat, your boobs are as flat as a sunny side up. Han yinks you, I'm warning you. No comments about my breasts. TCH. Sunny side up. HMPH. Milk cow. Returning to Deckard, Zhang Yang passed the golden venomous python king's gall over and the head physician's eyes were wide open, this is really the python king's gall. I can feel it. This soft sack contains such poisonous venom. It's shocking. Adventurer, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ding. You have completed the quest, the last python gall. Obtained 10,000 EXP. Ding. You have learned the skill, first aid. Ding. Your skill, first aid, has leveled up to specialist. Ding. You have obtained the title, physician's friend. A chain of notification rang at his ears, sounding absolutely melodious. He opened the, first aid, window and saw that he had already learned five types of bandages, linen bandage, coarse cloth bandage, cotton bandage, silk bandage, and magic woven bandage. However, cotton cloth could only be found from looting humanoid monsters. As of now, he could only farm for coarse cloth. Coarse cloth bandage recovers 500 HP over 10 seconds, channeling needed. Any damage or movement will cancel channeling duration. Cool down, one minute. With the title Physician's Friend, First Aid, effect would be doubled, healing 1000 HP over 10 seconds. That would almost completely refill Zhang Yang's HP. Zhang Yang took out a teleportation reagent and tore it. A magic circle formed under his feet and he arrived at White Jade Castle 10 seconds later. Translator Notes One Yunnang Chinese philosophical theory where two seemingly opposite forces may complement each other. Everything is interconnected and interdependent. Yin refers to dark while Yang refers to bright. Women are generally filled with Yin while men are filled with Yang. Chapter 38 Earthen Round Shields Hot Sails Ever since Zhang Yang started the physician's friend quest, he had not returned to the city. When he finally did, the first thing he did was to store all his junk items into his storage before checking his mailbox. A few days ago, the mail assistant informed him of new mails, but he could not retrieve any as he was away. The mails came from the auction house, informing him of his sale of the earthen round shield, which had transacted for 870 gold pieces. He received his payment after having 87 gold pieces deducted as tax. Zhang Yang had a look at his inventory and realized that he currently had 15,300 gold pieces. If this game had a personal wealth ranking board, he'd definitely be on the list. With the intention to learn the alchemy skill, Zhang Yang decided to forget mining and proceeded to the alchemy shop. To gain a fortune from mining would mean to invest quite a lot of time that Zhang Yang did not have. The only reason for him to learn mining was for the class quest in Beginner Village. Shortly after, he took out the Beginner Anti-Shadow Potion recipe and patted it on his chest. A gold light shone and his alchemy list now had something added to it. Zhang Yang went to the auction house, opened the shopping window and searched for the keywords brassica weed and ginkgo flower. As soon as he confirmed his search, rows and rows of the items were listed out. Normally, a stack would usually cost 20 silver pieces. However, there were sellers that attempted to scam others by placing only one herb and selling it at the same price, deceiving careless players into buying them in a bid to earn more. Zhang Yang selected all the available brassica weed and ginkgo flower 
with a price of no higher than 30 silver pieces to purchase. What was once in abundance at the auction house was wiped clean and now, there remained only a few units of herbs being offered up for sale by other players. While the others were still in the midst of purchasing the same ingredients, they did not realize that a huge supply of them had disappeared, leading some to turn furious. What? Where are all the, ginkgo flower? I just saw over 100 stacks a few moments ago, and now there are only 7 units left. Mother of asterisk -er. Which son of AB asterisk TCH is trying to sell 1 unit for 20 silver? I clicked it twice. Brassica weed, is gone too. What the hell? How am I supposed to raise my, alchemy, level like this? Which bastard is so rich to buy all those herbs in an instant? Brassica weed, was one of the materials used to create the, beginner healing potion, while, ginkgo flower, was used to make the, beginner mana potion. The drop rate for these two recipes was rather high and players would usually rely on them to raise their, alchemy, level. It was expected that players would be distraught when Zhang Yang cleaned all the shelves. He headed back to his mailbox right after that to retrieve all the purchased, brassica weed, and, ginkgo flower. However, having insufficient inventory space to collect them all at once, he had to place most of the herbs temporarily into the bank. When a character was created, they were given a free bank column from the system that had 100 slots. Players would then need to pay if they require more space. Additionally, the more slots you bought, the higher the price would be, increasing the price by 10 times for each subsequent purchase. Zhang Yang had bought three bank columns, which gave him more than enough space to store his purchases from the mailbox. He felt the pinch of spending 1,100 gold pieces for them though. Once that was settled, he went back to the alchemy shop to buy a large amount of, empty bottle, to create the, beginner anti-shadow potion, with his newly learned, alchemy. Ding. You have created, beginner anti-shadow potion, x1. Your, alchemy, mastery has increased by one point. Ding. You have created, Beginner Anti-Shadow Potion, X1. Your, Alchemy, Mastery has increased by one point. Ding. You have created, Beginner Anti-Shadow Potion, X2. Your, Alchemy, Mastery has increased by one point. Wow. Two bottles. Zhang Yang smiled and felt that this must be the advantage from his luck attribute. The luck attribute provided a certain chance to have two end products whenever a player crafted something. The higher the luck attribute, the higher the chance. Despite that, the chances would still be very slim even if a player had 100 luck. After exhausting all of his materials in his inventory, Zhang Yang immediately ran to the bank to exchange his crafted potions for more materials and began crafting more. With the ridiculous settings in the system, it took two seconds to create a bottle of potion. Zhang Yang bought 370 stacks of materials, which could be converted into 7,400 bottles of potions. It took four hours of potion crafting to use up every material he had, but thanks to that, his, alchemy, skill had surpassed amateur level, and with that, the, beginner anti-shadow potion, icon turned grey. This meant that he could no longer obtain any experience points from crafting it to further increase his, alchemy, mastery. As he looked at the neatly arranged potions in his bank, Zhang Yang felt a strong sense of accomplishment. Currently, a bottle of, beginner anti-shadow potion, costs only 5 silver pieces, but once players proceeded to the next dungeon, Marzway's lair, those potions would begin to fetch 1 gold piece for each bottle. That's a guaranteed bestseller right there. Naturally, the prices for, brassica weed, and, ginkgo flower, would be raised as well, reducing the profit margin. Zhang Yang opened his friend list, and noticed that Fatty Han had just logged in. He sent him a private message, Hey Fatty, 
quickly stock up on any brassica weed and ginkgo flower you can find. Prices will be increasing over the next few days. If the price doesn't exceed two gold pieces, buy them all. Damn, little yarn, for real. Fatty replied hastily. Fatty, this is a golden opportunity right here in front of you. It's up to you to grab that chance. Little yarn, I only have 16 gold pieces, I can't get much with what I have. All right, I'll mail 1000 gold pieces to you later. You owe me for this. Ha ha. That's good, brother. Fatty Han did not express much appreciation through words. Their friendship need not be that courteous, for what mattered more was the deed and the thought of it. After Zhang Yang transferred 1000 gold pieces to Fatty Han, he withdrew 6 units of plain copper plate and 30 stacks of iron plate to craft 6 earthen round shield at the blacksmith. He was surprised by the results of his first auction of the shields. There were rich people everywhere. He placed one earthen round shield for auction with a minimum bid of 400 gold pieces and a maximum buyout price of 1000 gold pieces for 24 hours while omitting his name. This was the best way to get the best price out of a rare item, selling them one by one. The higher the supply, the lower the price, making it worthless if the stock increased. After that, Zhang Yang went ahead to look for any strange and special crafting recipes up for auction. Within a few days, what was once a desolate place had now turned into a lively auction house and the number of items for sale had definitely multiplied. Over at the crafting recipes tab, there were hundreds of recipes on sale. Most of them being beginner whetstone recipes and a few other random equipment recipes. Quoting the official 5 year game review, after the launch of the server, the number of players that joined shot up from 4 million to 10 million in merely 10 days. Three months later, the developers announced a heaven defying target game population of 1 billion, and God's miracle continued to steadily grow over time. Two years later, the game reached its unbelievable goal of 1 billion players. The more high leveled players there were, the better the auctioned merchandise that could be found. Beginner Whetstone was the most economical product to use when raising, smithing, mastery. The only material needed to craft it was a piece of iron plate. Beginner Whetstone was considered as consumable goods and was generally used to polish weapons, increasing its attack damage by 10 for an hour. Having his smithing skill at an amateur level, Zhang Yang could not depend on the earthen round shield to raise his mastery. He immediately purchased the beginner whetstone recipe from the auction house, withdrew it from his mailbox and opened his friend list to send a message to the mining specialist. Hello there, old friend. How many units of the iron plate do you still have? After a while, he received a reply, yo. I haven't heard much from you these days, and here I thought you did not need these anymore. I've got plenty of iron plate. How many do you want? All right. Give me 100 stacks. Raising his smithing skill to amateur level would require him to use about 50 stacks of iron plate, but Zhang Yang only had 7 plain copper plate that could be used with merely 35 iron plate. Whoa, the mining specialist replied in shock, I'd say, please don't scare the crap out of me every time. 100 stacks is too many. I only have 50 stacks including the ones in my bank. 50 stacks then. Deal. Send it to me whenever you're ready. Mail transaction as usual. Sure thing, boss. Thank you for your patronage. Zhang Yang patted the recipe and learned how to craft beginner whetstone. The mail would require 30 minutes before arriving and it would be meaningless to just wait, but he had been grinding monsters like a madman for these past few days and he could not muster any desire to kill monsters within this short period of time. Ding. A notification came from the mail assistant. 
Zhang Yang received a new mail. He was surprised for a moment. He thought that the mail system had changed after he was reborn. The mail could arrive so soon. He checked his mailbox and found that it was not from the mining specialist but a notice from the auction house. His earthen round shield had been sold for the maximum buyout price by a player with a strange name, Windward 3 feet P. I'm rich. Without wasting any more time, Zhang Yang ran to the bank, took out a second shield and auctioned it again in the same manner. Ding! In less than two minutes, Zhang Yang was notified again. The shield was once again sold to Windward 3 feet P. Zhang Yang placed yet another shield for auction and the same buyer bought it once again. Listed. Sold. Listed. Sold. After 10 minutes, five of Zhang Yang's shields were sold out and Windward 3 feet P had been the one to grab them all. He thought of raising the price for the last few units, but 1,000 gold pieces was already rather plenty so he decided not to do it. In the initial stages of the game, gold pieces devaluated very quickly. According to the current market ratio of 1 colon 9, 1,000 gold pieces was worth nearly 10,000 bucks. Money really made a difference. But it mattered not. At the current stage of the game, Earthen Round Shield was the best shield available. Aside from Lost Paradise, no other guilds have defeated Da Dara Da. Playing Copper Ore was also one of the deciding factors in setting the rareness of the shield. Windward 3 feet P should be someone from a big guild, as it could explain how he was able to buy all six shields from Zhang Yang. Grey Silver Grade shields only dropped in level 20 hardcore mode dungeons. According to the game developers, each big guild would need at least four to five days to explore and complete Marzoe's lair when players reached a suitable level. Marzoe's lair was much more difficult as compared to Banger Crypt. During the exploring period in the beginning stages, players would be stuck for a day in normal mode due to a lack of understanding of the boss skills. They are then stuck for another two to three days in hard mode, and even longer in the hardcore mode. It would take up to ten days just to obtain a grey silver shield. Furthermore, there would always be a few parties from the big guilds who were able to clear hardcore mode with their corresponding levels. Normal players would only return when they have reached higher levels. With that assumption in mind, the demand for earthen round shield would last longer but the selling price would drop over time. It seemed that the hardcore mode of Banger Crypt was still worth raiding. Chapter 39, Invitation After half an hour, Zhang Yang received his iron plate, stacks and stored it in his inventory after paying mining specialist. Just as he was about to craft a beginner whetstone at the blacksmith. Beep. He received a private message. Brother John Yu, we're in the middle of a boss battle. Could you lend us a hand? It's a level 25 grey silver boss and we can't take him down no matter how many times we try. It was a message from Defiant Monk. Ever since their first clear hardcore dungeon achievement, they have not travelled together. However, they have kept in touch with each other by sending greetings whenever someone logged in or off on a daily basis, thus maintaining a close relationship. Even though Zhang Yang wanted to recruit 100 shots as soon as he could, he feared that doing so would affect his future in becoming a dragon hunter. If he really did miss out on the red baby dragon, it would be a total disaster. Zhang Yang questioned back, that level 25 grey silver boss, what's his name? Marta Unwin. Crap. Zhang Yang blurted out. This boss is on a whole new level. Marta Unwin is the world boss at around level 30, and if you wanted to try and fight him, you would better bring a whole lot of level 20 players with you. How many players do you have there now? We've got more than 30 players here. Defiant Monk replied with pride. Letting loose a sigh, Zhang Yang said, Here's my advice, give it up and go home. 
The defiant monk was relentless, and continued trying to persuade Zhang Yang. Zhang Yu. This is a level 25 grey silver boss. If we take him down, we'll definitely have an achievement to it with a server announcement. It's an attractive reward, alright. But you would still need to have the capability to challenge him. As he was about to decline the offer, he remembered something from the past. In his previous life, there was a player that posted in a forum claiming to have defeated Marta Unwin alone. As soon as he published it, other players just mocked him for it as he was only level 28. They just kept mocking him until he posted a video of him single-handedly killing the boss, and the forum could only accept and quieten down. Marta Undian was a spellcaster-class monster, and his only skill was the fireball. As soon as the battle began, he would begin to cast it, and being a world boss, his fireball was not only a single one but ten separate balls. Each ball dealt at least 1000 damage, and can be casted every three seconds. Truly, he was a monster capable of wiping out entire parties. However, he needed to channel, fireball, every time before using it, and the hunter made good use of the topographic layout of the area to his advantage. As soon as Unwin began channeling, the hunter hid behind a huge rock out of the boss line of sight. In God's Miracle, if a target left the line of sight, any attack would have been rendered ineffective, causing the boss to cancel the spell channeling. When that happened, the hunter would re-merge and resume attacking. With him in sight, the boss would once again begin to channel his spell, but before he could complete the three second cast time, the hunter would slide behind the rock once more. This strategy was truly straightforward and the execution was fairly simple, the only difficult part was that the boss HP was ridiculously high. Since attacking continuously was impossible, the hunter spent an entire day just to slay the boss. Once his strategy got out to public, people started to realize that it was not so difficult to fight this boss. The developers reacted quickly to this by removing that huge rock. When Zhang Yang entered the game, that rock was already gone. He only stumbled on this tactic while leisurely browsing through the forums. If that rock was what he imagined, then even a melee character could properly utilize the advantage. After thoroughly thinking through, Zhang Yang replied to Defiant Monk, OK then, send me the location. I'm heading over now. 87145, 24103. We'll be waiting for you. Someone else will add you into the party. Don't reject it. And as soon as he said that, a party invitation came through. Ding. Player Drizzler has sent you a party invitation. Will you accept it? Zhang Yang selected accept and was added in. Ding. You have joined the party. Party Leader, Drizzler. Item Distribution, Party Leader Distribution. With him in the party, there were a total of 34 players. The game only allowed a maximum of 50 in one party. Zhang Yang scanned through the player names, and recognized one player, Little Snow. Scrawny rascal. Little Snow sent what looked like a tooth bearing, and paws claw in Jmotikan, which was one of the available ones in game. Zhang Yang merely ignored her, and continued on. Defiant Monk began introducing Zhang Yang to the team with words of praise. Guys, this is Zhang Yu, the guardian that gave us that clear in the hardcore mode run. He's super pro. Zhang Yang initially planned on laying low but with an introduction like that, he could only respond, Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you, Zhang Yu. Whoa, level 18. That's awesome. Why isn't his name in the level ranking board? Must be a bug in the system. Everyone began chatting, and the channel got rowdy. Zhang Yang opened the map to track the location given by Defiant Monk, and according to it, he would be heading into the deep parts of the plains Cloud Mountain. If memory served him well, all the monsters in that area were above level 20. Puzzled, he asked Defiant Monk, how did you even find this boss in such a desolate area? To which, 
he hastily replied, we've an idiot here who has a terrible sense of direction. She got lost and wandered into the plains cloud mountain and found him. It had to be little snow. Zhang Yang clearly recalled that woman's sense of direction almost immediately. Drizzler, the party leader sent a message in the party channel, everyone, recover your HP, we're fighting him once again. That's our guild master. Defiant Monk introduced. Soon, the battle began once more, and Drizzler began giving orders. Big Lin, start the fight. Healers, watch yourselves. Attackers, move forward behind me. Zhang Yang didn't have to think any further, as he already predicted the entire party would be wiped out. Half a minute later, all the names on the list aside from Zhang Yang had gone dark, which signified that they had died, and complaints began to fill the chat. Master, this monster is too strong. We're not capable of fighting it. Yeah. With all the fireball flying around, anywhere around us is a kill zone. Even the healers can't heal us in time. This level 25 boss is completely out of our league. But Drizzlow felt discontented, and should we just give up? The others began to realize that they were underpowered. We have no choice. We need to get above level 20, find equipment from the next dungeon, and raise our HP to at least 1500 to even have some hope. Defiant Monk had banked his confidence on someone else instead. Hold on for a little longer. John Yu hasn't arrived yet, and with him here there should be a way. TCH. The problem isn't the tanker, it's the boss multi-target skill. We don't need a tanker against a skill like that. Master, let's wait for Zhang Yu and try again. Zhang Yang's performance in the Banger Crypt really made an impression on Defiant Monk to the point where he blindly trusts Zhang Yang to handle any problem in front of him no matter the difficulty. As Drizzler had not decided on anything yet, she went along with Defiant Monk's suggestion, OK then, we'll wait for him to arrive and then we'll give it one more try. Suddenly, someone in the party exclaimed, Oh, nuts. My wife is about to have a baby. I'd better send her to the hospital now. Sorry guys, I'll be leaving. And after that, more people voiced out as well. Whoops, it's almost time to go to work. I'd better prepare dinner for my wife first. Bye guys, I'm logging off too. Take it slow. F asterisk CK, my next door neighbors are barking at each other like dogs. I'd better go over there and give them a piece of my mind or they are not stopping at all. Sorry, I'm going to be busy in a while. Got to give my boy some milk. In only a matter of seconds, more than 10 players gave ridiculous excuses to leave the party and logged off. Out of the 34 players before this, there were only 15 left. Well, that's it then. Dismissed. Drizzler unwillingly announced to disband the party, as many of them gave excuses just to leave. With that, the only ones left in the party were Drizzler, Little Snow and Zhang Yang. Even Defiant Monk left the party, and he sent a message to Zhang Yang not long after saying, Zhang Yu, sorry man. Your entire journey is wasted. Not a problem. Zhang Yang replied, as he continued on towards the plains cloud mountain. Little Snow saw his name was still in the party list, and inquired, A eh? scrawny rascal. Why are you still in the party? I want to give it a shot. A shot at what? Trying to court me. Han Yinx Yu. Could you please stop toying with others? Drizzler couldn't ignore any more of Little Snow's behavior, and interjected with a sense of justice in her. He he, are you jealous, perhaps? Since you're still underage, you can't really be in a relationship. Feeling enraged from that comment, Drizzler threatened her, Han Ying Xiu. I swear I will go up those stairs, and punch you in your boobs. I'm going to bust those humongous bubbles. Ha ha. 
Miss Sunny sighed up. You really are jealous of me. Little Snow could not contain her laughter anymore. Zhang Yang could only remain silent. These two women are wild. During the battle of words between the two, Zhang Yang reached the plains cloud mountain and ran straight towards the boss location. Being level 18, he caused the monsters that were level 20 and above to turn aggressive, so he had to slay his way through. Drizzlo kept on threatening Little Snow while she was still playing around. Han Yinks you. I'm cutting ties with you. If you ever get lost again, don't even think about calling to me for help. Let's see. You've been cutting ties with me since you were younger. Hmm, this would be the 1,892 ND time you did that. Or was it the 1,893 road? After passing through a bush, Zhang Yang reached the location, and he spotted two female characters, at a distance. One was just casually looking at her fingernails with her arms stretched out, while the other had both arms on her hips looking quite fierce. That should be Little Snow and Drizzler. As soon as they saw him approaching, they stopped quarreling and Little Snow asked him, Are you really sure about trying this out? Drizzler was a female human warrior, level 13. From the looks of it, she was about the age of either 17 or 18 years old. Her body was still underdeveloped, she was completely flat-chested and didn't really have much of a behind as well. However, she did have beautiful complexion, and given time, her body would mature into someone truly seductive, if her face changed as well. Hmm. I'm sure about giving it a go. Zhang Yang casually responded while closely observing the huge round object. It was about 5 meters in width, and 3 meters in height, and it looked more like a chopped tree trunk. There is a chance. Zhang Yang could not help but let out an excited smile. Chapter 40, Attack on the Grey Silver Boss Looking at Zhang Yang, Little Snow felt a chill run down her spine. Yo, look at the way you smile. You're such a pervert. Drizzler, take a look at the bad uncle. Just a second ago, they were in a heated argument, but now they were the best of friends. Drizzler hurried to Lit Snow, and hid behind her, looking at Zhang Yang and said, Cousin, here's your glorious mission. Sacrifice your dignity, and use your sex appeal to lure this uncle into our guild. Little Snow didn't take that suggestion too kindly. Stinking little brat. What do you take me for, someone you can just buy and sell? The two of you stay here. I'm going to try and take on this boss myself. Even if things get out of hand, don't try to enter this fight. Zhang Yang was not in the mood to pay attention to them. While applying a whetstone on his weapon, he fixated his eyes on the boss, a man dressed in white robe, kneeling in front of the altar, and on his left side, there was a purple wand. Marta Unwin, Grey Silver. Level. 25. HP, 300,000. 300,000 HP. That is insane. Hey, 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 are you really going to take this boss on? Alone. Little Snow cried out as she saw Zhang Yang wielding his sword and rushing towards the boss. She remembered the first time she met him, and he did the same thing in the past as well. It seemed that the word death is not in his vocabulary. There was a level gap of seven levels between Zhang Yang and the boss, but he still stepped forward into the aggro range. Immediately, Unwin stood up, picked up his wand, and said, Intruder. You have tarnished the sacred altar. I must now use your blood to purify this boundless sin. In all honesty, the boss did have a handsome face on him. His untrimmed beard carried a sense of maturity in life that made a three-decade-aged man look wiser than he should be. One could say he had the potential to seduce plenty of lonely housewives. Ding! Marta Unwin has begun casting, Fireball. Charge! As soon as his, charge, was in range, Zhang Yang dashed into strike, but he soon discovered that the boss was immune to stun. Unfazed, 
the boss glaringly looked at him while continuously chanting the spell. But Zhang Yang only used charge to quickly reach the boss's side, and without staggering, he ran towards the huge rock to his right. 60%, 70%, 80%, Just when Unwin's chanting was almost complete, Zhang Yang managed to hide behind the rock, out of the boss vision. Unwin chided angrily and cancelled the magic symbol on his hand, and moved to where Zhang Yang was. When he was within line of sight, the boss began chanting once more. 60% Zhang Yang struck the boss, but his normal attacks could not even exceed 100 damage. His attack damage was supposed to be 153161 points after applying the whetstone, but he suspected that the boss defense might be around 100 points. Having such low damage, the generated rage will be equally low. After 10 points from charge, he only had 16 rage. After 2 seconds, Zhang Yang swung again to deal 53 damage and quickly moved back behind the rock and out of the boss vision with just 2 steps. Unwin bellowed fiercely as his nearly completed fireball was interrupted once again. He moved a few steps again to regain sight on his target and began casting once more. 61% Zhang Yang casted, horizontal sweep, and there was finally some significant damage. 222. After another 2 seconds, Zhang Yang swung his sword again to deal 57 damage, and while paying attention to the timing, withdrew behind the rock and out of the boss vision for the third time. Unwin kept roaring, but due to how he was designed, he did not execute any form of melee attack and could only chase Zhang Yang to chant the spell that could never be completed. What? Is this really happening? Drizzler was left with her jaw dropped, feeling dumbfounded. Now that's a real professional, nodded Little Snow. Cousin, it all depends on you now. Come on, pull him into our guild. Hey, hey. I'm your one and only beloved cousin. Are you really going to sell me out like that? Oh, you are my dear cousin. Now, please help me. You have that charm in you. I believe with just a lift of your finger, you definitely charmed that weird uncle. Damn. Maybe he prefers flat chests more. Han Yinks you. I'm warning you. Don't you ever mention about my chest. Ha ha. Sunny side up. You too. Come and join the fight. Zhang Yang was not aware that they were bickering again as it was through private messaging. On his own, his attack speed was slow, but with the two of them, it would be an added advantage to have more damage dealt. The two girls stopped their squabble and ran to his aid. They emulated Zhang Yang's hit and run tactics. Just attack. You don't have to hide, I will take care of the aggro. Don't worry about the fireball. It will never be executed. The two understood his orders and started attacking the boss from behind and began to do some damage. Drizzler was a berserker and carried a two-handed weapon. Her basic attack damage was relatively high at about 190 points, but the attack interval was at 3.8 seconds between each strike. It was clear that high basic damage dealers could overwhelm monsters with high defense. The Berserker's passive skill increased 10% of all attack damage, which allowed her to damage the boss with 100 points per strike, and a single hit was more than what Zhang Yang could deal. As for Little Snow, she was much weaker due to the 10 levels of gap between the boss and her. Thus, along with the boss basic magic immunity, she was rendered completely useless. Although the progress was slow, the boss health was constantly dropping. After half an hour, the boss HP was left with 130,000 points, 57% remaining. Drizzler began to cry out in fatigue, oh my god, how much longer is this going to take? I'm exhausted. After doing some calculation, Zhang Yang said, with this speed, it would take another 40 minutes to kill this boss. Drizzler pouted her lips, wow. 
If I had known earlier how draggy this would be, I wouldn't have dismissed the party. Little Snow interjected, stupid girl, less people means bigger share. As soon as she heard that, Drizzler's eyes sparkled and even Zhang Yang could see her eyes were radiating with shiny gold pieces. Most players would have preferred fewer party members to get more equipment drops, but these two wanted money more than anything else. A grey silver grade boss, he should be dropping quite the amount of gold pieces, no. As soon as Little Snow said that, Drizzler's fighting spirit and desire exponentially rose. Cousin, let's do this. F asterisk CK this boss up. Okay. Let's go. Their desire and lust for gold drove their fighting spirits to greater heights. Marta Unwin was really strong. The fireball skill could release 10 projections upon casting, carrying the destructive power of 1000 damage each. Players considered this to be an unbreakable monster, but the existence of that particular stone has become Unwin's Achilles heel. Unwin has been absolutely oppressed. Another half an hour later, Unwin has only 10% HP left. 9%, 8%, 7%. 10 minutes later. Vile invaders, the gods will punish you. And with his last words delivered, the world boss finally cried out in humiliation and fell. Ding. You and your party members have killed Marta Unwin. Obtained 100,500 EXP, 50 points party bonus. Ding. Congratulations. You are the first party to kill a grey silver boss. Your glorious achievement will be recorded in history. As the party leader, Please name your party to be enlisted into history, and the world can praise you for your might. Drizzler was surprised, and an input box appeared on her interface that came with a notification sound. John Yu, we can enter the ranking board. But, what should we name our party as? Drizzler was being polite, knowing that Zhang Yang was the main reason they managed to defeat this boss. She and Little Snow contributed almost nothing to it. Zhang Yang laughed, just key in your guild name. After all, they discovered the boss and with Defiant Monk in the guild, it was also a sign of respect. Thank you very much. Drizzler was grateful and immediately keyed in her guild name. This was the best opportunity to spread their name, as the server announcement has the best publicity effect. Server announcement Party Lone Desert Smoke has successfully killed the Martyr Unwin, level 25 Grey Silver Boss, China Server. This achievement will be recorded in the Hall of Fame. Please celebrate and cheer for them. Server Announcement, Player Drizzler, Party Leader, has successfully killed the Martyr Unwin, level 25 Grey Silver Boss, China Server. Obtained 10 Gold Coins, Luck Attribute plus 1, and 500 reputation points across all races in the league are awarded. Server announcement, player Zhang Yu, party member, has successfully killed the Marta Unwin, level 25 grey silver boss, China server. Obtained 10 gold coins, luck attribute plus 1, and 500 reputation points across all races in the league are awarded. Server announcement, player Little Snow, party member, has successfully killed the Marta Unwin, level 25 Grey Silver Boss, China Server. Obtained 10 gold coins, luck attribute plus 1, and 500 reputation points across all races in the league are awarded. The entire Chinese server began to get lively. At this point in time, most players were still happily raiding the Banger Crypt in easy mode, and only 10% of the players could raid in hard mode, while the elites from the big guilds would take on the hardcore mode. Out of the blue, came a server announcement bearing news of the first kill on a grey silver boss. How could anyone be calm? On top of that, the boss was killed by a party of three. What on earth was happening? The server was filled with chatter, causing a large number of parties to be killed in the dungeon. Now, the ones that regretted the most were probably the Lone Desert Smoke players that left the party earlier. Had they known that there was such a possibility, 
they would have certainly stayed on to obtain the server announcement as well. It would be exhilarating. It's money. Money, money, money. Completely disregarding the equipment, Drizzler happily hugged the heap of money dropped by the boss. Zhang Yang could never comprehend their love for money. The other players would already be weeping as there were grey silver equipment lying all over the ground, there was even a skill book. Chapter 41, A Handsome Reward Beep One by one, messages flooded his friend list. Defiant monk, you're a pro. You really did kill the boss. Ha ha. I knew you could do it. Snowy death, pro, bro. Taking on the boss without inviting a bro? Come on, bro. Hundred shot, congratulations. Fatty Han, F asterisk CKU, man. How could you have hers before bros? There are two babes right there, and you can't even let me have one. Crimson Fire and Silky Snow sent their regards too, he knew there was envy and jealousy hidden in their words. Zhang Yang could not tolerate those two anymore, all right, all right. You're all grown-ups now. Stop acting like children. I'm opening the corpse. They were so intoxicated with money that their eyes glowed into a weird symbol of money. Ding. You have obtained 40 silver pieces after distribution. Such a stingy grey silver boss, only giving 1 gold and 20 silver. Drizzler openly replied to him, John Yu, you should get all the equipment since technically, you killed the boss. Zhang Yang pondered and then said, you do know that any one of these equipment can easily be sold for at least 1000 gold. How can you let this chance slip by when the two of you are so intoxicated with such little amount of silver? HMPH I'm not a miser. Drizzler then threw a look of disgust onto Zhang Yang. You know, as the saying goes, for what you earn, pray that it's clean. You can't accept a fortune that is not by your effort. Zhang Yang grinned, and replied, I prefer the saying, a horse without wild grass would be thin, man without a fortune is poor. Ah! Uh, what a waste of time. Then the girls stepped aside. Zhang Yang thought for a while and said, since we fought the boss together, everybody should get a share. How about this? I will help myself with whatever I like, and the rest of the loot will be shared between both of you. Sounds good. The girls agreed, as it was still the battle loot from a grey silver boss. Martyr ring, grey silver, ring. Vitality, plus 10. Strength, plus 10. Equip effect, increase critical strike chance by 1%. Level requirement, 20. The girls gave up their role at the same time, and the equipment went to Zhang Yang. At least he was lucky once. He continued to open the corpse. Spellcaster's circlet, grey silver, cloth armor. Defense, plus 4. Vitality, plus 48. Intelligence, plus 24. Spirit, plus 8. Note, this once belonged to the great spellcaster Unwin, signifying intelligence and strength. Zhang Yang was the first to reject the role, leaving Little Snow happily smiling. Carved boots, grey silver, leather armor. Defense, plus 8. Vitality, plus 15. Strength, plus 5. Dexterity, plus 20. Level requirement, 20. Since all three of them could not equip this, they rolled together and was obtained by Drizzler with 78 points. Holy Prayers, Skill Book. Use, you will learn, Holy Prayers. Class requirement, priest, knight. Quickly, use it. What does it really do, asked Drizzler curiously. Little Snow obtained the skill book after Zhang Yang, and Drizzler gave up their role. She then patted the book on her chest, and posted the skill description after learning it. Holy Prayers, level 1 heals targets HP for 100% of the current magic attack. 
the nearest surrounding players will receive healing for 25% of the current magic attack. Up to 4 players maximum. MP cost, 50. Cast time, 1.5 seconds. Cooldown time, 10 seconds. It was not clear what would happen after leveling up the skill, whether it was increased healing capacity, shorter casting time, or even reduced cooldown time. It did not matter as this skill was meant for mass healing, which greatly reduced the difficulty of raiding dungeon bosses that used multi-target skills. Under the boss remained the last item, a skill book with a red cover. Eagle Eye, Skill Book Use, you will learn, Eagle Eye. Class Requirement, Warrior, Knight, Hunter, Thief. Drizzler was once again curious. A. Eh? This skill is so versatile, it can be learned by so many different classes. What skill is this, exactly? Zhang Yang, on the other hand, got excited and said, Please, let me have this one. Drizzler curled her lips to his response, TCH. What are you getting so excited about? I've already said that all the loot belongs to you. She then gave up her role. Little Snow had the intention to tease Zhang Yang again but as she also agreed to let him have all the items, she gave up her role as well. Once Zhang Yang had gotten hold of the skill book, he quickly patted it against his chest, and with a flash of light, a new skill appeared on his skill window. Seeing Zhang Yang giggling like a madman, Drizzler could not resist and asked. Post it out. I want to see it too. Zhang Yang laughed too and posted the newly gained skill description to the party channel. Eagle Eye, passive, level 1 you now have the ability to thoroughly search the enemy's weak points. All attacks will now ignore 50% enemy defense. TCH, and here I thought it was some godly skill. The warrior's level 20, crippled defense, skill also has a 50% armor reduction, and Drizzler curled her lips again. Aha! Uh -huh. First, Cripple Defense can only cause 10% armor reduction upon each stack, and you can only have 50% armor reduction after 5 stacks. By then, I would have attacked a number of times already. Plus, if you were to fight against a group of monsters then you'll have to apply 5 stacks of Cripple Defense on each monster. How long would that take? Zhang Yang giggled uncontrollably. Second. Eagle Eye, effect can be stacked with, crippled defense. Both girls were surprised. Zhang Yang loved this skill in his previous life. Sadly, Eagle Eye's skill book drop rate is too low, and there were not more than 100 players who had this skill in the entire China server. Zhang Yang never managed to pick up this skill book before and he had never seen this skill book being sold in the auction house. The maximum level for this skill was 10, and the ignore defense value would increase to 95%. This was especially efficient when it was used against high defense bosses or in park against knights or guardians. If Zhang Yang had possessed Eagle Eye during the boss fight just now, he would have immediately ignored 50% of the defense, and his attack would increase by 50. That was almost double his attack power. Later on, he opened another 7 to 8 other equipment, but none of those suited him. He was lucky enough to roll these 3 equipment, 2 leather armor and 1 heavy armor for a support knight. The leather armors were for Fatty Han, and the heavy armor was for Ocean Despair. But Zhang Yang decided to sell it off in the auction house because he knew that Ocean Despair would reject his offer out of courtesy. All right, everything has been distributed. Let's return to the city. Zhang Yang took out a teleportation scroll and tore it apart nonchalantly. Before the magic circle formed completely, Zhang Yang asked, Oh, right. Have you guys tried bang a crypt in hardcore mode? While tearing their teleportation scroll, as well, Drizzler replied, the first boss is too tough. We had two tanks but they could not maintain the aggro. One fell after the other, and we could never conquer it. Why do you ask? 
Are you willing to take us there? asked Little Snow. After a white pillar of light flashed, Zhang Yang emerged out of the teleportation waypoint in the White Jade Castle. Following closely were Drizzler and Little Snow in the same white light. I just want a mineral that appears at the third boss. You guys can have everything else. How about that, said Zhang Yang, smiling. Right now, Earthen Round Shield is selling extremely well. If the playing copper vein could produce two to four playing copper ore, he could earn up to two to four gold pieces. Even though the two girls were a little crazy whenever it comes to money, but their way of conduct was truly to be respected, which was why Zhang Yang would only involve people he thought was worthwhile in a mutual beneficial act. Sure, sure, sure. I'll form a party now. Drizzla was happily cheering, but she stopped after a while, turned around and looked at Zhang Yang with suspicion in her eyes, Hey, you're not actually trying to get my cousin and me, right? Little Snow nodded in agreement and said, Drizzla, there's always something hiding behind a good will. No, I'm not. Zhang Yang shook his head. Very well then. Drizzla bought into his words and went on jumping happily. Innocent little idiot. Little Snow withdrew with defeat. After checking the system clock, Zhang Yang suggested to them, it's almost 7 p.m. How about we all take our dinner and meet back here in an hour? Drizzla then turned to Little Snow, Herm, now that you've mentioned it, I am kind of hungry. Cousin, where shall we eat later? How about at the Arc de Triomphe? That place has some good beef steaks. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. And with that, the two girls logged off faster than Zhang Yang could, and their characters instantly disappeared right in front of him. He thought it was a little amusing, chuckled, and then logged off himself. Zhang Yang suddenly thought, these two girls must be from a rich family. There was also a western restaurant called Arc de Triumph in the city where he was living in, and it really was famous for its beef steak. In his previous life, he went there and ate several times while he was rich. It truly was delicious, and it could be a chance that they were all actually living in the same city. After a brief thought, Zhang Yang ran downstairs and bought two packets of $5 boxed rice. It had to be two as he always had a big appetite and would not be contented with just one. After dinner and some rest, Zhang Yang came back online. He first spent some time at the smithing shop and raised his smithing level. When it was almost an hour past, he already made more than 900 pieces of beginner whetstone and obtained amateur smithing level. Ding! Player Drizzler has invited you to join her party. Would you accept the invitation? 8 p.m. sharp. These two girls were really punctual. Zhang Yang accepted the invitation, and with him, there were ten other players, including Defiant Monk. After greeting each other in the party, they headed to the dungeon entrance, and as soon as everyone gathered, the fight began. What really surprised Zhang Yang were the girls, they both had strong gaming abilities. Drizzler was just a little girl wielding a two-handed sword, but she held it fiercely and with great strength. Her knowledge in using her skill rotations was quite formidable as with proper rotation, her total damage was high enough that she would come in second place in terms of damage output as compared to Zhang Yang. Little Snow had good crowd control. Whoever had their HP dropped low, she would be there to instantly cast a regeneration spell and would consider whether to continue casting a healing spell. Her MP management was incredible as she had never wasted a single drop of MP. Whenever a fight ended, she could control and manage her MP to be more or less half, while the other healer completely drained his MP to zero. Little Snow was leading in total healing by 62%. If these two persons were willing to be trained and studied a little, they could be professional players in the future. Though it might not be possible to guarantee a victory in the S-Class Professional League, they could still completely conquer the A-Class with ease. It is weird. 
How have I not seen their names before? Lost Paradise was not really a big guild, but at least they were a semi-professional one sponsored by a business company. That was why all the elites in the guild were fluent in the game basics. However, Lone Desert Smoke was way beneath them. Even though Drizzler chose the players with the best equipment to join the party, their attacking power was still far from that of Lost Paradise. The good thing was that Zhang Yang was already level 18. All his equipment were almost green copper, pressuring the boss own attack. Along with Drizzler's capability and Little Snow's healing control, they managed to overcome obstacles and defeated the dungeon's third boss Dardarada. Chapter 42 the brother dragon of the massage parlor. A plain copper mine spawned, but Zhang Yang could not harvest it as he had discarded that skill, someone else harvested and gave it to him. As promised earlier from both parties, Zhang Yang could have all three, plain copper or Lone Desert Smoke members had no objections regarding this as the only reason they were there was to look for better equipment. While Zhang Yang led the party into the secret chamber of Momoromo, a private message appeared from Fatty Han. Little Yang, lend me a hand in hard mode. Surprised, Zhang Yang replied, what the f asterisk ck are you doing in hard mode? Hurry up and raise your level, and I'll bring you in to get the first clear achievement of the level 20 dungeon. Fatty Han continued pleading, please. I'm carrying a lovely girl to farm for some equipment. These two noob tanks can't even get past the first boss. We got wiped out three times. I've already made a promise to her, so please come and help me. Damn, you sleazy pervert. Okay, but I'm still in the middle of a dungeon run, and I'm fighting the last boss. Add me into the party after I'm done. As expected, my brother. I will wait for you. Zhang Yang shook his head, and then began to explain the boss strategy to his party members. They started the fight and was wiped out twice, but they eventually cleared it. Zhang Yang was in a hurry, and as soon as the boss was defeated, he went straight out from the dungeon without checking the loot. He left Drizzler's party when he reached the dungeon entrance, and sent a private message to Fatty Han, OK, party me. After a while, a party invitation was sent from a stranger. Ding. Player Dragon Swordsman invited you to join his party. Will you accept his invitation? Zhang Yang accepted and joined the party of ten. He re-entered the dungeon, and saw nine others waiting for him at the dungeon entrance. Wiped out again? Zhang Yang asked. Yeah, all noobsha asterisk t, scolded Fatty Han. Dragon Swordsman chipped in, ha ha. Now that the professional is here, we can surely clear this dungeon now. Let's go. Zhang Yang scanned the team and saw two lovely ladies standing beside Fatty Han, and they seemed to be in their twenties. One was rather slim while the other was fairly plump, but she had an impressive bosom. Their tag read floating flower and round swallow, and both were level 12 from the same guild called Blazing City. Floating Flower was an elf priest, and Round Swallow was a human sacred knight. I guess these are the two being babysat. From the looks of it, the other party members were like a group of birds flocking together. Aside from Dragon Swordsman and another spellcaster called Little Tyrant Ju Tong, the four other members were young girls. All of them had an acceptable level of beauty, and there were no dinosaur cases here, although none of them could compare to the all-female guild that is Crimson Rage. At the current stage of the game, the number of male players overpowered the number of female players, but the male and female ratio in this party was very strange. Fatty, which is your girl? The priest or the sacred knight, asked Zhang Yang. Sacred knight. Fatty was shy and bashfully said, and also the priest. F asterisk CK. You sick pervert, scolded Zhang Yang. How does it feel to have two targets? Oh, come on. I'm still pure. I won't be doing those kind of disgusting acts. 
Fatty Han's face was filled with righteousness. I'm just enjoying the buns and a little lip service on the side. Little Yang, this high quality virtual reality is truly impressive. The sensation of soft flesh is completely the same as reality. In the end, you're just a sick pervert. Zhang Yang scorned. Chatting while walking, they soon reached Black Claw, the first boss. Let's go. Zhang Yang bluntly said as he wielded his sword and rushed forward. With his current equipment and skills, he was almost able to go solo in hard mode. Brandishing his sword, he was able to beat the Black Claw to a pulp and defeated the first boss. In the team damage statistics, Zhang Yang dealt 48% in total, and with Fatty Han, they dealt 78% together. The two of them were enough to kill to boss. This party's damage output was terrible and the healing was all over the place. The two healers had the equipment but they did not have the power to use it. Dragon Swordsman started a private chat with Zhang Yang shortly after, Zhang Yu. It's an honor to finally meet you. Ha ha. You are welcome, replied Zhang Yang. Please, join our guild. Name your price. It seemed like Dragon Swordsman could be someone rich and powerful. Zhang Yang only smiled and said, Thank you, but I currently have no plans to join any guilds. Dragon Swordsman suddenly changed the topic. This slim guy is your friend, I presume? Zhang Yang was confused. After realizing that he meant Fatty Han, he said, Yes. Your friend is in our guild. There's no point in playing alone. Join us and play together. You know, the more the merrier. Our guild, Blazing City, has plenty of lovely ladies, and most of them would be happy to let off some steam. Aha, you know it. Dragon Swordsman was trying to bait him in. Zhang Yang glanced back at the two girls that were slobbering all over Fatty Han, and finally understood what Dragon Swordsman really meant by letting off some steam. What was the difference between them and common hostesses? Zhang Yang was right. In reality, Dragon Swordsman was the owner of a massage parlor. He was commonly known there as Brother Dragon, and has been running that parlor for several years. He really made a living for himself. He was recently assigned to be Vice Deputy President of Public Security Bureau in Changcheng, resulting in a conflict of his business. With no one to run his parlor, how could he go on? The Deputy Chief had some problems with his reputation which directly affected his business. He could not proceed with his business since and had to shut it down. However, Brother Dragon was a smart man. He recalled that his nephew mentioned a newly released online game, and the biggest selling point was the high-quality virtual reality. He researched God's Miracle and bought two gaming helmets to try it out. After entering the game, he conducted many tests on the best girl in his parlor. He tried to knead, pinch, touch and nip her sensitive parts, and he also ordered her to strip down. Brother Dragon felt excitement that was beyond compare. He had the epiphany. Times have changed and technology has advanced. His future now lies in the internet. Without hesitation, he spent a large sum of money and bought game helmets for every female employee working under his business. He brought the parlors, waitresses and security boys together and entered God's Miracle. Brother Dragon took the first step in this game of chess and wanted to establish a brand new massage parlor in the game itself. Even in the midst of all the confusion, he could see a clear vision of his prosperous future. His first step was to raise his guild's reputation and recruit as many members as he could. Having high popularity meant being able to promote all the lovely girls under his business. The ladies that went through face adjustment features during character selection will look as bedazzling as if they undergone plastic surgery in Korea. He was certain they would be able to seduce those perverted men. If the business grew bigger, he would be able to make a deal with others to expand the business. 
Brother Dragon had the utmost confidence that he could build the largest red light district in history. However, the first step was always the hardest, how could he raise his guild's popularity? Just as he was frowning to the point his brows were knitted closely, he saw the server announcement, the same announcement that belonged to Zhang Yang when he cleared Banger Crypt. Brother Dragon had another inspiration. He then sent his trump cards to lure in ten party members. Unfortunately, Zhang Yang was out of reach as he turned off his private messaging and friend request service. The four Lost Paradise members could not be tempted and as for the remaining five players, Fatty Han, having the weakest resolve was easily seduced. Brother Dragon went through the dungeon several times before, and he knew the importance of a good tank in a party, and was desperate in trying to recruit Zhang Yang in. Even though contacting him had failed, he found out that Fatty Han was actually Zhang Yang's good friend in reality. That was why he always bet on Fatty Han and used him as bait to draw Zhang Yang to his side. Unable to hold back his feelings, Zhang Yang sent Fatty Han a private message, Fatty, don't tell me you're actually serious with these two girls. Fatty Han replied. TCH. Look at them go at me. It's the same as the salon girls from Happy Street. I just want to enjoy their service for a little while. Zhang Yang finally understood that Fatty Han knew what he wanted. Fatty, I'm going to start our own guild very soon. Stop slacking and pay attention to those players that might have some skills or personality. We could recruit them next time. Okay, I got it. Fatty Han then paused and said, Those two seductive ladies are flirting with me again, and they want me to pull you into the guild. How about this? Join this guild temporarily and give me some respect. He he. Little Yang, the members of this guild are all really pretty. Plus, they all like to have fun. You go ahead. Don't drag me into your own fantasy. The party proceeded on. With Zhang Yang's passive, eagle eye, his attack power rose to another level. It did not take long for Zhang Yang to defeat the second and third boss, hard mode was fairly easy for him. Brother Dragon wanted to proceed with a hardcore mode, but Zhang Yang left the party, claiming that he only had limited dungeon entries. Brother Dragon wanted to insist more but even he knew when to stop persuading. It did not matter much since he had Fatty Han in his grasp, and one day he could use Fatty to bring Zhang Yang into his guild. There will always be a chance. Zhang Yang returned to the capital, and the first thing he did was to buy all the brassica weed and ginkgo flower from the auction house and turned them all into anti-shadow potion. It was about 11 p.m. or so when he was done. He decided it was time to log out. Laying in his bed, Zhang Yang hopped onto his train of thoughts. Right now, he needed to set up his own dungeon party. He cannot depend on wild or random parties to raid a dungeon. Marzway's lair was a level 20 dungeon, split into three sections. The front wing and middle wing were five men dungeons. The equipment drop from the three difficulties were level 10 black steel grade, level 20 black steel grade, and level 20 green copper grade respectively. The main section, Marzway's lair, was a 20 men dungeon with only one boss, Marzway. The equipment drops from the three difficulties were level 20 black steel grade, level 20 green copper grade, and level 20 grey silver grade respectively. In other words, there were three hardcore mode first clear achievements obtainable from this dungeon. That also meant three extra skill points to gain. Currently, he decided to keep Fatty Han and 100 shot in the party. For the five man dungeon, he needed a healer and an attacker. Zhang Yang only knew a few healers, namely Ocean Despair, Silky Snow, and Little Snow. Although Ocean Despair was a big fan of Zhang Yang, his skills and spatial awareness were not up to his expectations, and he could not leave Ocean Despair to handle healing alone. Silky Snow was good, but she was in Lost Paradise, and would definitely not follow him. 
As for Little Snow, she might become a potential A-level professional league player, with some honing. It would definitely have been a great help if he could recruit her. Drizzler was also already good to go as she was, truly a wonderful piece of jade. Was it possible to get them on his side? Zhang Yang started to ponder on this matter. Chapter 43, Sacred Training Ground After waking up from a good night's sleep, Zhang Yang logged into the game filled with energy and spirit. Opening his friend list, he saw Fatty Han online and realized that he was only level 15. So painfully low. 100 shots was online too, and he was only a level lower than Fatty Han. Looking through the level ranking board, Floating Fireball was at level 19, while the other three were level 18, except for Clear Color who was level 17. 100 shots and Fatty Han's levels were just too low. Zhang Yang suddenly had an idea, I know an excellent place for a quick level up. He sent the party invitations to them, and Fatty Han accepted it immediately. Even 100 shots accepted it. He has been maintaining good ties with Zhang Yang by chatting him up for the past few days. Guys, I found an amazing place to grind, exclaimed Zhang Yang through the party channel. Go, go, go. Fatty Han shouted excitedly. Hold up. I need to invite two more players, and Zhang Yang sent a message to Little Snow, I found a great place to train, want to join? All I need is a healer, and an attacker. After some time, Little Snow finally replied, Scrawny rascal, what are you planning to do with me? TCH. Yes or no? I could always find someone else. Even Zhang Yang knew how to act tough. Yes. Of course I want to. Hang on, I'll call Drizzler. And she logged off immediately. Soon, she re-logged in and sent a private message, send a party invitation to Drizzler and me, and they were added into the party too. Fatty Han was thrilled to see them. Whoa. Pretty ladies. Hundred shots could only chuckle at him. You haven't even seen their faces, how could you call them pretty just because they are ladies? Fatty Han decided to play the devil's advocate against hundred shots. Ladies, this guy dared to say you're not pretty. Should I just punch him in the face? Drizzler giggled and said, punch him. I'm definitely a pretty lady, and soon to be a pretty queen, charming thousands around me. Little Snow couldn't help but to rain on her parade, little brat. What are you bragging about when you just woke up? You haven't even brushed your teeth. Han yinks you. How dare you say that out loud? I was sound asleep until you came in and made a mess. HMPH. HMPH. Fatty Han tried to keep the conversation going, but he was just spouting nonsense, eh? Pretty Snow is also a Han. What a coincidence, my surname is Han too. This is destiny, truly destiny. Everyone, gather at the north of the city. We'll follow my lead once everyone is here. Zhang Yang could not resist adding another sentence, Drizzler, please keep that directional idiot on the right track. Who is the idiot? Little Snow retorted. Whomever that responded is the idiot. Zhang Yang laughed as he replied. Now, hurry up and stop wasting time. We have to get to level 20 today. Drizzler seemed doubtful about this and strongly protested against the idea. Level 20? Zhang Yu, have you lost your mind? At my current level, I need at least 1 million experience points, and even if I spend my whole day grinding, I can only gain one level. Mike Yusen and I are only at level 13, and I don't think you can even make it to level 20 either. Ha ha. That's the reason why I called you here, to grind at the holy training ground. Oh? Is there really such a place? Drizzler began doubting her own thoughts as Zhang Yang spoke with such confidence. To think this man actually defeated the once undefeatable boss martyr Unwin. 
he definitely has some secret up his sleeve. Let's go for it. After finally meeting up, they embarked on their journey through the sky blue lakes and peaceful plains, before finally entering the spider's forest. It was dark and dim, filled with all kinds of spiders roaming everywhere, leaving cobwebs hung with animal carcasses as the forest's decoration. There were little globs that were white spiders' eggs rest beneath the tree, and they were absolutely disgusting. You, Little Snow and Drizzler both frowned at the sight of it. Fatty Han stepped forward in front of them and said, Don't worry ladies, for this Fatty will protect you. Follow me. Zhang Yang continued to lead the way, guiding the other four into the deeper parts of the forest. They slain a number of minions along the way, and soon reached a cave entrance. Enter. Not being fond of darkness in the cave, Little Snow and Drizzler forced themselves to press on as they were already here and it would a waste to turn back. The girls stuck closely behind Zhang Yang, while Fatty Han and Hundred Shots guarded their rear. As they proceeded en route while killing more small spiders, they finally arrived at the deepest part of the cave. It had a massive space and two gigantic spiders as tall as two-story buildings sat on their webs, taking up almost half of the area. All eight of their legs were thicker than an elephant's, and the hair covering them looked more like daggers. Broodmother, Green Copper Boss. Level, 20. HP, 60,000. Little Snow whispered, Hey, do you actually think we could level up to 20 after killing these monsters? Zhang Yang laughed loudly. Of course not. In the game, speaking loudly would not provoke or attract a monster's attention, unless you were in the monster's aggro range. Little Yang, where is this so-called training ground that you spoke of? Fatty Han looked somewhat confused despite having faith in Zhang Yang. We're here. Zhang Yang spoke nonchalantly. The other four players began expressing confusion. This is a level 20 boss, and even though it is a green copper boss, the divided experience points earned after killing it would be low. The only way to gain even one level from this was if the boss had unlimited respawn, and we killed it 40 to 50 times. The unpredictable Zhang Yang then pointed to the two rocks to their left and said, I'll give the signal to hide later. Fatty, Hundred, and Little Snow, you three must stand in the middle of the rocks while Drizzler and I defend the front. Why? Drizzler asked. You'll know soon enough. Get ready, I'm starting the fight. Zhang Yang then wielded his sword and used, charge. One three three. Normal attack. Broodmother quickly recovered from the stun effect that lasted for a second and then moved one of its long legs to thrust it towards Zhang Yang. Block. 78. Block, reflected damage. 178. Shield bash. Zhang Yang shouted start the attack after he made sure he kept the aggro on him. Little Snow and the others still had no clue to what Zhang Yang was thinking, but they played along and began to strike. 95%, 83%, 71%, the boss HP kept dropping at a tremendous rate. Within two minutes, Broodmother was left with only 15% HP. Stop. It's time to hide. Zhang Yang ordered loudly. Having left a professional impression on the team, Little Snow and the others followed the plan even if they still had some doubts in him. They stood between the rocks once more, having to lean on the side as it was too small for three of them. 14%, 12%, 11%, 10%. Broodmother gave a piercing shriek, ignoring Zhang Yang and climbed the web to its eggs. With a swing of its feet, Four smaller spiders jumped out and tackled Zhang Yang. Ding! Broodmother hatched baby spiders. With a system notification sound, Zhang Yang withdrew to the rocks with Drizzler. With each taking one side, they stood their ground and defended Little Snow and their team. The baby spiders did not stop hatching from the eggs and swarmed at them. Hatched baby spider, normal. 
level, 15. HP, 300. Kill the smaller ones. Zhang Yang yelled as he swung his sword, using, horizontal sweep, that caused numerous damage texts to pop out, ranging from 286 to 302. Some of the baby spiders were killed, while the rest had only a sliver of health left. His, Shadow Rage, necklace was frantically activating, popping out 20 constantly. Ding. You and the party members around have killed hatched baby spider. Obtained 110 experience points, 50 points party bonus. Ding. You and the party members around have killed hatched baby spider. Obtained 110 experience points, 50 points party bonus. Ding. You and the party members around have killed hatched baby spider. Obtained 110 experience points, 50 points party bonus. Ding. Little Snow and the others were both surprised and happy. Do you understand now? Zhang Yang asked while he smiled at them. Fatty then asked, these baby spiders, do they spawn unlimitedly? Yeah, as long as you don't kill the boss, they'll keep on spawning, and thus the secret was revealed. According to the boss mechanics, having lesser than 10% HP prompted it to continuously summon minions to fight. The proper way to fight was to battle until it was dead, but a player's wisdom knew no limits. Someone immediately thought of a way to abuse this mechanic to level up fast. As long as there were two high defense class players blocking the rocks with healers to sustain them, they could grind indefinitely without a problem. However, as soon as the method was revealed to the public, the game developers immediately modified the boss mechanics to only summon 10 baby spiders instead, demolishing the unlimited spawn method. Since Zhang Yang played the game a little later, he was not able to personally experience this method of leveling. He only heard it from others, as they joked about God's miracle. Aside from Little Snow, Zhang Yang and the rest of the party were attacking furiously. The two melee fighters were blocking any incoming attack, while the range attackers fired from behind. Little Snow did her job to heal Zhang Yang and Drizzler. As they were blocking a stone each with half of their body, only ten baby spiders could attack at once. Most of the aggro were held by Zhang Yang, and having 70 points of defense, they only struck him with a measly four points of damage each. It was a breeze. Safe, fast, and with unlimited monsters spawning, this was the smoothest way to level up. Zhang Yang's devastating attack power truly allowed him to perform at his best here. As there is a high monster count, block, reflect damage could be considered a multi-target damage skill. Each damage could bring 3 to 4 120 and above damage text. Horizontal sweep, on the other hand, was much more overwhelming. With high basic attack damage, it could accumulate up to 5,000 damage in a single use against 10 monsters. Drizzler did not have any multi-target skills, so her total damage output was far from Zhang Yang's, from 30%, it jumped to 74%. Fatty Han began to feel the excitement, this is awesome. Look at my EXP bar go. Even 100 shots expressed his gratefulness, Zhang Yu, you're amazing. You could even discover such an amazing way to level up. Two of them gained a level first. Even though it was slow for Zhang Yang to level up, it only took him 20 minutes longer to reach level 19. After an hour, Little Snow and Drizzler leveled up to 14. Chapter 44, Rapid Leveling A traditional, boring, and never-changing style of battle would definitely put someone to sleep. Therefore, Having a rapid leveling style would incite an unbelievable fervor into someone even like Little Snow, as if she could morph into a dragon and slay the monsters in one swift fire attack. After an hour or so, everyone but Zhang Yang gained a level. It was almost lunchtime, but no one in the team talked about logging out for a meal knowing that a loophole like this could be removed by the game developers at any time. With that thought in mind, they were on a frenzy not to waste this golden opportunity. Hey guys, 
How about we log off once everyone is at level 20? Zhang Yang asked. While furiously killing more spiders, Drizzler replied, Well, I'll take this as a chance for me to skip a meal. I'm not going to stop here just yet. Little Snow tried to provoke her even more. Little Brat. You're already so paper thin, your chest would just sink right to your back. If you lose any more weight, I'm afraid that you might never get past puberty. Han Yinks you, just you wait. While you're asleep tonight, I'm going to put little Daisy on your bed. Little Snow's face turned slight pale out of fear. Feeling dazed, she said, then I'll bring a cat home tomorrow. Zhang Yang was curious, um, is little Daisy a mouse? Guinea pig. Oh, little Daisy is so cute and cuddly. Drizzler began to describe her pet. You, disgusting. Little Snow frowned upon her description. Another hour passed again and everyone gained another level, even Zhang Yang reached level 20 and gained a skill point. He immediately invested it in, block, to reduce the cooldown time to a mere 6 seconds. He also swapped his current sword and ring for the new, silver scaled sword, and, martyr ring, and raised his attacks to a whole new level. Player, John Yu. Level, 20. HP, 1600. Defense, 70. Strength, 106. Dexterity, 39. Luck, 3. Melee damage, 345367, damage formula, silver scaled sword, highest and lowest damage plus 148, strength value, forward slash 2, every 2 points of strength will increase 1 point of DPS, x2.6, weapon attack speed. Attack interval, 2.6 seconds. Now he was strong enough to kill the spiders in one hit, as compared to his previous damage output, which took him three strikes. Using, horizontal sweep, he could now deal a whopping 700 damage. With Zhang Yang's increased damage power, Little Snow and the others gained experience a little faster than before but Zhang Yang's own gaining speed was slower than a snail. Zhang Yang's current level surpassed the current rank 1 in the level ranking board, which was floating fireball. Fatty Han on the other hand replaced Abradon at rank 10 with level 17 at 76% experience points. Being the show-off that he was, he definitely was not planning to stay in the shadows. Another hour later and 100 shots got enlisted on the board at last place. Once Fatty Han reached level 18 with 57% experience points, he immediately ranked up to the top 3, causing quite a scene for the other players. It has always been a rat race when it came to the level ranking board. It was not a strange sight to see someone rank 4th drop to 5th or 6th all of a sudden. However, Slim and Handsome here was too much to handle, as he only took an hour to climb up from the lowest rank to the 3rd. It was truly a shocking yet spectacular phenomenon. And the ranking war kept on going. After another hour, Little Snow and Drizzle were also enlisted in the board, ranking at 9th and 10th place. Oh yeah. That's freaking awesome. This fatty here is ranked 2nd. Fatty Han smiled from ear to ear, until his eyes became a slit. Floating fireball had now been pushed down behind Fatty Han. Little Snow and Drizzler shared the same excitement as well, with their faces flushed red with the color of pride. Tonight, we dine like kings. Drizzler cried out. Get yourself some more papaya milk drink. Zhang Yang jokingly said. Huh? Why? Drizzler's eyes were wide open, as if she was completely oblivious about it. Um, Zhang Yang was stunned. He did not want to taint the still innocent young girl. Don't mind him. He's a scrawny rascal. What good advice could he actually give? Little Snow stared furiously at Zhang Yang. Her eyes brows was raised and lower seductively, exquisitely, but it was a pity that she did it behind his back so he could not see anything. Oh. 
Drizzle spoke as if she understood. With the level ranking Rays still going on strong, everyone fought tirelessly. Rays of golden light flashed between them. The China server level ranking board was ever-changing and never constant. Wow, take a look at those four new players ranked in the board. How did they do it? That slim and handsome player was only level 17 in the beginning but my god, is he ranked at first place already? Holy crap. That's three levels in four hours. It's beyond logical. It took me one whole day to gain a level. Arg, they must be using some kind of hacking program. Nonsense. You've been told many times now that God's Miracle doesn't have any hacking programs. It that little Snow and Drizzler. The same players that got the achievement board for killing the Grey Silver boss yesterday. You're right. And those guys, slim and handsome, and hundred shots were in the party that achieved the Banger Crypt first clear hardcore mode achievement. They are all monsters. Hey, doesn't it feel like they are taking one step back and two steps forward? Carry me. The server channel once again began to be filled with players chatting about. When it was almost 5 p.m., a flash of golden light shone around Drizzler's body as she leveled up once more. With that, everyone in Zhang Yang's party had achieved level 20. In the current team, Zhang Yang was level 22, Fatty Hand and Hundred Shots were level 21, and Little Snow and Drizzle were level 20. Since Zhang Yang decided to be out of the ranking board, Fatty Hand and the rest claimed the first, second, third and fourth rank in the level ranking board. The original leveling king, Floating Fireball, has been pushed down to the fifth rank. Zhang Yang used Horizontal Sweep to kill his way out of the monster swarm and used Charge to rush towards the Broodmother's front to swing his sword and deal a huge amount of damage on it. The boss was unable to move nor retaliate as it was busy spawning its minions. With Zhang Yang's impressive firepower, the boss HP dropped from 10% to 3% before Little Snow and the others reached his side. The boss was then defeated with only a few hits. Ding! You and the party members around have killed Broodmother. Obtaining 6050 experience points, 50 points party bonus. Come on, reward. Reward. Drizzler cried as she went ahead to loot the money dropped from the boss. Ding. You have obtained 5 silver after distribution. TCH. Stingy ass. Drizzler scorned as she counted her money. Spider's long spear, green copper, two-handed spear. Weapon attack, 172-192. Attack interval, 3.5 seconds. DPS, 52. Level requirement, 20. Little brat, this one belongs to you. Zhang Yang giggled towards Drizzler. She curled her lips as she spotted the spear in the shape of the broodmother's leg. Yuck. Gross. Holy crap, it's really ugly. Little Snow nodded in agreement. Most common male players would inspect the equipment specifications, but female players paid more attention to the appearance. Just take it. Zhang Yang gave up his role and opened the corpse for the second equipment. Broodmother's leather chest plate, green copper, leather armor. Defense, plus four. Vitality, plus 23. Strength, plus 5. Dexterity, plus 12. Level requirement, 20. Fatty, 100 shots, take the roll. Zhang Yang spoke in the party channel as he gave up his roll for the equipment. 100 shots, you take it. My current equipment is much better than yours. Fatty Han was smart enough to let him claim the equipment as he knew that Zhang Yang wanted to get 100 shots to join his side. Ha ha. Don't mind if I do. 100 shots cleared hardcore mode only once, so his current equipment was all over the place, being much inferior to Fatty Han's. He really needed a change of equipment to prevent himself from becoming the team's weakest link. 
The boss was quite the Scrooge, dropping only two equipment and a few random ETC items that could be sold. Guys, tonight, we'll take down the Banger Crypt Hardcore mode, and tomorrow we'll raid the Marsway's lair and claim two of the five man dungeon first clear achievement. Is everyone okay with that? Zhang Yang inquired the team, to which they responded, agreed. All right, let's take a break, and Zhang Yang tore a teleportation scroll. Ah, uh, I'm starving. Hundred Shots sent a private message to Zhang Yang to properly express his gratitude, thanks, Zhang Yu. Someday I'll surely return the favor. He was just a regular player that enjoyed a casual gameplay to release stress. He never thought that he could actually be enlisted in the level ranking board. After all, it is a game, and you can never run far from competition, otherwise there would not have been so many different achievement boards. Who would not want to get first place? Imagine putting on a celestial tier equipment and claiming every single dungeon first clear achievement and be famous for it. Zhang Yang and Hundred Shots were complete strangers, but after sharing a moment of friendship in the Banger Crypt dungeon, the trip down to the hardcore mode, and now getting himself listed in the ranking board, there were no words to express his level of appreciation. This player is now in my grasp. Zhang Yang laughed to himself. To think that someday you could be the Dragon Hunter, it would be the greatest help you could offer. Even if it was just a speculation, if you just believed in the team to fight in the professional league, you would not be disappointed nor regret it. Back in the city, Zhang Yang received mail that contained 50 stacks of iron plate from mining specialist. After paying the fees, Zhang Yang went to the bank to withdraw the remaining 10 piece of plain copper ore and began smithing 10 shields at the smithing shop. After putting up a shield for sale with the same setting and price, he began to hoard all the brassica weed and ginkgo flower once again from the auction house. Because of the same actions performed yesterday, the price of the two ingredients raised from 20 silver a stack to 25. There were some that were placed at 40 silver a stack. Zhang Yang did not care much about it and bought all with a reasonable price. For this round, he collected over 300 stacks of herbs and only paid 100 gold pieces for it. Materials sure are cheap now. Until Marsway's lair gets popular, Zhang Yang shook his head. He then went to the alchemist shop and bought empty potion bottles and made some potions. He managed to use all the material to craft the potions at 6.30 p.m. Zhang Yang then logged out in a hurry, bought his meal and scarfed it down like a glutton. Chapter 45, Fatty's Death Floating Fireball's real name was Lu Ming. He was someone you could say was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But unlike other rich boys, he does not like cars, parties, or even girls. His attention was for online games. He would definitely play games that were popular then and did not hesitate to spend some money in-game. With his own decent gaming ability, he would unquestionably raise some kind of uproar in whatever game he played. When God's Miracle was launched, Lu Ming entered the game and established the guild called Pride. Since Lu Ming was famous in the gaming world, he could naturally gather up a large group of underlings, but most of them were only in it for the money. Lu Ming's greatest hobby was to show off his level. If he wanted to get an equipment, he could just throw some money into the game and buy them off the auction house. That was why in most games that he played, he chose the best character for leveling, which was Spellcaster or the infamous high attack and low defense blaze wizard. Undeniably, he made the right choice as he entered the level ranking board just on the second day of launching and made it to the top on the fourth day and managed to keep it that way. When he was grinding in the Spectre Crypt before, he had pride to clear the ground outside, making sure no one could enter to disturb his leveling progress. Pa. 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 Every time Lu Ming casted a fireball, a monster would fall and die. 
If it was not his attack power that was at a point of delivering a one-hit KO, his followers would have preemptively dealt some damage to allow him to take the killing blow. In a non-party situation, the player that dealt the last hit claimed 50% of the shared experience point. That was why Lu Ming was ultimately ranked first in the level ranking board and planted firmly at the top. Finally after an uncountable number of fallen monsters on the ground, Lu Ming reached level 20 with a flash of golden light around him. Awesome. He <laughs> he, truly awesome indeed. He already reached level 20 when everyone else were still at level 13 to 15. It was such a thrill to be leaving them behind. Lu Ming opened the ranking board to enjoy the feeling of having a huge gap between his place and the second. A. Level 21. Is this a miracle, or a system error? After fighting so many monsters, he thought his eyes deceived him to not be able to differentiate 20 from 21. He rubbed his eyes and checked the list again. Level ranking board, China server. Slim and handsome, elf, beastmaster, level 21. Lu Ming almost puked blood. He was no longer the first. Where did this level 21 bastard come out from to kick me down to the second place? Hundred shots, elf, beastmaster, level 21. Miracle. Ridiculous. Absurd. How could another level 21 hunter get on the ranking board? Could a hunter be that much more effective at leveling? Crap, I'm now at third place. Little Snow, human, priest, level 20. Lu Ming was bewildered. Drizzler, human, berserker, level 20. Floating fireball, human, pyromancer, level 20. What? 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 Did everybody take some power pills or Viagra? How could they push me down to the fifth position? His expression changed, turning sour and bitter. He went to the party channel and said, slim and handsome, hundred shots, little snow, and drizzler. Can anyone tell me about these guys? Bro, you didn't know. Slim and handsome and hundred shots were in the team that got the first clear achievement in the banger crypt whereas little snow and drizzler got the first kill for the grey silver boss yesterday and went up in the board of achievements. They are all strong players. We never knew they could be so good at leveling as well. Lu Ming's expression turned for the worst. After some time, he said, Piggy Head, I need you to find out where these players are at. If they are based in White Jade City, bring some people along and kill them. Mother of Asteriskers don't know who they are messing with. They don't know what death is. Feeling prideful, Piggy Lover responded, Yes, fire bro. After a short break, Zhang Yang relogged. Ding. You have reached level 20. The currency exchange service is now available for you. Do you wish to bind your national debit service with your game account? Yes. Zhang Yang reacted quickly. Ding. Sinking your brainwave with the banking details. Please hold. Ding. Matching national debit service found. Account. 3205XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
but in reality his bank deposit rose to 160,000 in just a few days. Zhang Yang felt grateful. If he had not been reborn, he would not have obtained the earthen round shield recipe, but discarding old equipment was fast especially when the Marsway's lair started to gain more attention. After the grey silver piece of shield spawned, the earthen round shield would be extremely hard to sell even at 10 gold. That is why knowledge is power. And his knowledge was about the future, which made it even more valuable. As long as he could just pile up more herbs and materials to craft the beginner anti-shadow potion, his chance to gain more fortune would come when the crowd started to reach level 20 and began raiding Marsway's lair. Zhang Yang thought about it as he arrived to the warrior's home and decided to learn new level 20 skills from the instructor. After paying 20 gold pieces, his skill windows had two new skills. Crippled defense, destroys target defense value by 10%. Cause 50% melee damage to the target. The maximum stacked effect is 5. Lasts for 30 seconds. This skill will generate a large amount of aggro. Rage cost, 10. Cooldown time, 1 second. Requirement, melee weapon. Thunder strike, borrows the power of thunder to deliver a powerful strike onto the ground, dealing 100% physical damage to all surrounding enemies. Inflicted targets will have 50% speed reduction for 5 seconds. This skill will generate a large amount of aggro. Rage cost, 20. Cooldown time, 8 seconds. Crippled defense, was a general skill that all warriors had, but, thunder strike, was a skill only guardians could learn. The same went for the skill, tornado cleave, which was also an AoE skill, that was only available for berserker class. After some time, 100 shots, little snow, and drizzler logged in. Zhang Yang first let Drizzler invite 100 shots and then only the rest of the Lone Desert Smoke members to raid the Banger Crypt Hardcore mode. Since Drizzler and Little Snow now have known that 100 shots will be one of the five-man party for the raid the next day, he had priority over the equipment distribution. The Lone Desert Smoke members did not say anything at all but their expressions could tell that they were not happy. Players tend to be greedy from time to time. Yesterday after feeling contented in being able to break past the hardcore mode, they thought the equipment in today's hall should have belonged to them. They would obviously not want to willingly surrender the equipment to any random person. Because of that, the atmosphere started to get colder and colder. Conversations became lesser and only got lively during equipment rolling. Before Zhang Yang could begin the fight with the final boss, Fatty Han talked over the voice chat in an effort to contact Zhang Yang. Little Yang, I'm being ambushed. Come and fight with me. What happened? Did you finally get stung by the bees when you've been messing with too many flowers? Zhang Yang laughed. No. A bunch of nobody from Pride attacked me out of nowhere for no reason. Crap, I'm about to die. F asterisk CK. I really died. Fatty Han growled angrily. The guild pride? Those people again? Zhang Yang felt rage and said, you wait there and don't revive just yet. I'm coming now. Okay, but you better hurry. I will not rest until I get my revenge. I'll kill them all. Fatty Han's killing intent was getting stronger. Zhang Yang switched to his party channel to inform them, I'm sorry. Urgent matter, I have to leave now. You guys could wait or you could swap a tank and continue the dungeon. After sending the message, he immediately left the party, tore a piece of teleportation scroll, and sent a party invitation to Fatty Han. Zhang Yu, what happened? Drizzler sent a private message to him. My friend, the fat one, got killed by someone. I'm going over to kill them. Drizzler suddenly got excited and said wow. A fight. Count me in. 
Zhang Yang thought that if they were to be a team in the future, they would need to have each other's back, so he sent a party invitation to Drizzler too. And my cousin's sister. Drizzler wanted to include Little Snow as well. Hundred Shots sent a private message at the same time, and after knowing what happened, he demanded to be invited into the party as well. And so the afternoon party was together once more. Fatty, where are you? Eastern side, once you exit the city. Jade Dragon River, position 12464, 39743. How many of them are there? About ten and more. Shit, I dropped a level. These bastards. Fatty Han gritted his teeth. He was now level 20 with 0% experience points, instantly dropping him from 1st to the 5th rank on the board. Okay, wait by the body. We'll be arriving soon enough. Zhang Yang hastened his pace. To be honest, he did not even consider the 10 players to be a threat to him. With his skills and the equipment he has obtained so far, he could be killing a hundred men with ease. Very soon, Zhang Yang arrived at the point. By the huge riverside, there were more than ten players surrounding a body, spitting and stepping on it. Some were murmuring something but he was too far away to hear it. These people did not hide their personal profile information and had the pride to guild tag on their heads, every one of them being at level 13 to 15. Zhang Yang scanned and recognized a few people. Floral pants, prideful precepts and the rest of the four-man party. Kindling chest hair was not there because they were killed back to level 3, as they were only level 13 then. Zhang Yang unsheathed his silver-scaled sword, with eyes that radiated a powerful killing intent. Chapter 46, Ridiculous Reasons Fatty Han began cursing furiously in the party channel, Little Yang. Those bastards dropped my level only because their boss didn't like me to be higher than him. F asterisk CK. They even sent me a private message, warning me to stay in the city and never leave, or else they will kill me every time I try to do so. Zhang Yang inquired more, who is their boss? Some guy named Floating Fireball. The Guild Master of Pride. He was the guy at first place in the level ranking board, and they were mad with the fact that we snatched their position away. They are also planning to kill the other four players that are above him. Drizzler responded with a chest full of justice, how could he be so arrogant? Is the first rank only for him? Who died and made him king of the game? Floating Fireball. Zhang Yang took some time to think. He could not bring himself to remember that name in his previous life. Even in all guilds, Pride was not famous at all. Perhaps when he entered the game previously, Pride had already collapsed and disbanded. These bunch of players, what nerve! Hundred Shots had always been well-mannered, but even he was getting angry now. Hmm, Nuff said. Let's wreck these guys first. Zhang Yang exclaimed as he stared coldly at the still parading Pride members. They had a total of 13 players, four of them were silk armored. They could be spellcasters or even priests, but that he would not know. The most obvious strategy would be to start from the silk armored and progress from there. Being a high defense tank, he would not need to be afraid of physical attacks. Zhang Yang used, charge, and dashed into the fight, stunning a silk armored player called Death Law, and with a swing of his sword, he caused a 402 damage text to float across his head, effectively reducing his HP down to only 228. Holy crap! Someone is attacking me, cried Death Law as he hurriedly used a red potion and immediately casted a frost arrow. He must be one of the hunters come rid. Let's kill them all. The rest of the players saw Zhang Yang's entry and raised their battle cry to charge towards him. They all thought the same thing that Zhang Yang's brain might have been kicked out by a donkey to charge into a fight like this knowing that he was outnumbered. Prideful precepts, prideful babysitter, 
and Floral Pan's faces turned pale as they saw Zhang Yang's face. The recollection of the painful memory when they were killed down to level 3 re-emerged. Being mentally traumatized by him, Floral Shots advised the rest in the channel, Piggy bro, this warrior is crazy strong. I think he's using some kind of hacking program. We have to withdraw for now. Prideful Piggy yelled back, hack my ass. You need to be a genius to be able to hack in this game. Now, get your sorry ass back out there and kill him. We'll stand guard. One. Five. Nine. The others tried their best, but as hard as they could hit, they could never reach a double digit damage number. Shit. The monumental damage that was being dealt left everyone wide eyed. Fatty. It's your turn now. Use, barrage. Zhang Yang yelled in the party as he casted horizontal sweep. 683. 727. 689. 1452. Ten brutal damage texts appeared. Two critical strikes. With just a single stroke, there were only two players left standing with 50 HP remaining. These guys were just around level 13 to 15 with level 5 black steel equipment obtained from normal mode in Banger Crypt Dungeon. Even if they did use all their AP on vitality, they could only cough up 1000 HP. There was no way they could survive Zhang Yang's godly skill. It all happened so suddenly that not only the members of Pride were surprised, but also Zhang Yang's party as well. They almost forgot to hold back their attack. Little Yang. Don't kill them off yet. Leave some for this fatty to kill. Fatty Han revived himself and in the next split second, he drew his bow and used Barrage, dealing enough damage to kill off the two remaining players. Barrage was an AoE skill a hunter could learn at level 20. Barrage fires arrows randomly into a targeted area. Causes 200% ranged damage to all enemies in the area for 10 seconds. This skill requires channeling. This skill will be cancelled instantly if the player receives any movement impairing damage. Cost, 100 focus. Within a few moments, the 13 pride members were down to 3 ranged attackers. 175. 100 shots regained his senses, and drew his bow to strike at the enemies, while commanding his pet to attack at the same time. Drizzler was a good battle comrade, too. After the shocking scene, she excitedly used, charge, to attack them. Little Snow was quick to chant a healing spell on Fatty Han. Plus 392. Her equipment were already up to standard and now her magic damage has increased to 300 points after she obtained the level 20 green copper magic staff. After the 2 second healing chant delay, she had already recovered more than half of Fatty Han's HP. Cutie Snow. Fatty loves you. Fatty Han threw a flying kiss towards her and returned to attack the remaining three enemies. Although the last three were above level 20 with green copper tier equipment, their strong attack power was still no match to Zhang Yang's, normal players would consider them as god killers, but facing the current overwhelming odds, they had been outmatched. Hue. Fatty Han spat furiously. These bastards surely got what they deserved. I slogged my way to reach level 21 and yet here I am, brought back down by a bunch of nobodies. Hundred shots jokingly interjected him, hey Slim, the one who did all the work was John Yu, though. You just closed your eyes and shot blindly the whole time, no. Should we guard the bodies? Little Snow asked. Although not as battle crazed, she did express an edgy feeling. Of course. Fatty Han firmly answered. I want these bunch of dumb little bunnies to remember this lesson, never anger this fatty. At the revive point, Lone Wildcat's face had dread written all over it. His eyes expressed so much fear that he was imagined getting killed off by Zhang Yang. Piggy bro, should we call for backup? 
useless piece of shit. Prideful piggy lover slapped him across his face, but being in the soul state, the slap only went through their hollow figures. We were called to kill that whole bunch, but we got killed instead. How could you still consider asking for help? Go ahead if you're not ashamed to do so, because I am. Piggy bro. That John Yu guy is really strong. Back in the days, Harry bro and the three of us were killed down to level 3 from level 10. Prideful Precept was really scared of Zhang Yang. How could he ever try to raise his sword against him again? Curse you. You're useless. You mother f asterisk -er. So what if you died a few times? Follow me. Everyone spread out and ignore the noob tank and strike the other four. We'll take him on last. His strong AoE attack is nothing if we attack individually. What can he do then? After prideful piggy lovers bashing, the group of souls came to their bodies. Everyone could see that Zhang Yang and the other four were happily chit-chatting to themselves, but they could not hear anything while being in the ghostly state, and everything they saw was in monochrome. On the count of three, everyone revived themselves and hit them with everything you've got. Understood? Everyone nodded, but Floral Pants and his own gang glanced at each other. One. Two. Three. Ten figures formed from where the bodies lay, except for Floral Pants, Prideful Precepts, and Prideful Babysitter. Kill em all. As they say, experience is the greatest teacher. Floral Pants and the other two made the right choice. In only two minutes, Prideful Piggy Lover and the rest were strewn across the floor again. Flowery. What the F asterisk CK are you three doing? Why didn't you guys revive? Prideful Piggy Lover furiously yelled at them as he returned to the revive point. My hands were shaking. I couldn't press the revive button. Me too. HM HM. Shake your own ass. That's what you've been doing. This game is controlled by brain waves, not by a mouse. You're all scaredy cats. If you three joined us just now, we could have won. The three of them exchanged looks, thinking to themselves. If you guys are already beaten like street dogs, what's the use of three additional players? It would have just meant three extra deaths. Though they knew these words would hurt someone, they decided to remain silent, not wanting to say more. After venting out his frustration, prideful piggy lover calmed down. He was not stupid. He knew that they could not stand a chance against Zhang Yang after having the team wiped out twice. He hurriedly opened voice messenger and contacted floating fireball. Fire bro. It's me. Piggy head. H.M. How's the job going? To earn back his rightful place, Lu Min gathered many high-level members to help him with his leveling. Because he reached level 20, he managed to learn the spellcaster's AoE skill called, Reign of Fire, which increased his killing rate tremendously. That guy you asked us to kill, the rank 1 hunter. We killed him, yeah but he called for backup, and those people were also in the level ranking board. They killed us all. Fire bro, we all dropped four levels, we can't fight anymore. How many players are there? Five players. You useless trash. You have more than ten people there. Fire bro, please send more people over, and I'll surely be able to kill them off by then. TCH. The higher leveled players in the guild are helping me with my leveling. If I send more people over, would you reimburse me for the slower leveling rate? With so many people aiming for the top rank, how could I do anything that would slow my down? Lu Ming rejected helping him without hesitation. If he wanted to take the top position, he could not depend solely on killing those who were ahead of him, but at least compete to get ahead of them. Even if all of the guild were to chip in, could they kill all those players over and over again? That was why he needed to retain his current progress. 
that was the righteous way. What now, fire bro? Even though prideful piggy lovers spoke with modesty and respect, deep down there was cursing and yelling. Let's see. Dominating Blades and his party joined God's miracle. I'll have them take care of these people. Fire bro, weren't those professionals playing another game called Dragon Age? Bullshit. Look at how the hype of God's miracle got within the past few days. To think that these guys would ever let this chance slip away. This is good. These guys would do anything for a good pay. All right then, it's settled. You guys better get going and grind those levels up. We will claim the first clear achievement for the next dungeon. Chapter 47, Sword and Fire Mercenary Zhang Yang and the party guarded the bodies for a while, but when they saw the bodies turned translucent and began disappearing, they knew that they chose to revive in the city. Let's go. Time to head back. Zhang Yang sheathed his sword. Fatty Han nodded in agreement. Although still not satisfied, but killing them with a red tag penalty and dropping their level by four with an additional one after being revived in the city, he was contented. Zhang Yang and the others aside from Fatty joined back the lone desert smoke and continued the banger crypt hardcore mode. Fatty Hand went to find girls from the massage parlor to discuss life. Thirty minutes later, Zhang Yang finished the dungeon and came back to the city and retrieved his mail. His earthen round shield was sold but not with 1000 gold pieces but 650 gold pieces instead. No one else bid for a higher price, the auction time was up, and the transaction was complete. Zhang Yang was surprised. He never would have thought that such a valuable shield could have a drop in price. He thought about it, and went to the auction house to search for, earthen round shield, and the result showed someone else selling the same item, but with an initial bidding of 500 but the wanted bid was 700 gold pieces. The seller did not even hide his name, floating up. It was him. Bewildered, Zhang Yang immediately recalled everything he knew about this person. In his previous life, there was an extremely strong mercenary group called Sword and Fire Mercenary. The group had only ten members in it, but their strength was undeniably strong. They alone claimed half of China's server's 5-man and 10-man hardcore mode first clear dungeon achievement. As long as you were willing to pay the price, their mercenaries would get the job done for you. It could be from getting a first clear dungeon achievement for a client's guild to even naming the party after the client's own name. They also accepted other jobs aside from dungeon-related requests, like assassinating or providing bodyguards for a certain target. Now, with the strength of the mercenaries group, it was not known how many players had perished by their hands. Someone did ask them before about establishing a guild, but they responded that making a guild would require 30 members, but they only had 10. This trash mercenary lasted for another half year until the starting of A-class and S-class professional leagues. The party began having internal conflicts about which sponsor title should they put. In the end, the group disbanded. Six of the greediest men took on the job of carrying the title of Japan's company Team Toyota and participated in the S-Class Professional League. Although the remaining four men tried to recruit more, the players lacked quality and skill, causing them to be stuck in the A-Class League. This man, floating up, was one of the mercenary that was split and stuck in the A-Class League. He was a guardian and Zhang Yang has dealt with him before. Even he had to admit that the guy had skills that were on par with him. However, to be able to craft and sell, earthen round shield, they had to be able to clear the hardcore maw and defeat the hidden boss to get the recipe, but in his previous life, the first clear achievement was claimed only after a month, and Zhang Yang suddenly understood. Before, most of the elite parties could not get past through the third boss due to the bug-like boss skill. But this time, he invented a terrain bug method a little too early and since Lost Paradise and Lone Desert Smoke discovered it as well, 
there was a high possibility that the method was leaked out. Because of that, the once impossible and invincible boss was now just a piece of trash, anyone could defeat it. The game progress changed now because of him and the butterfly effect just kept spiraling down. Zhang Yang sighed and took out another shield and made the starting and ending price 500 and 700 gold pieces respectively. Come on, man. Work with me, not against me. There's fortune for everyone here. Don't do something that will only cause problems for the both of us. Zhang Yang said in his heart. Server announcement, the party fire and sword mercenary has set a new dungeon time record for the Banger Crypt dungeon hardcore mode. Their achievements will be recorded in the hardcore time attack achievement board, China server. Please celebrate for them. Server announcement, player dominating blades, party leader, successfully broke the Banger Crypt hardcore mode time record. Obtaining 10 gold pieces, 1x level 1 rune, and all raise 250 reputation points from the system reward. Server announcement, player 44 bandits, party member, successfully. The server channel was filled with red texts in an instant. What the? Where did these people come from? They actually broke the record. Fire and sword mercenary. I think they were in the game called Dragon Age. That's awesome. The local channel was a bus. Zhang Yang was a little surprised with this, but what came after was a rather humorous feeling. Crimson Fire always wanted to get that speed record, but his dream was now shattered into oblivion. Even though Lost Paradise core members could be considered as professional players, but comparing with Trash Mercenary, Lost Paradise was nothing. TCH The upcoming was to get the first clear achievement will be extremely brutal. Zhang Yang opened hardcore mode speed record and checked their time record. 27 minutes and 30 seconds. That was rather good. Zhang Yang vaguely remembered in his previous life that the record was replaced several times but finally came to a halt at 24 minutes and 17 seconds. There were no faster time record that replaced it. The record had always been hard to defeat as the dungeon level limit was 15, and with that kind of strength, it was hard to product any decent results. Take Marsway's lair for example, the entry requirement was level 20 and the level limit was level 29. There was a 10 level gap to allow players to have sufficient time to try the trials and defeat the speed record. After level 100, the leveling duration could be 10 days to half a month, and it provided enough time for players. Beep. A private message arrived. John Yu. Arg. I'm so screwed this time. Crimson Fire cried with a tone of despair in his voice. Cheer up, man. There will be more chances in the future. Zhang Yang consoled him. In all honesty, Zhang Yang was not really close with Crimson Fire, and he did not like to meddle with someone who was quite emotional. He preferred to mix with people like Phantom Days. Crimson Fire smiled bitterly. Even with the numerous amount of dungeons in the game, he knew his own capabilities as well as Lost Paradises. They were not consistent enough to claim the first clear achievement of Banger Crypt alone, and that was with Zhang Yang aiding them. Zhang Yu. I want to make a deal with you. Now we're talking. Is it the shield? One thousand gold apiece. Thank you for your patronage. Crimson Fire hurriedly rectified, no, no. That's not it. I want to reserve a dungeon run. I want the first clear achievement for Marsway's lair. Having thought about it, Zhang Yang said, sorry, but the five-man dungeon run has already been decided. Crimson Fire would not give up and tried negotiating, or, come on, John Yu. We've been doing this since back in the days. Give me a chance. At least one slot for me. I'll pay you 10,000 gold for it, how about that? 
Zhang Yang's current goal was to create a concrete and stable team, not just to raid dungeons but to compete in future tournaments. He already had the right amount of gold, and no longer needed to work for others now. Zhang Yang laughed as he said, I can't do it. I've already made a deal. Plus, we're doing the nest tomorrow. Do you have anyone on your side that's level 20 already? Crimson Fire bit his tongue. To get the speed record, each of the guild's elite were not willing to get their level any higher than 15. They were all at the same level. How could he manage to get a level 20 member in just one night? Zhang Yu, don't go rushing into things. Look at the board, there aren't many level 20 players now. For your dungeon run, let it slide for a few days. I'll even chip in another 10,000 gold. How's that? Crimson Fire became agitated. But Zhang Yang was firm on his decision to decline. Sorry, Guild Master Crimson Fire. I've made my word. Crimson Fire was silent for a moment. All right then. If that's the case, we'll double our efforts and level up. Perhaps we'll call you up for the level 30 dungeons? Zhang Yang laughed, ha ha, that's a deal in the future. Until then. After his conversation, Zhang Yang went to the auction house and swept up all the brassica weed and ginkgo flower again. Ever since Zhang Yang began clearing them, players increased the selling price for the two herbs and thrown many alchemy users into disarray. Not everyone could be as rich as Zhang Yang. After using all the ingredients in hand to craft, Zhang Yang accumulated as many as 300 stacks of beginner anti-shadow potion, taking up about 60% of his bank storage. If he did this for another day or two, his storage would definitely be full. Once he was done, it was 11 p.m. and Zhang Yang logged off and called it a day. The next day, Zhang Yang woke up at 6 in the morning and conducted his daily routine. He put on his jersey and went jogging after a round of boxing. He ran from his prefecture, all the way past the garden, across the market area, and arrived at an alley entrance. There, he stopped. He stopped not because he needed a breather, but what he saw at the entrance of the alley, was a 50-year-old man, laid on the floor. His hands were on his head, covering it as if he was badly injured. There was a large crowd surrounding him but nobody took action. Just as Zhang Yang wanted to walk up front, he was held back by another man, who was about 60 years old. Hey kid, mind your own business. That man right there is a huge scammer. Anyone going to help him will only get themselves in trouble. Who knows how many hundreds or thousands of dollars he scammed away. It was no longer a mystery as to why youngsters th these days were called cold-hearted, disrespectful and lacked morality. It was all over the internet, the news of people trying to earnestly help others but was only cruelly and cunningly scammed. Because of them, those who really needed help were casted aside and left to die on their own. Once the perpetrators successfully latched on, they would go in for the kill and scam their way for money. If they had failed in their attempt, they could easily get away with just a few words like sorry, wrong guy, or sorry, I've recognized the wrong person. Zhang Yang merely shook his head and went ahead. The old man grabbed Zhang Yang's arm again, hey kid, didn't I tell you to mind your own business? It's not like I have a choice, old man. I have to take this road to go back home, said Zhang Yang with a smile on his face. If that's the case, you'd better be careful there. That old swindler is rotten to his core. I understand, thank you very much, mister. However, something inevitable happened. Zhang Yang walked around the old man lying down there and before he could even get a step past, he felt like his calf was being grabbed on tightly. He turned around. Who else could have held his legs, if not for the old scammer? Chapter 48, The Old Scammer He hit me. He hit me, 
the man screamed at the top of his lungs as soon as he got hold on to Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang could only sigh. This old scammer is really shameless. There was only a meter between Zhang Yang and the old man, and yet he could roll over that distance to grab Zhang Yang's calf. Zhang Yang did not hold back. Old man, are you really going to go that far? Someone as cunning and sly as this old man did not deserve to be treated with an elder's respect. The old scammer kept repeating the same thing. He hit me. He hit me. The crowd reacted the same way as Zhang Yang, having no remorse and began scolding him. There are so many eyewitnesses here. Do you really think that you could wrong someone like this? Zhang Yang let out a little anger in him. How many innocent people has this man tricked? The old scammer finally opened his mouth to reply. HM HM. So what? His face was like a cunning snake, two shiny golden front tooth could be seen as soon as he opened his mouth. I'll surely get you. Who do you think the judge would listen to? The crowd, or the victim? This guy has the guts to actually do it. Zhang Yang's rage boiled immensely. He was famous because of his fighting skills from young, and he further refined it when he entered university. He would never have thought that this merciless brawl would be forgotten in a mere four years. Dad. What happened? This son of AB asterisk TCH actually knocked me down. Two thirty-year-old skinny men came out from the crowd, knelt on each side of the old man, and put up a facade of a son respecting his father. You bastard. Was it you who knocked my father down? The two men then stood up quickly and stared at Zhang Yang with a sense of hostility. Zhang Yang did nothing but laughed coldly. You guys sure have a keen eyesight. You quickly came to the conclusion that the man was knocked down when you saw him lying on the floor. Why didn't you say that he was beaten down? Or perhaps he slipped and fell on his own? The two of them wavered a little until one of them shouted, You little brat! You dare talk back when you were the one who knocked down my father. You'd better reimburse the medical fees or we will sue you for attempted murder. That will be at least eight to ten years in prison life for you. Among the bystanders, someone voiced out their unfairness, you bunch of rotten family have been playing this game for God knows how long. Every day you'd be conning someone off their hard work. You'd better prepare to face punishment in the afterlife. Shut the F asterisk CK up. Do you want to get stabbed, and then the scrawny man drew out a blade, gleaming with its sharpened edges. The crowd was frightened with its presence, and took a step back in silence. Ha ha, the man felt contented with the crowd's fear. He then waved the blade playfully in front of Zhang Yang and said, Kid, give me one hundred thousand and we'll close an eye on you. I'm about to go home and play some games. You, you're in my way. Zhang Yang's expression turned solemn and mean. What? Games? The man with the blade laughed. He patted on his partner's shoulder and said, Bro, this boy is frightened silly. He thinks we're playing a game with him. The other man laughed too. The old man who was still on the floor cried out, Hurry up and pay. I'd be lying all day here. You heard the man. Pay up. HMPH. Eat my fist. Zhang Yang threw a straight punch, landing clean onto the man's face. His strength had always been powerful. That punch has been honed to perfection for four years in university, it was definitely not just for show. The man with the blade flew a good three meters away and landed on the floor with a loud thud, oozing fresh blood from his nose and mouth. He was knocked out for good. The other man was left standing in rage and fear. There was a hint of fright in his voice as he tried to threaten Zhang Yang, you, you date. My uncle is, is, a sea cop. He'll see catch you a and put you in jail. Zhang Yang only laughed. 
with a chain of punches, he dominated the fight, and knocked him out as well. He then looked down at the old man he had been dragging along for a few steps and smiled, how long do you plan to hug my leg? The old man was shocked. Back then, he could just con anyone with his two sons stepping out to frighten the victim, yet today, he picked the short stick. Hmm, sorry. I've mistaken you for someone else. Zhang Yang laughed. Mistaken? Yes. I-I-V-E mistaken, said the old man as he withdrew backwards. Zhang Yang advanced forward to him, and grabbed the old man up. Dear elderly man, just because you're old, doesn't mean you can throw your respect for others away. I want you to carve this lesson well in your memory. Don't ever do this kind of scamming business anymore. Rather than letting him go, Zhang Yang threw a punch at the old man. Where he was thrown backwards, and blood spat out along with his two golden teeth. Ah! My golden teeth! The old man hurriedly crawled over to pick it up. And then, a round of applause roared from the crowd. Zhang Yang looked around and saw many bystanders were clapping away, while some were cheering good punch. All the commotion caused the three command to sneak away like rats in an alley. Everyone cheered for him. Zhang Yang's actions and punches managed to capture the hearts of the crowd. What's all this ruckus? What's going on here? A clear and crisp voice could be heard. Among the crowd, a woman in police uniform walked out. She looked like in her early twenties, and was very tall, maybe about 170 centimeters. The uniform she wore brought out a strong sense of valiant, not to mention she was quite beautiful. She looked exactly like the ones you would see on screen, carrying a cold aura around her, signifying her nobility. Truly admirable. Under her appearance lies the devilish body of a woman. With voluptuous curves at her front and back, along with those incomparable long legs, she brought out a beauty that people would think a waste if she was not a fashion model. If Ju Su City had a policewoman beauty pageant, this woman could be in the ranks. There was a chance that she could even top every other woman in all of China. Zhang Yang's eyes gazed at where her breasts were. He could not help it, who asked her to allocate all her excess fat there. With that perky shape and size, one could not resist looking at here. Ah! Police! The old man cried out loudly as if he met his own father. He beat me. He beat me. The policewoman listened and averted her gaze, and looked at Zhang Yang coldly. Excuse me, miss, you can't blame this young man here. All of this is the father and son's fault. The crowd began to talk, explaining what sort of crime they had done. The policewoman became furious as she listened to the explanation. Her once beautiful eyebrows narrowed and frowned. She clenched both her fair fists. Police, the old man continued his wails but before he could finish, the policewoman roundhouse kicked him off. The golden teeth that he picked up dropped again. The crowd was surprised for a moment and applauded. At a day and time like this, Having a policewoman who was on the right side of justice like her was very rare. Zhang Yang felt it was funny and laughed it off, and he turned around to leave the scene. Halt, the policewoman rushed towards and grabbed him. Her expression was cold. A. Hey. Zhang Yang raised an eyebrow, not understanding her action. The policewoman asserted her view on the matter with a sense of justice and fairness, what they did was wrong, but what you did was wrong as well. Fighting in broad daylight. Are you serious? Zhang Yang tried to refute. That guy was holding a knife. He was about to stab me with it. What I did was self-defense, not fighting. That's true. The crowd pleaded on Zhang Yang's behalf as well. After all, bad guys did not deserve the public's pity. The cold policewoman took her time to think, and the said, I'll give you a chance. If you could defeat me, I'll let you go. 
Otherwise, you'll follow me back to the police station and confess your crime. You're not joking, are you? Even if Zhang Yang was the king of street fights, he would never cross fists with the police, what more a policewoman? I never joke, the policewoman replied coldly. Zhang Yang replied in a serious manner, well then, I'm sorry if I hurt you. HMPH. I will not hold back. The policewoman went into her fighting stance. She kept her legs wide apart, firmly on the ground. Her hands moved around, gesturing a sort of movement that her left hand represents Ying and her right hand represents Yang, emitting a strong killing intent. Zhang Yang could not help but be cautious, this policewoman cannot be underestimated. He too, got into his battle stance and said, come at me. A police and a civilian having a duel, and the police was a beauty at least. A scene like this was not something to be seen every day. The crowd spread out across the scene, withdrawing and forming a large circle, giving fighting space to the two of them. The young men had their eyes fixed onto the woman's chest. If they were to bounce about, they would be bleeding by the nose at any moment. The cool policewoman ignored the crowd, focusing intensely on Zhang Yang. She suddenly struck forward but only grazed past Zhang Yang's left ear. Such speed. Zhang Yang thought. If he had not moved a little more, he would have taken a beating. Before the strike, Zhang Yang was looking down at her. He would never have thought that this woman's ability was anything but weak. With that attack, Zhang Yang started to lose the upper hand in this fight. Pa. 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 Once the opponent had the upper hand, she wasted no time and unleashed a series of combo punches. As fast as lightning, Zhang Yang did not have any gap to counter the attacks. Fast. Accurate. Powerful. Hook. The woman used her last attack, with both her hands enveloping Zhang Yang's waist. She wanted to do a suplex. If the fight continued on like this, Zhang Yang would definitely faint. His heart tightened, he had to rush back home to bring Little Snow and the team to Rain Marsway's lair later on. How could he kick the bucket here? His arms reached out far, trying to grab hold onto anything he could get as long as he would not be thrown over. The policewoman intended to use her back power to flip Zhang Yang over but she never thought that he would reach out and grab her busty chest. Tong. A loud, crashing sound was heard, and the two of them fell down. Zhang Yang on top, while the woman was underneath him. Eh, the crowd wondered. The fight was on the policewoman's side, and after a few trading of punches, the woman's legs went weak and was pinned down by Zhang Yang. The sensation that was in his hand was as soft as cotton, full of elasticity. A heavenly sensation in his hand. Zhang Yang squeezed with a little coincidence, and a low, soft lingering voice was instantly heard. One could not help but feel a little hard. Let go. Her voice now filled with rage. She was gritting her teeth while speaking. Zhang Yang was being held on by the policewoman. He looked up and could not look down at his body. Once he realized the situation he was in, he immediately knew. Both of his hands were holding on to those mountains. Chapter 49, The Top 3 Guild Her cold look could not hide her body's sensitive side, and Zhang Yang clearly felt it. Underneath her thin uniform, he could feel her two round buns clasped in his hands. It's no wonder people say that the colder a woman is, the more sensitive her body would be, and she is the perfect example. Zhang Yang loosened his grip on her, rolled over and stood up. As the policewoman did the same, her cheeks blushed like red roses quite visibly. She was beautiful and cute, yet glamorous at the same time. The surrounding crowd gave out a sudden call, and Zhang Yang took this chance to flee from the scene with his tail between his legs. 
He knew he made a grave mistake, and if he continued standing there, he would be branded a pervert, and be arrested. Watching him run away, the policewoman stomped the ground with anger and dread, causing her bosoms to bounce with every step. She turned and returned to the police station with the three members of the scamming family. Along the way, Zhang Yang grabbed a few snacks to eat before he got home. The time was slightly past 9.30 a.m., and he quickly put on his gaming helmet and logged in. Little Yang, what took you so long to get up? Could it be, did you have some fun last night? Listen to me, you can't go around and pick them up from the streets. They are some nasty stuff, bro. Give me a few days, and I'll come over and bring you to this awesome place called Girls Town. The girls over there are at the same level as superstars. Zhang Yang was immediately greeted by Fatty Han's private message. As usual, he never bothered to change his lustful and perverted behavior. Ignoring his usual habit, Zhang Yang sent a party invitation along with his reply, Aha, right, like I'll believe you. Little Snow, Drizzler, as well as Hundred Shots were recruited as well. Sorry I'm late, guys. Had a little hiccup just now. Let's gather at the north side of the city. Drizzler began to complain, stupid uncle. If I'd known you were going to be late, I would have slept longer. Zhang Yang felt a little ticked off. He only smiled bitterly and said, Why uncle? I'm not even that much older than you are. Albeit childish, Zhang Yang did not really fancy being called an old uncle nor a young brat. Aren't you over your twenty s? Drizzler asked. Huh, yeah. I'm twenty-two now. Come on. I'm only seventeen. What else would I call someone who's five years older than I am? Fatty Han then interjected, F asterisk CK. If you called someone five years older than you an uncle, that means you'd be calling someone ten years older as Gramps. Drizzler's expression began to change into a murderous when provoked look, Hey Fatty, what are you trying to say? Do you think you could take advantage of me since I'm only seventeen? Fearful, Fatty Han immediately tried to change the subject, Ah ha ha, nice weather we're having today. Time flew past as they all gathered. Zhang Yang brought them to complete the dungeon prerequisite quest, which was fairly simple. All they needed to do was to kill a bunch of monsters, find the NPC near the dungeon entrance, and gain access to the lair. To save time, the party rented mounds from the Griffin Keeper, and flew to the White Shine Forest. This was one of the many transport services in the game that helped players who were mountless to reach their destination in a much shorter time, instead of having to spend more time running over. Flying in the air is awesome. Drizzler stretched out her arms to feel the air. It feels like I'm a sword shaman. Whoosh. Thousand mile soaring blade. Sigh. It would be nice if this game could change into the Xianxia style, then we could all learn the sword's way and fly on our own. Zhang Yang giggled. This is an international gaming community. They won't change the game that way since it's a little too eastern. It's not suitable for the international market. TCH, what a waste. They westernized the game just to earn profits. Cunning bastards. All right, all right. Let's get going. Snow Spiked City is just through the forest. Zhang Yang went ahead to clear a path for the party through the forest. Once they were out, they saw human-like structures in front of them. The city was only a short distance away. In there, they saw all kinds of elemental spirits wandering around the city. What was once a human city became a paradise for the fire, water, wind, and earth elementals. Zhang Yang flipped through the quest description and notified the team, guys, we need to take out ten of each elemental spirits to complete the quest. Go. 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 Everyone in the party had overpowered equipment against the monsters. 
Killing them and completing the quest was a breeze. They soon arrived at the dungeon entrance. Mazue's lair was situated in this abandoned man-made palace in Snow Sprite City. There were three sub-dungeons namely front wing, mid wing and the main wing and the palace was the entrance to the dungeon. The front and mid wing had two bosses each while the main wing held Mazue, a 20-player party fight boss. A. Zhang Yang and his party were surprised to see that they were not alone there. In fact, there were 30 players, 6 parties with 5 players each. They were all from different guilds, namely the Dominators, Sky High, and Crimson Rage. Every one of them had reached level 20. They were all technically qualified to enlist themselves in the level ranking board, but none of them did it and Zhang Yang understood their decision. They were furiously competing with each other and neither one of them wanted to expose their true strength. Even though they gave up their pride, they never gave up their determination. In the end, they all fought hard and leveled up, arriving at this level 20 dungeon entrance at the same time as the others. Noticing Zhang Yang's party walking towards them, they were taken aback. How could anyone else be able or even try to raid this dungeon? Humbly gentlemen of the Dominators scanned the party and saw that Zhang Yang's name was hidden. You are Zhang Yu, I presume? Such keen eyes, as expected of a guild master. Zhang Yang could only give a light smile. Are you all going to raid that dungeon? It's you. Zhang Yang heard a loud voice that sounded like someone screamed through their teeth. There came a beautiful woman, with arms on her waist, and bosoms big enough to attract any eyes. Right, she was the woman I exchanged my, refined iron ore, with regular, iron ore. Her name was Thorny Rose. Oh, hi. You sneaky bastard. I was doomed because of you. Thorny Rose's face was flushed with crimson rage. Fatty Han, noticing her anger, quickly interjected. Excuse me, young maiden. Has this little brat wronged you? Did he knock you up and refused to claim responsibility? Damn you, little young. How could you do this? How could you just use this young girl and discard her like that? Ugh, I'm so jealous. With just that, the atmosphere suddenly became a lot heavier. Everyone began to exchange looks towards Zhang Yang and Thorny Rose. They looked like they knew what was going on in their mind. You dirty uncle. I'm 100% certain now that you're a big horny pervert. Drizzler exclaimed as she shared the same thoughts as others. Thorny Rose tried to explain otherwise. And no. It's not that. This sly fox cheated me over 100, iron ore. He caused my Mai to be late for more than half a day to submit her quest. So that was the truth. With that revealed, the crowd began to lose their interest. It seemed that the exciting lie was more entertaining than the boring truth. Rose. Stop fooling around. A woman walked over, carrying with her a sense of dignified nobility, calming the raging thorny Rose. She then took her time to observe Zhang Yang. I've heard of your name. I'd never thought that today would be the day I finally met the famous Zhang Yu, the legendary guardian. It's an honor. Crimson Rage Skilled Master, Snow Seeker. In the future, she would be ranked fourth in China server's top ten spellcasters. She would also be the player representative for the Red Party, an S-class competition team. Zhang Yang would not dare to ignore someone like her. No, Guild Master Snow, the honor is mine. I, too, have heard of your noble name. Luck truly is on my side. Enough of these fake words. We've all gathered here today to fight for that first clear achievement. Stop making those welcoming faces as if they were your own. Cold words, coming from the mouth of Sky Shaman, the Guild Master of Sky High. Snow Seeker averted her gaze, and smiled warmly. We, the Crimson Rage are all just maidens. 
We do not have such wildly ambitions. In fact, we're just here to try on the hard mode. Nobody believed her. They knew her words were as fake as the nature in-game. Humbly was in his own sea of thoughts when he suddenly voiced out, how about we have a bet? To see who would be the first to claim two of the first clear achievement for hardcore mode. Sky Shaman felt confident about winning the challenge. Ha ha. A challenge invites progress. Well said. How about it, Guild Master Snow, John Yu? Let's compete. Snow Seeker only lightly smiled as she replied, We would always welcome a clean and fair fight. I only fear that someone might not obey the rules of the game and uses some underhand tactic to win the bet. Hearing her words, Humbly Gentleman and Sky Shaman's smiles faded a little. Zhang Yang could not help but wonder. What happened between those three guilds that left them having a grudge against each other? After thinking about it again, he left it alone as it was none of his business. If we participated, what would get out of it? Zhang Yang inquired. Sky Shaman, with words full of confidence, gave a hefty suggested reward. Ha ha. Everyone will bet on 10,000 gold pieces. The loser will have to pay 10,000 gold pieces each to the winner. Two dungeons, two rounds. How about it? Snow Seeker expressed her objection to the idea, I've said it before, Crimson Rage would only take on hard mode. Consider us forfeiting the bet. We will now take our leave, and start on the dungeon. We'll be going now, then. Snow Seeker waved goodbye and led the party into the dungeon. No one outside the party would know the mode of the dungeon that they were raiding, but everyone knew this, the prerequisite quest must be completed to gain access to the front and middle wing. Parties must raid both to be able to enter the main wing, and the requirement did not specify what mode they would choose. Gentlemen, John Yu. How about it? Shall we place our bets? Yes. Humbly gentlemen and Sky Shaman stared at each other, emitting a strong enmity between the two. This was how the two guilds treated each other, with a strong sense of hostility. Zhang Yang, on the other hand, laughed out loud. Well, I'll just go on and follow gentlemen. It's a yes from me as well. All right. Now that's what we're talking about. Sky Shaman then clapped his hands to get his team's attention. Are you listening, brothers? We're competing with Zhang Yu and the Dominators to fight for the first clear achievement. What do you guys think? Could we lose to them? Hell no. The players from Sky High roared out in unison, and their morale was instantly boosted. So, let's go. Sky Shaman waved his arm, leading his army to disappear into the dungeon. Well then, I'd better be going now. Humbly gentleman winked at Zhang Yang. Brother Zhang Yu, after today, let's find some time together to chat. I'll take my leave now then. And with that, the dominators disappeared into the dungeon too. Guys, we'd better quickly complete the quest now and enter the dungeon, or we'd have to put out 10,000 gold pieces. Drizzler shamelessly responded, HMPH. That's what you have decided, not us. If you lose, you'd better pay them from your own pocket. But if we win, we must share the booty. You little brat. Is money the only thing on your mind? He he he. Chapter 50, Strength of the Minion The quest submission NPC was an elf thief, hidden in the shadows at the dungeon entrance. She's barely noticeable even if you stood beside her. One by one, the party members submitted their quests, and the NPC finally gave responses. Heroes of the Union. Behold the sight. Those devil succumbed spellcasters. Look at what they did to this place. Snow Sprite City was once a marvelous and beautiful city, but the wicked dark magicians left this place devastated. Now, he sits on the throne in the center of the main wing. You must save this city. 
you must destroy him. But beware, adventurers. If you want to defeat Marzway himself, you must first defeat four of his underlings, and get past the front wing and middle wing. Heed my warning. These four underlings were created by Marzue himself through the use of dark arts, made from the essences of the elementals. These elementals are not to be treated lightly. Ding. You have received a quest from Ranger Xiu Wei, get rid of the claws. Will you accept it? Zhang Yang accepted the quest. Get rid of the claws, quest difficulty, uh. Quest description, for the union. Brave adventures, conquer the front wing and middle wing to make a path to the main wing. Kill Marzue and save the Snow Sprite City. Progress. Water Spirit Waterland 0 forward slash 1 Earth Spirit Ounce 0 forward slash 1 Fire Spirit Far 0 forward slash 1 Air Spirit Ains 0 forward slash 1. Quest Reward Access to the Main Wing Marzue's Lair Entrance Qualification. Zhang Yang set the difficulty to hardcore and commanded the party, so let's go. Everyone followed and stood before the castle door. The courtyard was in ruins, and everything else was either old or destroyed which caused the scenery to be extremely dull and gloomy. Not too far away, two water spirits were patrolling the area. Their transparent and liquefied figures flowed with a kind of liquid, wielding a shield on their left, and a spear on the right. Little Yang, why didn't we start from normal mode? Fatty, normal mode would only drop level 10 black steel equipment, while hard mode gives level 20 black steel equipment. That's almost on the same level as level 10 green copper equipment, which is what most of us are wearing now. It'd be meaningless to even start with hard mode. All right then, let's get things going. Drizzler took out her spear and entered her battle stance. Hold up. Let me explain before you get us all wiped out. From the bottom of his heart, Zhang Yang was deeply worried that this dumb and childish brat would just charge straight on without thinking. Killing is pretty straightforward. The main problem is after the monster is dead, a debuff will be casted on every nearby player. If two players get the debuff near to each other, it will cause a 30 meter explosion that deals 2500 damage to every player in the blast radius. Zhang Yang then pointed at Drizzler. That is why when you see the monster's HP almost gone, run as far away as possible. The two hunters must also stow away their pets. Yeah, yeah. I get it. You're not even that old and you're already lecturing like an old gramp. Drizzler looked like she had had enough. Fine, let's get going then. Ignoring her, Zhang Yang waved his hands, signaling the team to strike. He used charge on one of the elemental spirits and marked it with a star tag. Hit the tagged monster. Demonized water spirit, elite. Level 20. HP, 10,000. The blood-boiling Drizzler let loose a battle cry and used, charge, to dash forward. With a spear in her hand, she caused a significant amount of damage. Hundred shots and fatty hand did not hold back either and drew their bows to attack. 90%, 80%. The team's equipment was decent enough to contribute to the damage pool. The star-marked monster was quickly defeated. Little brat. Withdraw now. Zhang Yang screamed at the top of his lungs as he saw the monster was about to drop. Drizzler on the other hand, did not notice his screams and continued slashing wildly. Ding. Demonized water spirit has casted, mark of doom, on death. Ding. Player Zhang Yu has the effect of, mark of doom. Ding. Player Drizzler has the effect of, Mark of Doom. Zhang Yang and Drizzler's bodies began to glow in a dark light and then... 2500. 2500. 2500. 2500. 2500. The entire team was killed. You little brat. 
What did I tell you in the beginning? At the reviving point, a goddess was humming a song in an unknown language, giving a holy-like celestial kind of aura. Meanwhile, Zhang Yang gave out a deadly and furious aura, staring irritably at Drizzler. I didn't understand a thing you said at that time. Drizzler tried to explain her mistake while giving an innocent face. Ha! Huh. Zhang Yang narrowed his eyes, emitting more killing intent. All right, all right. I got all worked up there. I forgot all about it then. She shrugged it off as if nothing happened. Zhang Yang sighed heavily. Just, just pay attention next time, all right. Not even he could continue to be mad a cute girl like her. Sha. Five more souls appeared at the revive point, and from their name tags, they were all from the Dominators. Humbly Gentleman was a little surprised when he noticed them as well. The local area channel appeared, Gar. You guys were wiped out too. In death, players were blocked from using talk, no one could hear you speak. Players could only use text and words to chat in the party, guild, and local channel. Before Zhang Yang could even reply, five more souls appeared. It was the other five-man party from the Dominators. Not long after, two of the five-man parties from Sky High arrived as well. Ha ha. Everyone was killed off at the first minion. Fatty Han typed in the local channel. Scanning the surrounding to see who was there, Sky Shaman came to the conclusion, not everyone. Crimson Rage. Did they really just fight in hard mode? Humbly gentleman thought to himself, eyebrows frowning with his thoughts. Minions in the hard moor were surely as fatal as the ones in hardcore mode that could kill you off with just a blast. Go on. Don't stop now. Zhang Yang cried out in the party channel and revived at his body. As they entered the dungeon with health recovery snacks in their mouth, they noticed that the number of patrolling water spirits did not reduce. Being able to defeat only one before they died, the other water spirit respawned when the surviving one left its battle state. Remember what I told you, little dipsh asterisk t. If you cause us to die again, prepare for some spanking. Zhang Yang said as he gritted his teeth. HMPH. Drizzler turned her head away from Zhang Yang, pouting her lips. I'm going in. Zhang Yang used charge, to rush into the monster's range, and after a few attacks, the monsters were defeated. Even though little Drizzler was naughty and playful, she would never pull out at a fight. Next one. The party moved on, clearing waves of minions until they arrived at a small shack with three water elementals inside. The F asterisk CK are we going there for? The road is on the other way. Drizzler pointed to the road on their left. Zhang Yang giggled. There's a treasure chest in here, dummy. Drizzler and Little Snow's eyes glinted simultaneously. Treasure chest. Zhang Yang first used charge towards one of the elementals, followed by a normal attack and a horizontal sweep. Now that he had a new skill, Thunder Strike, his ability to lock in the monster's aggro was at a whole new level. Zhang Yang quickly activated all his skills, and firmly kept the aggro on him. Under the entire team's firepower, the monsters were taken down flawlessly. Like a lightning bolt, Drizzler and Little Snow occupied each corner of the treasure chest, caressing its golden frames like a newborn baby. Ah, this sensation. Truly exciting. Hmm, this is marvelous indeed. The two ladies were already in their delusional world, misers at their best. All right. All right. Let go of the chest and open it. Don't forget, we're here to claim the first clear achievement. Zhang Yang could not hold in his anger anymore, he could no longer endure facing these money-crazed ladies along with those stupid faces they make every time a treasure chest appeared. After reminding them for God knows how long, they decided to place a paper stone to determine who opens the chest. 
Being the winner, Little Snow reached out her hand to open it. Tight leather jacket, green copper, leather armor. Defense, plus four. Vitality, plus twenty-four. Strength, plus four. Dexterity, plus twelve. Level requirement, twenty. Give it to hundred shots. I have full green copper equipment on me. Let him upgrade his own. Fatty Han humbly rejected the roll and offered them to hundred shots. He had only been through two runs of hardcore mode of the Banger Crypt, surely his equipment could not be on pay yet with fatty hands. Hundred shots did not hold back, he knew that words were just mere words, actions spoke louder. Little Snow touched the chest again and the second item popped out. Smithing Recipe, Level 2 Whetstone, Smithing Recipe. Use, teach you to craft Level 2 Whetstone. Requirement, Amateur Smithing. Good hands. Zhang Yang smiled. This recipe was one of the methods to raise one's smithing level from amateur to advance. The recipe was not at all rare, they were in fact easy to farm for. Zhang Yang rolled for 35 points. Drizzler rolled for 87 points. Ha ha. It's mine. Drizzler smiled from ear to ear. She turned her gaze to Zhang Yang, sneaky uncle, if you promise not to treat me so bad, I'll give you the recipe. TCH. Who would want it? Zhang Yang shook his head to reject her offer. He knew that the recipe's drop rate was very high, and could be found in abundance in the auction house, at an extremely low price in fact. Why would he need to answer her request? HMPH. Drizzler held her chest up and patted the recipe to learn it. Continue on. Zhang Yang commanded and the team complied. As they moved further into the dungeon, they arrived at an entrance to a palace. Standing guard outside were two water elemental spirits, and they looked much bigger than the ones they fought before. These spirits had the same transparent body, but were holding thick and rough swords. Water Spirit Guardian, Elite Level, 20. HP, 10,000. These two monsters have very high attack power, not to mention they can clear their aggro timely. When that happens, they will use, charge, towards a ranged player, and unleash a skill similar to, Tornado Cleave. It's a much stronger skill, and it could last longer than, Tornado Cleave. Once the battle starts, please maintain a certain distance from one another. Don't be too close to the next player or you'll die when, Tornado Cleave, strikes. Everyone listened closely, their eyes were set on Zhang Yang firmly. Here I go. Zhang Yang used, charge, to stun one of the elementals, and initiated his attack on the other. 352. With one of them stunned, the other began to hurl the sword in its hand towards Zhang Yang. Block. 91. Block, reflected damage. 197. Shield bash. 675. 701. Horizontal sweep. The stunned monster finally recovered and began attacking Zhang Yang as well. 91. 91. Thunder strike. Ding. Water spirit guardian has used charge. One of the monsters aimed the charge on hundred shots, stunning him. It then flipped over his sword and began to spin in circles. Ding. Water Spirit Guardian has used Dance of the Blade, causing 300 damage to all nearby targets. Lasts for 5 seconds. Zhang Yang quickly directed the team, everyone. Get away from that monster. But what luck, the other monster used Charge and targeted 100 shots as well. Ding. Water Spirit Guardian has used Dance of the Blade, causing 300 damage to all nearby targets. Lasts for 5 seconds. With two monsters using their strong AoE skills together, 100 shots took a lot of damage. 285 and 285 kept floating across his head. He was not in time to escape, 
and Little Snow could not heal his HP quick enough. Ding! Player 100 shots has died. Zhang Yang would not date to charge ahead. Once that skill has been activated, it will damage its surrounding area for 5 seconds. Block, could only nullify one instance of attack, and all other remaining attacks depend on his defense. Even if he did have 1720 HP, he could not hold off the two monsters' furious attack together. The skill's duration ended and the monster returned to their original position to resume their attack on Zhang Yang. Chapter 51, Water Spirit Waterland Holy crap! That's a sick skill. Why isn't the Berserkus, Tornado Cleave, that awesome? In her tone of voice, there was a hint of both pity and excitement. All right. All right. Save your breath for later. Press on the attack, or it will unleash another tornado, and kill us all. Zhang Yang's unreserved manner of speech ticked Drizzler off, and she returned his scorn with her own insult. TCH. Zhang Yu, if you're going to continue being humorless, I'd pity whoever that's going to be your girlfriend. She'd be bored as hell. During their quarrels, one of the guardians was defeated and turned into a pillar of light, disappearing into the air. The party changed their target to the remaining guardian and bombarded it with all their damaging skills. After some time, the water spirit turned and used charge on little snow, immediately casting Dance of the Blade. She quickly healed herself with a bottle of red potion along with a healing spell. Fortunately, it was only one monster, as her healing could keep up with the damage lost to maintain her HP and surviving the attack. The party picked up the pace and attacked furiously. The last guardian fell soon after. Little Snow, revive hundred shots. I'll take this time to explain the next battle strategy. Zhang Yang opened the palace door, and standing right at the center of the room was a gigantic water spirit. Having the height of almost half the room, the giant stood almost 10 meters tall. Water Spirit Waterland, Green Copper Level, 21 HP, 126k This boss is a spellcaster class, and its main attack is, Water Arrow. It will only cast this skill on the player with the highest aggro value. There's a 3 second unbreakable channel duration, which will then strike an 800 damage value. The person that's going to take this skill head on is me. After my passive 20% damage reduction, I would take about 640 damage. It's still quite fatal so I need Little Snow to focus your healing solely on me. Little Snow nodded in all seriousness. She knew at this time, he was not in the mood for jokes and she had to take this fight seriously too. His second skill is, Ice Ring, and it's randomly casted on any player. Once activated, an icy ring will form around a player, and within 3 seconds, it will form an orb around you, causing 1000 frost damage. Anyone that starts to notice an ice ring forming around them, you must run out of the range or you'll receive a fatal attack. Almost everyone in the party had a specific attribute allocation style, Fatty Han being one of the most extreme ones, did not allocate a single AP on vitality before level 10. Only after that level did he allocate his AP as such, two on vitality, one on strength, and one on dexterity. His HP was the lowest in the team, with only a little over 1000 HP. Little Snow and Drizzler always had two AP allocated on vitality at every level gained, so their HP were around 1200. 100 shots had the highest among them, having three AP assigned to vitality at each level, gaining a strong HP of 1400. Fatty Han jokingly gestured, Little Yang, what didn't you tell me to assign any AP on vitality when I first joined in? Look at my HP now. It's so low that I feel I could get killed in a single hit. Zhang Yang replied, TCH. Whoever gets hit by the ice ring is a dumb piggy. As for the third skill. Fatty Han interrupted, 
What the F asterisk CK? Just how many skills does this boss have? Zhang Yang could only shake his head, disappointed at his wasted anger. Three skills, and you think that's many? Wait till you encounter Mazue, and that's when you know the true definition of many skills. Imagine all the skills of his underlings, adding up with his own skills. I'm pretty sure you'd be on cloud nine then. Fatty Han was left stunned. As for the third skill, Zhang Yang repeated a little louder, it's called, Hail Storm. It has a three second casting delay, and once casted, it causes 200 damage to all targets for 10 seconds. The skill's interruptible so it can be stopped. Zhang Yang turned to look at 100 shots, and Fatty Han, Fatty, 100 shots, you've learned, silencing shot, no. They exchanged looks and nodded. Yeah. The skills, Hail Storm, has about 20 seconds cooldown time while, silencing shot, has 30, which is why we need not just one but two hunters to successfully cancel out the boss skill. Remember guys, the first, Hail Storm, interruption must be done by Fatty Han, and the second by 100 shots. Just repeat the cycle, got it? The next time the boss uses, Hail Storm, one of you use, silencing shot. Easy right? They looked at each other and then back to Zhang Yang again. You guys are the ones that determine whether or not we survive this round. If any of you missed the chance to, silence, the boss, all of us would die in just one, Hail Storm, dot. There was a threatening tone in Zhang Yang, and Fatty Han clearly felt it. It seems easy when you explained it earlier but once you said our lives are depending on us, it's making me feel a little nervous. Fatty Han turned to face Zhang Yang, hoping to be consoled but what he saw was a middle finger pointed directly to his face. If there's anything else you guys want to ask, voice it out now. Pretty sure it's easy. Let's try it once. Okay. That's the spirit. The boss is easy indeed. As long as you can evade well and the two hunters can, silence, just right, we'll be safe and sound. Easy for you to say. Fatty Han rolled his eyes. Zhang Yang unsheathed his sword. Here I go. Everyone get inside, because the moment I start the battle, the door is going to close. Anyone left outside can do nothing but wait. Everyone else in the party complied and followed him in. Ready? Here I go. Charge. 327. Normal attack. The stun effect was weak against Watland. Being a level 20 boss gave it a certain degree of resistance towards crowd control effects. In just one second, it recovered from the stun and started to make a weird noise. Ha ha. Here comes a bunch of beings to offer their lives. What land will freeze you all? The giant targeted Zhang Yang and began to cast, water arrow, and a progress bar appeared on its head. 640 plus 392 In almost a split second gap, a green healing text appeared right after the red damage text popped out. As expected of Little Snow, her healing ability was truly remarkable. This B asterisk TCH actually has some decent healing capabilities. Just when she saw the boss attack progress bar reaching one third of the way, she also started to chant her own healing spell. Two seconds later, Little Snow's healing spell and the boss, Water Arrow, went off at the same time. Little Snow immediately casted another, Regeneration, on Zhang Yang. Even though the recovery rate was slower, the overall healing amount over 15 seconds was 200% of her magic attack, which was better than having no healing at all. If it were to be another healer, their magic attack would be at most around 200 with all the green copper level 10 equipment, but Little Snow was different. With only a single level 20 green copper magic staff, her magic attack was already at 180. Adding that to her other level 20 green copper equipment, her magic attack totaled to 300. 
that was the major difference between other healers and her. Even with such powerful attributes, Little Snow would still need to use all of her strength to keep up with Zhang Yang. That was the power difference of a hardcore difficulty boss. If you wanted to take it easy, better to just raid the normal mode. With black steel equipment and players not making silly mistakes, it was a surefire win in the dungeon. Hardcore mode is not some playtime thing where you could just try out for the fun of it, it was do or die. Fight your hardest to win. Ding. Water spirit waterland used, ice ring. Zhang Yang quickly turned around to warn the team, guys. Look down and check at your feet. Continue to attack if it's safe, and don't get any unnecessary damage that burdens our healer. The boss chose to cast the skill on hundred shots. An icy ring formed around him, forming a thick layer of ice, and it got thicker over time. He quickly evaded the ring, and got out flawlessly. He was and will be the man called the Dragon Hunter. Even though most of his glory would be because of the pet dragon that he would get in the future, Hundred Shots still had a trick or two up his sleeves. He used to follow Zhang Yang into hardcore mode and experienced hardcore boss fights, a simple run and dodge was nothing to him. The boss attacks were becoming quite a problem. Little Snow drastically used up her MP to make sure Zhang Yang survives. Thankfully, the boss stopped after a series of attacks to cast another skill. Ding. Water spirit waterland used, hail storm. Fatty. Silencing shot. Now. On it. Fatty Han drew his bow and fired a dark green arrow. As it landed on the boss, a 224 appeared, simultaneously cancelling the boss spell cast. That's it, guys. Keep this up. Keep it going. Zhang Yang tried to raise the party's morale. As the battle raged on with many of the boss skills casted, none of the party members were once hit by Ice Ring, as they managed to evade swiftly. Even the silencing cycle was performed errorless against Hail Storm. 90%, 80%, all the way to 20%, the boss HP drained off quickly. Ding. Water spirit waterland used, hail storm. Fatty. Zhang Yang and he had been battling for more than ten years now, and their communication was and always has been excellent. With just a call, Fatty Han fired a silencing arrow. Missed. F asterisk CK. Zhang Yang suddenly cursed out, everyone's face changed instantly. After three seconds, Arrow-like icicles fell from the sky. There was no place for them to hide. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Even after Little Snow trying her best to heal everyone with all her might, she could not replace the HP loss everyone suffered in time. Ding. Player Slim and Handsome has died. Ding. Player Little Snow has died. Ding. Player Drizzler has died. Ding. Player Hundred Shots has died. Ding. Player Jan Yun has died. It was another party wipe out once more. The five of them stood together at the revive point. At hash dollar. What luck. I missed. I actually missed. Any physical attacks had a 1% chance to miss the target. This value could not be modified or changed by any equipment or the player's level. How would you describe a skill like, silencing shot, that required 30 seconds to cool down to miss a hit? The only answer would be just plain luck, which he did not have. Sometimes in life, all you needed was not the strength to carry on, but the luck that comes along the way. It's fine, guys. Now everyone knows how to fight THS boss. We can defeat it in the next round. Think of this as practice. Zhang Yang tried to cheer up the team. Okay. Sha. Another five souls appeared at the revive point, they were members from Sky High, and they were the elite members that were led personally by Sky Shaman. Ha ha, it's you again, 
John Yu. It's all right, guys. It's all right. Come, let us all revive again. Shai Shaman asked Zhang Yang, Hey, where did you guys die at? At the two guardians. Holy crap, their attacks are too strong. They killed us all in one clean swipe. Sky Shaman relaxed a little. He felt tense before thinking that Zhang Yang could have overtaken them, but now he knew that Zhang Yang was on the same progress as they were. Ha, ah, you guys are strong. We haven't even reached there yet. Sky Shaman then quickly revived and continued his fight. This bastard. Zhang Yang shook his head in anger. So you think you could trick us? Well, guess what, we've also tricked you. Zhang Yu. Hurry and revive now. I'm waiting to open the corpse. All little Drizzler was here for was to get the money. She only cared about money, and that was the only thing she loved. Chapter 52, Earth Spirit Ounce Zhang Yang's party revived one by one. Luck was not something you can control. There's really nothing you can do about if something went bad and luck did not favor you. On their second run, hundred shots first, silencing shot, was already a miss, leading the team to death once more. What the f asterisk ck is going on? I swear that this is just an easy boss, but how did we get ourselves in this freaking shitty situation? Fatty, I think it's your karma biting back at you. This is probably a payback for peeping at your neighbor's little sister. Zhang Yang joked. Go to hell little Yang. I'm a true gentleman. Why would I try to peek under a girl's skirt? Fatty Han said a honest face. Big bro. Zhang Yu didn't say anything about peeking under a skirt. Did you just dig your own grave? Drizzler giggled away happily. Zhang Yang frowned, suddenly feeling envious of Fatty Han. Why did you address him as Big Bro, and I'm the uncle? Little Yang, you're the type that gets old quickly. Don't be jealous of Fatty Han's eternal youth. Fatty Han reached out his hand to pat Zhang Yang's shoulder, but his hands just went through his shoulder like air, they are still in the soul state. Handsome, my ass. The five of them revived again and proceeded towards the water spirit waterland. I'm pretty sure that all of us are used to the strategy by now. Winning or losing depends on luck now. Zhang Yang unsheathed his sword and pointed it to the air. Let's go. 90%, the first, hailstorm, was disrupted by Fatty Han. 80%, the second, hailstorm, was disrupted by 100 shots. 70%. 60%. 50%. There was no miss this time while the boss HP dramatically dropped. In a while after, Waterlands HP had almost reached its red zone. 7%. Don't let your guard down. What needs to be disrupted must be disrupted. What needs to be evaded must be evaded. Don't get us all killed at 1%. Zhang Yang warned. He was not looking forward to repeating the process all over again. Almost there. Ah. Uh, I can see it. The glowing luster of gold pieces. Ah. Uh, almost there. Drizzler's strange feminine cries filled the atmosphere, and her attacks got faster and wilder in the heat of the moment. 3%. 2%, 1%, 0%, and the boss finally fell. Ding. You and the party members around have killed Water Spirit Waterland. Obtaining 25,250 experience points, 50 points party bonus. Oh yes. We are the best. Yeah. Drizzler was jumping about in joy, much like a little girl who had just won her first teddy bear in a circus, the rest of the party members just smiled happily. Zhang Yang smiled with satisfaction. He was pleased to see the team working hard together, achieving victory hand in hand. 
his vision of seeing the team together became clearer. Zhang Yang then clapped his hand to get their attention. All right, guys. It's time to open the corpse. Oh. I wanna touch it. I wanna touch it. No. I want to do it. Let me do it. Fatty Han knees felt weak as he heard the cousins fighting over the right to open the corpse. Hey our girls. Stop fighting. Come, touch me. I'm pretty nice to rub around. I assure you that you'll be extremely satisfied after a session with me. F asterisk CK off. Same rule, same game, and little snow won another round of rock paper scissors. Drizzler looked sadly at her fist making the shape of a rock and sighed. How could I always lose at this game? That's because you're a big idiot. Zhang Yang sighed. He could not believe that she did not realize her own mistake. Drizzler got up with her hands on her waist, angrily speaking with her cheek bursting with anger. Where did I go wrong? This game only needs one of your hands to play. Your playing hand was behind you but their other hand was out in front. I don't know why your other hand would have the same gesture. That's why everyone could see through your act. Even a dummy could know what you're playing next in scissors paper stone. And if they can't see through you, they are as dumb as you are. Zhang Yang explained in his stoic face, holding back his urge to laugh out loud. Kaa. No wonder Drizzler could never win her elder cousin sister in this game. No, she never stood a chance because of this habit of hers. Han Yinks you. I'm cutting ties with you. Drizzler screamed from the top of her lungs. Right, and this is the, hum I can't recall the times you've wanted to cut ties with me. Little Snow replied her screams nonchalantly, ignoring her and reaching out for the corpse to open it. The others may not show it but they had been waiting for the equipment excitedly. Frost crown, green copper, metal armor. Defense, plus 6. Vitality, plus 24. Strength, plus 12. Dexterity, plus 4. Level requirement, 20. Hey, little brat. Let's forget about the system roll, and settle this with a game of rock paper scissors. Sneaky little kid. Drizzler rolled her eyes and quickly rolled for the equipment. Zhang Yang laughed and rolled for the item as well. He won with 84 points. Bristly crown, green copper, leather armor. Defense, plus 4. Vitality, plus 20. Strength, plus 6. Dexterity, plus 14. Level requirement, 20. Fatty Han gave up the equipment humbly and offered them to hundred shots again. Ding. You have distributed ten silver pieces. As the body started to disappear, Fatty Han got upset, that's it. Two equipment only. Ah, uh, yeah. That's about right. Getting two equipment in a five-man dungeon is already considered quite good. Zhang Yang nodded. And it's all just hats. TCH. This boss sure has some weird hat collecting habits, huh? This first boss would only drop helms and boots. We're lucky enough to get all helms. Zhang Yang explained. All right then. Let's proceed to the next boss and claim the first clear achievement. Let's go. The team was filled with thirst for victory, everyone was eager to win the fight. Their morale could never have been higher. After the first boss, the element changed from water to earth. The next enemy is a huge earth elemental with seven to eight smaller earth elementals around. Inflated earth elemental, elite. Level, 21. HP, 50,000. Deflated earth elemental, normal. Level, 20. HP, 1,000. Sigh. These smaller minions are quite troublesome. Zhang Yang frowned as he rubbed his forehead. He missed the days where he could just kill off skillless minions in Banger Crypt. 
It's pointless to kill the smaller ones. As long as the big one is still alive, it will quickly respawn the dead minions. Still, we can't drag the battle too long or else the big one will command the small ones to self-destruct. Each of those pesky little minions could cause 200 damage per explosion. You'll actually get blasted and literally be at cloud 9. So, we are supposed to fully focus on the big one before it commands the small ones to explode at us. Understood? Yeah. Let's start. Shush. Zhang Yang rushed over with, charge, along with Drizzler doing the same. With Zhang Yang there to pull in the minions, the others did not have to worry about aggro problems, they just focused their attack on the elite monster. With such strong focus fire, it was defeated fairly fast. The party then used all their AoE skills to clear of rest of the surviving minions. Hunters, Barrage, and Berserkers, Tornado Cleave, were AoE skills, and they were much stronger than a Guardian's, Thunderstrike. But neither one of those skills could be compared to Zhang Yang's 200% damage, Horizontal Sweep. Stacked with a powerful grey silver sword and the, Eagle Eye, skill, the final damage was truly remarkable. Zhang Yu, I want your, Horizontal Sweep. Drizzler was feeling envious. No way. Drizzler tried to tempt him with something else to make him yield, but I can give you little Snow's address. Fatty Hand's ears suddenly twitched. Little Snow may not have the best beauty complexion, but that ridiculous body of a succubus was truly something worth. Furthermore, the in-game appearance and real-life appearance are not necessarily the same. There was still a chance that this lady might look like a goddess in reality. You little brat. You must be sick of living for so long now. Are you so eager to die? Little Snow raised her fist. Don't worry, Drizzler. I'm here to protect you. Fatty Hand stood out with his chest up high. Quickly. Reveal her address. So what if she told you? China is such a big place. Can you really find it out? Zhang Yang laughed. TCH. Who knows? We might be in the same city. We're living in Jusu City. How about you? Drizzle asked. Zhang Yang and Fatty Han froze at the same time. What a coincidence. We're also living in Jusu City. Zhang Yang flinched. Zhang Yang did have some suspicion that they were living in the same city before. Ah. This is destiny. This is fate. Fatty Han began to feel extremely grateful. Drizzle giggled happily. She blinked her big eyes and said, Little Snow is living at number 105, Sheezy Street. Got it. Fatty Han began to chant the address like a mantra, fearing of forgetting the address later on. Zhang Yang shook his head. If memory served him right, number 105, Sheezy Street was the police station. Thinking of it, he recalled the policewoman he met earlier that morning. The soft and supple sensation of those melons. They were surely ranked number one if he compared them with a previous encounter in his previous life. Zhang Yang smiled evilly. The thought that he could fatty Han's face when he would discover the truth of that address made Zhang Yang refuse to let him know about the police station. The party went onwards and after 20 minutes of fighting more small minions, they arrived at the entrance of the second boss. Earth Spirit Ounce, Green Copper. Level, 22. HP, 132k. There was a large brown-colored earth elemental, its size looked sturdy and enormous, being as high as 15 meters tall. Even without a visible weapon, the spirit's own gigantic body gave off a certain kind of pressure. What's the plan? They all asked. They knew that Zhang Yang was a beta player. Zhang Yang walked up confidently. Several days before this fight, he had been squeezing all of his brain juice to remember all of Mazue's skills and fight strategy, 
which was why he could casually explain everything as if he already knew it all. This boss is basically a physical attack type. His attacks are like a bulldozer, very strong and powerful, which means we'll need to depend on Little Snow for this round as well. Little Snow turned to Zhang Yang and winked seductively. In that case, I want some overtime pay. Cousin. Would it kill you to just stop behaving like a slut? He he he. I'm used to it. Little Snow then winked at Drizzler, sending a cold shudder all over her. This boss first skill is, Open Wound. He will only cast this on the person with the highest aggro, which is me. If he casts this skill on anyone else, that would only mean that I died. This is a dot attack, so I will lose 100 HP every second. The damage will not be affected by defense value. F asterisk kingsha asterisk T. As a guardian, he absolutely hated skills that would ignore his defense attribute. The second skill is, smash. This skill will also be cast on the person with the most aggro, which is again, me. Smash, itself does not do any damage, but it stuns me for 2 seconds, and casts a debuff, increasing his attack frequency by 100%. This skill cannot be blocked or evaded, which means I would have to take it head on. The most dangerous part is when I'm hit by it. I can't voluntarily move to block any attack. The boss originally has a very fierce attack, and I could get killed off any time. Little Snow rolled her eyes glamorously and said, Well then, I must ask for a raise. Cousin, can you please be a little more ladylike? And where am I not a lady? Little Snow threw another wink. Her glamorous and show-off behavior made the other party members a little awkward to put up with. Chapter 53, A Wasted Effort Sneaky B Asterisk Edge Zhang Yang whispered to himself. The third boss skill is called, Earth Spear. This skill will be casted on three random players. It will look like a muddy puddle that's about two meters wide. In that puddle, you will have 50% movement speed reduction, and also receive 150 damage per second. You must quickly move away from the puddle the moment it appears. The damage and slowing effect will not immediately take effect when it appears as there will be a 0.5 second delay before the effect kicks in. You must be quick and alert at all times. Zhang Yang took a breather, giving some time for the party to absorb all the information. Lastly, and this one is the problematic one, is after every 15 seconds, the boss will gain 5% increased damage. This is a damage battle. The longer we drag this battle, the worse situation we will be in. Our healing powers will diminish over time, and when the boss has grown to 150% or 200% increase in damage, it will be the end of us. All in all, what you guys need to do is to avoid the Earth Spear and give it everything you got. What a load of bullcrap. You could have just said that last sentence to summarize everything. Fatty Hand scratched his head. Man. All your talking makes my head hurt. What a waste of my brain cells trying to remember all of that junk. Zhang Yang laughed. If there isn't any problem, we can just go ahead and start now. The first clear achievement is right in front of our eyes. Whoa. Let's go. The party marched into the boss chamber with big smiles on their faces. The fight started with Zhang Yang's charge. To maximize damage output, Zhang Yang prioritized his attack using crippled defense, adding 5 stacks to reduce 50% of the boss defense value. Being a physical type, it naturally had a high defense value. Reducing 50% of his defense was equivalent to reducing 30 defense attribute. 30 defense value was not much but it was enough to help 100 shots and fatty Han classes that used dexterity as their main attribute. Zhang Yang had the passive, eagle eye, skill, along with 5 stacks of, crippled defense, ignoring a total of 100% defense. 
Zhang Yang's attack was directly attacking with zero defense damage reduction, it felt as if he was attacking a completely naked boss. This kind attack was significant. The higher the player's level, the more skill that was available for them to use. The problem with having too many skill was the priority of it. To be able to use different kinds of skills in different kinds of situations was the key factor to differentiating a rare professional and a common casual. Both of those players could have the same equipment set and the same level, but they could not deal the same damage output. One would deal an extremely high damage while the other gives out a normal amount. This was the importance of prioritizing skills in situation. Under Zhang Yang's guidance, Fatty Han formed his own attacking strategy and made obvious progress. Zhang Yang was not familiar with the hunter class skills and tactics even with his five years rebirth experience as he played the game as a guardian previously. He could only teach Fatty Han the most common skill rotations to maximize his character potential. Zhang Yang had his eyes on Drizzler, though. Drizzler was a battle-driven girl. She liked to fight and compared her damage with others. Because of that, she was willing to learn new tactics and skill rotations to further increase her damage output. The one that had made the most obvious improvement was Drizzler. Ding! Player Zhang Yu has the effect of open wound. Receiving 100 physical damage every second for 20 seconds. A debuff icon appeared on Zhang Yang's head. 80, red damage text popped repeatedly above him. Before the skill was cast, Little Snow was having the time of her life, healing slowly and leisurely. After the debuff appeared and Zhang Yang HP was slowly draining off, she began to frantically cast her healing spell. Ding! Player Zhang Yu had received, smash. Stunned for two seconds. Several stars could be seen above Zhang Yang's head, and he could not control his body. He began to sway his body back and forward, head bobbing around like a drunkard. 304. 312. 80. 309. 318. 80. Earth Spirit Ounce was as in a frenzy. In just two seconds, Ounce had attacked Zhang Yang with four consecutive strikes. With the damage, open wound, had caused, Zhang Yang HP was instantly robbed away by 1403 points. Luckily Zhang Yang swapped a new helm earlier, raising his already beefy HP to 1840L even then it was still not enough. It was only after the attacks that Little Snows, Higher healing, conjured, healing Zhang Yang with a ray of light. Plus 395. Half a second later, regeneration, also healed another plus 120, recovering almost half of Zhang Yang's HP. Having only half of his full HP, Zhang Yang had no time to catch his breath. The boss right fist was in front of him, flying right into his face. Zhang Yang dodged it but another left fist came flying just as quickly. His quick judgment concluded that he could evade that strike, so he quickly raised his shield and used block. Even though this boss had double physical attacks, it was still just as agile as a thief. Each time Ounce attacked with both fists, Zhang Yang could only physically dodge the right fist but used block against the other. He was not able to dodge both. Little Snow was still not done with her healing. She quickly chanted a higher healing, and after a plus 387, Zhang Yang's HP was no longer in the danger zone. My god, this is tiring. The first few seconds after the battle started was already as exciting as it was. She felt like her heart and lungs were going to burst out of excitement. Zixi, who asked you to be a priest? Drizzler tried to provoke her cousin. Arya. Only a priest is suitable for a person like me. Little Snow purposely patted her overwhelming chest and winked at Drizzler. F-L-A-T tilde. Drizzler face was flushed with rage. Han yinks you. Enough with my boobs. Ding. Earth Spirit Ounce has gained, growth, effect, one stack. 
all physical attacks are increased by 5%. Guys, there's always a time and place for everything, and we can't joke around right now. Don't be slacking on the attack and healing. Look, the boss had gained a buff. If I was in danger before, imagine how I would be when the boss stacks up his growth. I'd be ready to meet my maker soon. Zhang Yang scolded. Ding. Earth Spirit Ounce had used Earth Spear. Zhang Yang quickly looked down to his feet to check, and a black gooish mud puddle appeared underneath. Zhang Yang hurriedly moved away from the circular area and shouted when he was safe from the skill. Everyone, be careful. Check your ground. Sheing. 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 The sound of clashing metal could be heard as seven to eight razor sharp stone pillars pierced out from the muddy puddle. After a split second, the pillars retracted back into the puddle and then reappeared the next second. Fatty Hand tightened his butt, thinking something naughty is his mind. Hey, if I was actually pierced by these things in the arse, is it considered an asterisk L6? At hash dollar percent? Go to hell. Fatty bro, you're so perverted. You seriously need some help. Die, you sick son of a b asterisk tch. When everyone was having fun laughing and scolding, the boss gained another buff, increasing its damage by 110%. 80%, 70%, 60%. At the same time, the boss HP was dropping as well. After all, there were three strong attackers, with Zhang Yang having the stronger attacks. 40%. Ding. Earth Spirit Ounce has gained, growth, effect, 8 stack. All physical attacks are increased by 40%. Ding. Player John Yu received, smash. Stunned for 2 seconds. Again, Zhang Yang had stars circling around his head. 423. 112. Plus 120. 432. 427. Plus 398. 112. 431. Zhang Yang's heart jumped with the same feeling as riding a roller coaster. Luckily, Little Snow managed to slide in a higher healing and a regeneration. If it were not for those two skills, Zhang Yang would have already sent to the revive point. Phew. Zhang Yang let out a sigh of relief. He then dodged one of the boss's fist and used block on the other giving enough time for Little Snow to chant another, higher healing. You know, you should get yourself a skill book called, Holy Shield. That way, both you and I won't have to fear of getting a heart attack every time we fight a boss of this caliber. Holy Shield, cast a magic shield that will absorb damage equal to the caster's 200% magic damage. Last for 30 seconds. Cooldown time, 15 seconds. Instant casting. Instant casting. That was the most valuable point of Holy Shield. The absolute trump card to save a life. I'm but penniless. Would you like to buy it for me? Little Snow winked around crazily. Cousin. Please stop doing that. I'm completely ashamed by you. Would you guys stop doing that? Please focus on the boss. If it boss gets any stronger, I'll be dead by the next smash. Zhang Yang scolded. He did not sound normal anymore. 30%. 20%. 10%. Ding. Earth Spirit Ounce has gained growth effect 12 stack. All physical attacks are increased by 60%. Ding. Player John Yu received, smash. Stunned for 2 seconds. 492. Plus 120. 487. 128. 489. 481. 128. Ding. Player John Yu had died. 
Little Snow failed to cast her, higher healing, in time which led to Zhang Yang's defeat. Don't give up. Continue attacking. There's only 6% left. Fight for your life. 5%. Once Zhang Yang fell, Drizzler immediately became Aun's punching bag. It turned around and started to attacking furiously. Ding. Player Drizzler had died. 4%. Ding. Player Slim and Handsome had died. Ding. Player 100 Shots had died. Ding. Player Little Snow had died. Complete Annihilation. Sigh. The team appeared at the revive point and sighed together. Wiped out at 4%, what a waste. Little Snow, the next time I get, smash, don't use, higher healing. Instead, switch to, holy prayers. Even though the recovery rate for, holy prayers, is slower but the incantation is much faster. Higher healing, requires 2 seconds to cast, but, holy prayers, only needs 1.5 seconds so it can be cast in between the 2 second stun. If you used, higher healing, you might have been in time to save me. Zhang Yang gave a long talk to Little Snow, trying to help her revise her healing tactics. Remember, once I'm out of the stun, I'll use, block, immediately. You will have enough time to cast, higher healing. Okay. Little Snow nodded obediently. She looked like she was blaming herself for the team's downfall. Even though it was not her fault to begin with, she did feel a little guilty for the waste of effort. It's rare to see her obedient face, not winking around like a madwoman. Shush. Another five souls appeared at the revive point. They were the dominators. Humbly Gentleman was not among the party, which meant the party was the secondary raiding team. Hey. Where did you guys die at? One of the party members from the Dominators screamed. Zhang Yang looked at Fatty Han with a certain look in his eye. Fatty Han quickly caught his intention and replied, The first boss. F asterisk King Hell. They are actually the same as us. TCH. So what if they are at the same stage as us? The important thing is the boss, not the minions. The dominators started to discuss among themselves. Hey, neighbor. We managed to damage it up to 60% HP left. What about you guys? Fatty Han looked at Zhang Yang, who was smiling silly. Better than you did. We were at 40%. The five of them exchanged a look and smiled slyfully. They switched to party channel and said, Ha! Huh? Only 40%. Boss was already beaten down till 20%. Just a few more and we'll win this match for sure. Chapter 54, The Second First Clear Achievement Hey! That's mean. Drizzler laughed underneath her covered mouth. Little brat. What do you know? This is called deception in war. Fatty Han was trying to mimic the looks of the great philosopher Zhu Ji Liang. Drizzler. That's called learning from experience. Even in game he would use some kind of trickery to deceit others. Obviously, he would also be a swindler in reality. Drizzler, you must take this chance to learn. Next time, when you see someone like Fatty, you'd better get far, far away from him. Drizzler stood upright and saluted her like a soldier to a captain. Sir. Yes sir. Everyone laughed at the cousin's skit. Fatty Han quickly tried to rectify the situation. Hey. I have the four virtues of a youngster. It's just you guys who could not recognize it. Which four, said hundred shots. Being the silent type, he rarely participated in talks but since the mood got quite rowdy, he decided to join in. I'm a little greedy. A little horny. A little batty. A little fatty. Oh my god, all four of them pointed their middle fingers at Fatty Han. Once that was over, 
the team revived themselves and ran over to the second boss. Everyone sat outside the boss's chamber to consume some health recovery items. All right, all set. Let's go. Charge. Charge. Both Zhang Yang and Drizzle activated, charge, at almost the same time. They dashed through the floor and arrived in front of the boss. Provoke. Zhang Yang immediately locked onto the boss's aggro. He used, block, and a normal attack after, damaging the boss with his sword. 335. He gained 34 rage and immediately he used, crippled defense, and, horizontal sweep. Zhang Yang managed to stack two layers of, crippled defense, as soon as the two seconds of, provoke, wore off. Earth Spirit Ounce grumbled and opened its mouth. Invaders. Ounce will not allow you to destroy Lord Marzway's plans to destroy all of humanity. After the opening speech was over, Ounce began to charge towards Zhang Yang. Ha, huh, human annihilation. I guess that is the only dream all bad guys could ever have. Drizzler scoffed. Actually, Marzue is the victim here. Quite the pity as well. Zhang Yang explained while he swung his sword. Ha! Huh? Didn't you read the official introduction? Zhang Yang sounded disappointed. Sigh, every dungeon has their own law. Well, Fatty here doesn't care about that. All I want is the equipment. I just care about the gold pieces. Really? Come on guys. The developers put their hearts and souls into making this game to be as detailed for the sake of the players. What you have done is spat on the efforts the developers. What a waste of a beautiful game. Zhang Yang shook his head in disappointment. TCH. What an elderly act. You'll surely be elderly soon enough. Drizzler scorned. All right. Let's hear it out. What's the story? Little Snow resumed her pace, winking about again. In the lore, Mazue was a famous spellcaster who was part of a spellcaster guild in the Empire's royal family. A few years back, he joined the army to fight against the invading specters, leaving behind his loving wife in the hands of a noble. Little did he know that the noble tainted his wife, causing her to grieve, and she eventually killed herself. When Mazue returned, and found out the truth of his wife's death, he sought out to have his revenge. Sadly, he was deemed a traitor to the Empire. Hated by all, he was imprisoned, waiting to be executed. Zhang Yang looked around. Everyone was listening carefully. Anguish and despair beyond any human can endure, Mazue surrendered his soul to the demon and exchanged it for unlimited power. He escaped the prison and desecrated the Snow Sprite city, killing everyone and everything in it. After that, Mazue occupied the city and summoned countless of elemental monsters to defend the city against the Empire's army. Zhang Yang finished his story and looked around again. He suddenly yelled. F asterisk CK. Why are you guys just standing there? We're still in the middle of a fight. The four of them were shaken, as if they were woken up from a dream. Drizzle bit her lips. Or, oh, Mazue is quite pity. Ah, this truly is sad. If only I can get married to someone as loyal as Mazue, that would be nice. Little Snow had a yearning kind of tone in her voice. Cousin. What's the use if he is just loyal? A true gentleman must be straightforward, brave, handsome and cool. If he is anything like Fatty Han, then you might as well give up. Drizzler giggled and turned around to make sure he heard what she said. Fatty Han shriveled up. He only joked around to cheer the party, and now he made himself public enemy number one. How did it turn out this way? Foolish intruders. Taste my wrath. A red glow covered entire Ounce's body, increasing his power by a level. Ding. Earth Spirit Ounce has gained a growth effect, one stack. 
All physical attack is increased by 5%. Crap. No time to play around anymore guys. Strike him with all you've got. Ding. Player John you received, smash. Stunned for 2 seconds. 305. 316. 84. Plus 120. 312. Plus 297. 301. 84. This round, Little Snow used, Holy Prayers, instead of, Higher Healing. With only 1.5 second casting time, she could easily heal in between the boss furious attack. After enduring that barrage of attack, Zhang Yang's HP remained at around 900. He then evaded one attack, and used, Block, on the other, giving Little Snow enough room to cast, Higher Healing. After he was healed, his HP was back to 70%. 90%, 80%. The boss HP dropped continuously and it was not slowing down. However, the boss was also growing in damage. 5%, 10%, 15%. Alright, this is going well. Guys. Maintain this pace and we can surely win this round. Zhang Yang encouraged the party. Pathetic little intruders. I will crush all if you into smithereens. Earth spirit ounce growled. The red glow engulfed his body over and over again and when ounce's HP reached 10%, he stacked over 12 layers of growth. Here comes the most dangerous time. Ding. Player Zhang Yu received, smash. Stunned for 2 seconds. 487. 128 plus 120 482 489 plus 302 128 491 After a serious beating, Zhang Yang's HP stopped at 57 points. The boss has yet to stop attacking. Evade. Block. Zhang Yang quickly consumed a bottle of red potion while waiting for Little Snow to heal him. Plus 399. The potion's healing only managed to put him out of the danger zone, but he was still not out of trouble. 9%, 8%, 7%. Death was inevitable. 4%, 3%, 2%, 1%, 0%. Oh. El Lord March. Mars away will resurrect me again. I, I will, see crush, with its last dying words, bounce came crashing onto the floor. We did IT. Finally, they did it. All of them let out a sigh of relief and cheered. Ding. You can the party member around had killed Earth Spirit Ounce. Obtaining 26,450 experience points, 50 party bonus point. Ding. Your party has successfully conquered Marsway's lair, front wing, hardcore mode, and obtained the first clear achievement. This glorious accomplishment will be recorded in the hardcore first clear achievement board. As the party leader, please name your party. Zhang Yang paused and thought for a while. He turned around and said, Hey little brat, I'll key in your guild's name into this achievement for 1000 gold pieces. How does that sound? Wow. Come on, uncle. We're so close to each other now. Would you still charge us for it? Drizzler screamed and shouted. To take her money was on the same level as robbing a bank, there would be resistance. Ha ha. Friendship is one thing, business is another. Come on. Pay up. Zhang Yang continued to play with her. Ah, Drizzler then tried to follow Little Snow's seductive behavior by trying to wink. After so much effort, all she could only manage to close one of her eye. It's freaking tiresome. Drizzler gave up and stomped the ground. Ah, well. How about I offer you Little Snow's nudes? Yeah. You heard it right. 
her nudes. Little Snow's eyebrow twitched. Ahem. You little witch, what are you blabbing about? A seductive look naturally formed. Are you for real? Fatty Han got excited. Everyone could see a pinkish erotic aura emitting from him. Of course it's real. Drizzlow patted her chest. Little Snow did not really care at first but when she saw Drizzler smiling ear to ear, she began to feel that something was wrong. You couldn't possibly be serious. He he. You brat, when did you? You always like to leave the door open whenever you take a bath. I was just passing by one time, and when you didn't notice my presence, I took a picture. Oh no you little witch. You're so dead when I get my hands on you. Little Snow voice became louder. Fatty Hand took the opportunity to sneak in. Hey, hey little Drizzler, since we are also quite close, so. Hey, hey. We're not that close. Drizzler played along. Zhang Yang laughed. This time I'll key in your guild name. The next dungeon... I'll key in my own guild name. Eh? When did you join a guild? Little Snow asked. No. Not yet. After these two dungeons, Fatty Han, Hundred Shots, and I will establish a guild of our own. How about it? Feel like coming over to this side? Zhang Yang gazed at the two girls. They were fine specimens after all. Why so troublesome? Drizzlow pouted her lips. Why don't you come to our guild? I'll pass the guild master position to you. Zhang Yang was surprised. Eh? You would do that? It's fine. My cousin and I established the guild just for the fun of it. Being a guild master is so troublesome after all. I had to do this and that, manage here and there. Arg. I'd wanted to quit for so long. To think that you could take over my position. I would be glad to pass it to you. Drizzler sounded very decisive. Zhang Yang could never have predicted this outcome. You'd better think this through and through. God's miracle is not like any other Vmorg. In the future, the game will have so many more players joining in. You could basically call this game the Second Earth. If the guild is managed properly, you could earn a living from the income. Yeah, yeah. How could you talk so much? It's so annoying. Ain't that right, cousin? Em, that's right. Besides, in less than a month, Drizzler will heading back to school. She won't have much time to play this game anymore. It's would be in the best of interest if you took over the guild. Little Snow nodded. Zhang Yang felt bad for those under these two lazy bums. He would not mind to take over the guild's responsibility, at the least. He thought for a while and considered it. All right then, in that case, add all three of us into the guild. Fatty Han, quit your guild now. Fatty Han was a little unwilling, sigh, if someone as handsome and cool as me left the guild, I'm afraid those pretty chicks would go crazy without me. Ding. Player Drizzler has invited you to join her guild, Lone Desert Smoke. Will you accept her invitation? Zhang Yang entered the guild. After a short while, he saw the guild notification refreshed. Player Slim and Handsome has joined the guild. Player Hundred Shots has joined the guild. Zhang Yang then keyed in the name Lone Desert Smoke as the party name and selected Confirm. The server channel then died in red again. Server announcement, Party Lone Desert Smoke has obtained the first clear achievement, Marsway's Lair, Front Wing, Hardcore Mode. This glorious achievement will be recorded in the Hardcore First Clear Achievement Board, China Server. Server announcement, Player Zhang Yu, Party Leader, has obtained the first clear achievement, Marsway's Lair, Front Wing, Hardcore Mode. Obtaining 10 gold pieces, 1 skill point, and 500 increased all races reputation from the system reward. 
Server Announcement, Player Drizzler. Chapter 55, Onward to the Middle Wing. After the server announcement flooded the entire server channel, all 20 men from the Dominators and Sky High were left stunned. Those that were not in the midst of battle were fine, but the other 15 people, three teams of five players were instantly distracted and got killed off and appeared at the revive point. The results were far too much for them to take in. Who were they to even compete with Zhang Yang's team when they were still struggling at the first boss of the dungeon? At Crimson Rage's side. Sister Snow. It happened, just like you said it will. Thorny Rose cried out admirably as Fire Spirit Far's body fell defeated. How did you do it? How did you know that Zhang Yu's team would be the first to win the front wing's dungeon? If we had followed along to take on the front wing, we'd be crying our eyes out by now. Thorny Rose and the rest of the Crimson Rage party were currently in the middle wing dungeon. During the start of the fight, Crimson Rage's two five-man party first entered the front wing dungeon. However, after two minutes in, they quickly switched and headed to the middle wing instead. According to the official website, the middle wing's bosses were level 23 and level 24 while the front wing bosses were level 21 and level 22. Normally, players would choose to tackle on the easy ones first and left the harder selection for later on. However, Crimson Rage Guild Master had a different way of approaching this matter. She chose the other way around to conquer the dungeon. Snow Seeker raised an eyebrow and smiled lightly. Even though I may have predicted that Jan Yu's team would be the one who will claim the first clear achievement, but I could not have foreseen that they could complete the dungeon in such a groundbreaking speed. Sure, we might have defeated the first boss, but Jan Yu's team already cleared the front wing and may be proceeding to the middle wing, and if he does, not even I would how that will turn out. How could this be? Thorny Rose expressed her disbelief. We have gained the boss information beforehand and had several days ahead to devise a strategy. We even died several times to win this boss. Don't tell me that they also had a relative in the development team. Snow Seeker thought it through and shook her head at the impossibility. According to my brother, during the boss skill design phase, everyone will be in charge of their own department. There was absolutely no interaction nor communication between departments. Furthermore, the initial designer and the editor were strangers who did not have any connections. There was no possible way that a person would have the knowledge of all the boss's skill. We only knew about the first boss skills and gone through hell and back for the second boss skills. Snow Seeker stopped her speech suddenly and realized something far more important. I for one, Hope that John Yu had gotten himself some information leak. Or else, how could you explain his incredible speed at clearing the front wing dungeon? She shook her head to get rid of that frightening thought. Everyone, get yourself together, even though we are one step ahead of them, we must not let down our guard. They are strong. Who you are? For some members of Lone Desert Smoke, they were excited when Zhang Yang, Hundred Shots, and Slim and Handsome joined the guild. That was, however, just the tip of the iceberg. When the server channel was flooded with a server announcement of their achievement, things got even wilder. For almost half day long, the guild channel was just as noisy as a subway station. Chattering and cheering were everywhere. Even though they did not contribute into the party in taking the first clear achievement, they still praised and bragged around about their guild. Player Drizzler has surrendered the guild master position to Player Jan Yu. Player Jan Yu is now the current guild master. Another important news. Even so, members of Lone Desert Smoke did not express any objection to this matter. They were actually happy with the change. After all, they have all heard of the name Jan Yu. The guild members were happy and contented to have a professional commander like Jan Yu to lead the guild to glory. So guys, should we just rest a bit or do we go on to raid the middle wing? Little Snow asked Jan Yang. 
strike the iron while it's hot. Of course, we shall move on. Zhang Yang laughed loudly. Pointing at the corpse, he continued, however, let's distribute the equipment first. Oh. Oh. Me. Me. Let me open it. Drizzler jumped like a rabbit, and quickly touched the corpse. Heavy stone boots, green copper, metal armor. Defense, plus 6. Vitality, plus 12. Strength, plus 6. Dexterity, plus 2. Level requirement, 2. TCH. Hey. Take this boot and raise your pathetic HP amount. Drizzler rejected her role for the equipment. Don't get yourself killed in just one strike. It was not just Drizzler who had the thought to prioritize the main tanker's equipment, it was in everyone's mind as well. They started to get a little cautious ever since they witnessed the sheer attack power of a hardcore level boss. Zhang Yang laughed guiltily. He too knew that he needed to pump up his HP to face a Herculean-like boss in the hardcore dungeon. He put on the new equipment, and also invested the SP he gained on, block, reducing its cooldown time to only 5 seconds. Friends of Lone Desert Smoke Congratulations on obtaining the first clear achievement. I represent the Dominators to congratulate you on this awesome achievement. Humbly gentlemen posted in the local channel. HMPH. What you say doesn't match your intention. Gentlemen, my ass, someone from Sky High began insulting to provoke. Huh? Where did this barking dog came from? Members from the Dominator started to retaliate. Sky High did not want to admit defeat, and they started to return their insults. Eventually the entire local channel was flooded with words of scorn and abuses. Zhang Yang's team started to feel a little annoyed. With a flick of a button, they turned off the local server feed, and the whole world went dead silent. Blinders skirt, green copper, cloth armor. Defense, plus 2. Vitality, plus 16. Intelligence, plus 16. Spirit, plus 6. Level requirement, 20. This equipment obviously belonged to Little Snow. Lined cape, green copper, cape. Vitality, plus 6. Dexterity, plus 4. Equip effect, increase 1% critical strike. Level requirement, 20. Only dexterity and no strength, this equipment was obviously suitable for either a thief or a hunter. Just when Fatty Han wanted 100 shots to have the item, 100 shots rejected his chance to roll. Fatty, it's fine now. My equipment is quite strong. You don't need to give it up anymore. From now on, let's just roll for the next equipment fair and square. All right then. Fatty Han nodded and accepted the cape. The party then ran towards the dungeon entrance. Fatty Han suddenly turned around and asked Zhang Yang, Hey little Yang, are there any hidden bosses in this dungeon? Zhang Yang shook his head. Not all dungeons have hidden bosses. As for Mazue's lair, there are no hidden bosses in any of the three dungeons. After a while, the party got out from the front wing and entered the left entrance of the dungeon. Ding. You have entered Mazue's lair, middle wing, hardcore mode. The atmosphere and background of this new dungeon was exactly the same as the previous one. The only difference was the monster patrolling inside were now fire elementals. Demonized fire elemental, elite. Level, 22. HP, 6000. There were so many monsters here, too many in fact. With just a look, it felt like the room was cramped and tight. So freaking many. Fatty Han took in a deep breath. Yeah. The monsters here are far stronger than before. They are all magic attack types. They just love to spew fireball at you and those are painful as f asterisk ck. Zhang Yang explained. However, the good thing is that their HP is very low. 
They are about half of those elite monsters. We can just use our AoE attacks, and they can be killed off easily. Zhang Yang walked ahead and used charge to initiate the fight. Zhang Yang cut down one of the monsters for 342 damage and gained 36 rage. He immediately used horizontal sweep. 701 745 726 Many more damage texts overlapped each other in the tight crowded space. A total of eight fire elementals had their targets set to Zhang Yang and began conjuring fireballs. The team followed up and started unleashing their AoE skills like Barrage and Tornado Cleave. Three seconds later, the monsters finished casting their spells and threw eight fireball towards Zhang Yang. A barrage of attacks landed on Zhang Yang, causing 122, 119, and 125 damage to him. Zhang Yang lost around 1000 HP in this wave. Little Snow was prepared for it. The moment she saw damage texts popping out on Zhang Yang's head, she waved her hand and used higher healing on him, restoring 400 HP. At the same time, regeneration healed him for 130 HP every 3 seconds. Two seconds later, Little Snow conjured another higher healing and healed Zhang Yang almost to his full HP. Boom! Another eight fireballs landed on Zhang Yang. Arg, I don't want to do this anymore, this is so tiring. But being the only healer in the party, Little Snow had to continue her healing alone or else Zhang Yang would die and the whole team would be defeated. Thirty seconds into the battle and all of the minions were killed off, granting the party immense experience points. Little Snow jeered at the hallway and saw waves and waves of minions patrolling. She turned sour and said, God, how long would this last? Cousin, I'll give you a back massage after all these minions. Is that good enough? Fatty Hand suddenly gave a lusty expression. Pressing and pushing is something only Fatty can do best. I tell you, no one else could do it better. Little Snow, take my number and call me whenever you're in the mood for a back massage. I'll be over in a jiffy. Drizzler walked over to Fatty Han and observed his fleshy hands. Ha! Huh. Now that I've seen your hand. I finally understand why the Mandarin language has the phrase salty pig hands, you pervert. Everyone laughed for a bit and moved on forward. The monsters were indeed strong and their attacks were stronger, but the only person working furiously was Little Snow, while the rest of the party were calm and relaxed all the way. Twenty minutes later, they finally arrived at the first boss. Fire Spirit Annie, Green Copper. Level, 23. HP, 138k. Standing at 10 meters tall, the gigantic elemental spirit was burning away like a huge bonfire pillar. In this enormous palace, there were no other minions around anymore. All right, rape our ears, little Yang. Zhang Yang shook his head and sighed. He then began to explain the boss strategy and skills. As you could guess, the boss is a spellcaster class. Its physical attacks are not strong so it will cast flame shot at the person with the most aggro. The skill has a 3 second casting delay and deals 1000 damage per shot. Little Snow, just give up. As the only healer in this hardcore mode dungeon, it is your fate to heal till you drop. Fatty Han laughed and said, Little Snow, just give up and listen to Little Yang. Pervert Fatty. Pervy brothers. The girls scolded together. Zhang Yang expressed innocence. Hey. Why am I in the same category as him? Little Snow replied, birds of the same feather. Flock together. Drizzler continued her cousin's idiom. The two of you looked like brothers in arms. That is why both of you must share the same bad habit. What? Arg. A gentleman must not be arguing with a lady. 
Zhang Yang gave up and used an escape card to avoid the argument. He then continued his boss explanation. The boss second skill is called, knockback. This skill will cause every target in its effective range to be knocked back 3 meters behind, and will also receive 500 fire damage. At the same time, the target will be inflicted with a debuff called, combustible, causing all fire magic damage to be increased by 50%. The debuff is quite dangerous. If I'm hit with, flame shot, and, knockback, while gaining the, combustible, debuff, I will receive about 1800 damage. I will be instantly killed if I were to receive the combo without a full HP status. Chapter 56, Fire Spirit Far. Its third skill is called, Lava Flow, Dot. Zhang Yang continued to explain the boss skills. Once it's activated, eight rivers of lava will flow out in a specific pattern, with the boss at its center. The lava will continue to flow for 30 seconds so remember to avoid it at all cost. Anyone standing in it will take 500 damage. Hmm, sounds pretty simple. We should be fine as long as we can avoid the lava. The fourth skill. Holy crap, there's a fourth skill. Little Yang, please finish your sentence. Don't leave us hanging here. Zhang Yang laughed at Fatty Han. The fourth skill is quite simple. For every party member's death, the boss gains 50% damage increase, which is why you have to survive at all costs. In summary, stay alive and don't die. Let's go. Charge. Ho. Oh. Where did these pests come from? How dare you step into my domain? HMPH. Water spirit and earth spirit are completely useless. How could they let these pests get past them? Being completely immune to, charge, s stunning effect, Fa raised its fiery fists, and hurled them at Zhang Yang. Ha ha ha. I will burn your soul into the depths of the abyss. Enjoy wandering forever, never to return. Little Yang, is it just me, or does this boss love to talk a lot? Fatty Han asked while firing a shot. Yeah, I feel the same way too. Zhang Yu, this boss could actually be on the same level as you. Annoying as hell. Drizzler used, charge, to dash towards the boss and began hacking and slashing. Noticing high damage texts that were popped out rapidly, her face flushed with excitement. HMPH, if I were to keep my mouth shut, do you think we could reach to this stage? Zhang Yang had a little monologue, and smiled bitterly by himself. Some boss difficulty factor lies on their attack and skill. For others, like this one, have another way to annoy players, and that's through trash talking. Fatty Han laughed. Huh? Trash talking? Can they actually do that? Yeah, just wait for it. This will be our first encounter of a trash-talking boss. While they were happily conversing, Zhang Yang had already stacked five layers of crippled defense and made the vulnerable boss even more vulnerable. You stinky piece of walking flesh. I'll use my flame to burn all of you into roasted meat, and then I'll eat you for dinner. Fire Spirit Far began to chant, flame shot. Three seconds later, a giant fireball flew rapidly towards Zhang Yang. He could not block nor escape from it and took a hit, while simultaneously a huge 800 damage text flew across his head. Ha ha! Foolish mortals! How does it feel being burnt into a crisp? Fire Spirit Far then switched to its fiery first to strike. Perhaps I shall keep your skeletons and fashion them into a table. That would be a perfect decoration for my palace. After a few fist attacks, Fire Spirit Far started to chant a flame shot. Being a spellcaster class monster, it would naturally prioritize its magic attacks as its main. Boom. A fireball flew off, hitting Zhang Yang again. Impossible. You, a mere mortal withstanding my almighty attack. No. Why are you still alive? 
No. You must die. You must die now. Fire Spirit Fa growled loudly. Ding. Fire Spirit Fa is enraged. Ding. Fire Spirit Fa has unleashed, knock back. A circular wall appeared with Fa at the center of it. The wall then blasted away in all directions and knocked back Zhang Yang and Drizzler while leaving a debuff effect on them. Foolish creatures. I will not hold back any longer. The fire spirit then chanted another flame shot aiming at Zhang Yang. Fatty Han could not hold it in any longer. What the hell? This boss can really talk a lot. Zhang Yang snickered, ha ha, trash talk. This is considered as a challenge. Once you encountered enough of these kind of bosses, you'll get used to it soon enough. Still, you wouldn't really get yourself mad from a computer, right? Little Snow was holding on for quite some time, but eventually she lost it too. Would you guys just kill it already? I'm suffering here. After casting, flame shot, fire spirit far scanned the party. HMPH. You who would only sneak behind and attack, I will burn you all. Whoosh. Eight rivers of lava flowed out from the boss body, across the battlefield. Fatty Han and the rest managed to evade it by a hair's breadth, but the melee fighters did not have enough time to react at all. It was only luck that the boss, Lava Flow, did not target a specific player. When the lava started to spew from the boss body, it went past Zhang Yang and Drizzler, scaring the hell out of them. 90%, 80%, 70%, the boss quickly lost its HP at a fast pace. As it talked too much, the party began striking and shooting at their best and maybe even a little more as they were pretty much annoyed by the trash talking. Despicable human. Curse you. Fire Spirit Far cried in pain after being attacked. Let the flame cleanse you away. Using, knockback, again, the boss blasted his firewall everywhere and almost killed Zhang Yang with only over 600 HP left. Thank God this boss didn't curse my future baby child or something like that, or I'd be really furious. Fatty Han said as he happily drew his bow and shot at his own pace. Slim and handsome, you've been shooting for almost half a day, and yet nothing came out. How could you call yourself a man? That was it. Fatty Han stopped his attack suddenly and furiously walked up to the boss. Who said I can't shoot it out? People call me the seven-shot man. I can shoot it out in five minutes. HMPH. I can't shoot. I'll shoot in your F asterisk king face. Hey, take a chill pill there, horny brother. Disgusting prick. Fatty, you just revealed your secret here. It was then Fatty Han realized that he had been played by a computer. How could he allow himself to be fooled by a computer to lose his temper? Ha ha. Fatty, I think you've completely tarnished your good name. Zhang Yang laughed loudly. Oh, get out of there. Fatty Han was angry right down to his bone. This boss perverseness is just as good as mine. Bullsh asterisk T. You're the only one here with that kind of mind. The boss is insulting your marksmanship, not your, you know. Hey, Fatty Han. Could it be that a certain part of your body isn't working properly? I know an old medical officer that lives just down the alley here, Zhang Yang could not help himself to laugh even more. Mind your own business. My little brother is as fine as it is. Fatty Han defended his own ability. Fire Spirit Far began provoking hundred shots as well, hundred shots, you've been shooting for almost half a day, and yet nothing came out. How could you call yourself a man? Being hundred shots, the man that never lost his chill, he remained steady and undisturbed as he continued to fire his arrow unfazed. See that, Fatty Han? That's what I call style. Cool as a cucumber. TCH. Hundred shots, 
tell me the truth now, how old are you? Fatty Han asked. Hundred shot sniggered before he answered, thirty. When you are thirty, you'll have that problem. When you are forty, you can't do anything about it besides having those thoughts. This is not style, it's a fact. I'll never have the problem about shooting it out. With this topic now in the air, not a single man would leave themselves undefended. Hundred shots curved his lips and said, Well, according to my wife, I've no problem with my little brother. And if it's a problem, it's not a problem at all. Bullshit philosopher. Both Zhang Yang and Fatty Han were surprised at Hundred Shots' comment and laughed out loud. Hey, are you guys fighting or not? Drizzler angrily cried out. She could not take it any longer, it was not about the dirty adult talks that revolved around their private matters, but the fact that she could not understand any bit of it. If she could not understand it, then it did not matter anymore. Drizzler. Are you giving me a massage? If that's the case, it would be a waste. I could barely feel anything. Fire Spirit Far turned and pointed at Drizzler, starting to say something insulting again. I will flatten you. Huh? Flat? Flat chest? Did you just call me flat chested? It's hard not to admire how Drizzler interpreted that. From the word flatten to flat chest. Still, the angered little Drizzler was triggered to fight even wilder than ever. Fatty Han laughed and said, This boss sure is fun to play with. Horny boss. Perverted Fatty. Drizzler continued to land more hits on the monster. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a normal and serious man. Fatty Han was quick to refute. Despicable mortal. Feel my wrath. Lava began to flow out again, causing the entire party to jump like cats and dogs. As the party regained their composure, the boss HP was left with only 20%. This boss is quite easy to defeat. If it wasn't because of its crap, I could fight this kind of boss anytime. Zhang Yang shook his head. We were only lucky. We didn't get hit by the flame shot and knockback combo. That one is a lethal skill. 15%, 10%, 7%. The boss HP continued to drastically drop. 5%, 3%. Boom. A flame shot landed on Zhang Yang and reduced his HP down to 512 points. At that moment, the boss opened his mouth and said, You've angered me, mortals. Ding. Fire Spirit Far has unleashed, knockback. 600. Zhang Yang was instantly killed by the attack. Ding. Player Zhang Yu has died. Don't stop. Kill it. Kill it. Zhang Yang shouted. Ding. Fire Spirit Far has gained a sacrifice effect. All attacks have been increased by 50%. Ha ha. Delicious soul. I can feel my powers grow stronger. Fire Spirit Far's body grew larger. Now that Zhang Yang died, the boss changed its target to the second most aggro player, Drizzler. Luckily, this boss did not have the tendency to use Flame Shot. Even if Drizzler was hit by a knockback, it would only cause 450 damage and then kill her off easily with a few normal attacks. It did not need to use the 3 second delay, flame shot. 2%, 1%. 2250. Carrying the, combustible, debuff, Drizzler was vulnerable to attacks. Even if Little Snow could heal her back to full HP, her pitiful 1200 HP could only withstand a single attack from the boss. Soon after, Drizzler also died. Ding. Fire Spirit Far has gained a sacrifice effect. All attacks have been increased by 100%. Such a wonderful feeling. My powers grow stronger again. Fire Spirit Far laughed evilly and then turned to face Fatty Han and casted 
flame chopped. 1200. 950. 740. The boss had a little over 1000 HP left. 400. 143. 2000. Flame shot, was cast. Fatty hand was defeated. Ding. Fire spirit far has gained a, sacrifice, effect. All attacks have been increased by 150%. This time around, the boss did not cast a, flame shot. It rushed over to 100 shots, and attacked him with physical strikes. 176. 413. A simultaneous attack came from both 100 shots, and little snow. No, no, no. This isn't happening. I am the immortal fire god. No one could have killed me. No. With an unwilling expression, fire spirit far fell defeated. Ding. You and your party members have killed fire spirit far. Obtaining 69,050 experience points. 50 points party bonus. Chapter 57, Air Spirit Ains. Facing a spellcaster class monster would be quite troublesome if players did not possess any passive or automated damage reducing skills. Zhang Yang felt grateful that he could learn a particular skill when he reached level 30. Shield Wall was an active skill that reduced 75% of all incoming attacks for 10 seconds. Before that, he could only fight hoping Lady Luck was on his side. Zhang Yang stopped thinking and shouted, Little Snow, revive me. Little Snow suddenly had an epiphany. Wow, I never knew the experience points could be so much when there's so few people standing. He he he. Maybe next time when the boss is almost down, I'll let you guys just die off again. Hey, hey, hey. Isn't that a little too extreme? What do you think? Little Snow threw a playful wink at Zhang Yang as she chanted the reviving spell. The deadliest housewife ever. Zhang Yang shook his head, disappointed. What did you say? Drizzler retaliated just as she revived. Zhang Yang walked over to Drizzler and patted her timid little head. This doesn't concern you, little brat. You're still very far away from being a housewife. Little Snow, on the other hand, smiled sexily. Hey, hey. This elder cousin is not a housewife. Sigh, she's not even close to being a pretty lady, but how could she have the nerve to behave like a supermodel? Zhang Yang did not want to waste more time, and quickly commanded, open the corpse. Aha. Uh -huh. Mine. Drizzler ran over and grabbed the chance to open the corpse. Fatty Han sadly lost all his chances to open the corpse ever since Drizzler and her cousin joined the party. This little brat collects all the gold coins first like she always do, and only then would she get the equipment. Fiery Longbow, Green Copper, Ranged Weapon. Weapon Attack, 99 to 117. Attack Interval, 2.7 seconds. DPS, 40. Equip effect, forged from the finest of flames, every attack will have a 5% chance to inflict additional 50 to 70 fire damage. Level requirement, 20. Good hands, Drizzler. Very good indeed. Zhang Yang laughed. That's an excellent piece of bow. Drizzler was still a young little girl, immature and playful. She got happy and excited after being praised. 100 shots, 79 points. Fatty Han, 77 points. Fatty, I ain't holding back now. 100 shots swapped for the new equipment as soon as he obtained the weapon. 100 shots felt it was disgraceful to be lowest in damage output that tarnished his pride. He did not want people to think that he was dragging the team down. Fatty Han smiled and waved his hand, don't sweat it. We're friends after all. Zhang Yang, being startled, forced himself to speak. So far, our party composition doesn't make sense. If there's a knight, thief, 
or spellcaster equipment, we'd have no choice but to auction it out. We'll have to quickly set up another team, prioritizing class to not waste any more equipment. With his 10-man party as a base, we can take on the professional league. We can even take on the 10-man dungeon, or perhaps even the 20-man. Burning chest plate, green copper, leather armor. Defense, plus 4. Vitality, plus 22. Strength, plus 4. Dexterity, plus 14. Level requirement, 20. A hunter's equipment again. Fatty, you'd better take this one. I've already taken the bow. Hundred shots smiled. Fatty Han took the equipment happily. A character's damage depended highly on the weapon, hundred shots damage power increased to a certain degree after he obtained the new weapon. Fatty Han on the other hand needed a new armor, as his HP was the lowest in the party. Drizzler just began to scold the boss dead body, TCH. Stingy boss. Talk so much but so little equipment. Chue. I spit on your corpse. Ha. Huh. Drizzler, the boss might remember this and get back at you the next time we fight it. Zhang Yang tried to frighten her, and it worked. What if they were to fight this boss again tomorrow, and the boss called her flat a second time? What would she do then? When everything has settled down, the door behind the dead boss body opened automatically, revealing the pathway that led them to the last boss, Air Spirit Ains. Naturally, they cleared the minions along the way, and reached the end. Enraged Air Elemental, Elite. Level, 23. HP, 50,000. Almost all elemental monsters had the same appearance, the only difference was their color. Water was blue, earth was brown, fire was red, and air was white. The monsters on the pathway were little, having only three to four monsters. However, their numbers matched evenly with their HP, one monster's HP was just as high as the boss. Listen, this kind of monster is often called as Tank Slayer. They are very strong. Zhang Yang unsheathed his sword. Okay, here I go. Zhang Yang used, charge, and initiated the fight. Dodge. Dodge. Block. Dodge. Zhang Yang moved around like a fish in the water. He evaded all the monster's attacks with ease, not a single attack landed on him. Seeing Zhang Yang not taking any damage, she pouted her lips and complained, Hey! Why did you say they were tank slayers? They look like nothing but easy kills. At that moment, Zhang Yang decided to prank Drizzler, and smiled evilly, Why don't you try and use, provoke, dot. Drizzler wanted to prove him wrong so badly that she did not give a second thought. She used, provoke. 783 832 Ding. Player Drizzler has died. At hash dollar percent. You sneaky little noob tank. I swear we will never get along ever. Drizzler exploded in the party channel. Ha ha. I would say that you're an ant who thinks it can carry an elephant, but you'll only know it once you've tried it. Zhang Yang justified his actions while at the same time slashing the monster. Bastard. You'll pay for this. Drizzler was both puffing with anger and sniffling in tears. Cousin. When the monster is left with 5% HP, let the noob tank die. Ha ha, okay. Little Snow played along. Very soon, the monster's HP dropped down to 5%, and Little Snow stopped her healing on Zhang Yang and hummed a random song. However, a guardian would not have any trouble dodging and nullifying attacks when faced with a physical attack monster. Besides, the monster was just an elite, its attack were not as fast nor as deadly as a boss, making it extremely easy for Zhang Yang to evade them. The monster fell before he could even lose all his HP. But Zhang Yang held back his laughter. I'll revive her. He laughed. 
Drizzler got back up to her feet. She was obviously angry, flares were coming out from her nostril, and she stared at Zhang Yang with such wide eyes that you could tell the iris apart from the sclera. As they continued to move on the pathway, they encountered more minions. They were strong, but Zhang Yang's party was not weak either. As troublesome as it may have seemed, the pathway had been cleared and they arrived at the boss chamber 30 minutes later. Air Spirit Aims, Green Copper Level, 24 HP, 144K The boss stood more than 20 meters tall. On its right hand, it was holding a heavy spear even taller than itself, it was weird it could still float so easily above ground. The battle would just be the same as the previous one, only the boss with no minions. Ahem. Zhang Yang cleared his throat loudly, signaling that it was time for his speech. This boss is a physical attack type, and they are powerful. Its first skill is, Sonic Pierce. This skill will be casted on the player with the highest aggro. One attack will deal about 1500 damage, so little snow here will have to always make sure my HP has to exceed 1200 HP. I will also try to reserve, block, for this as the skill would only trouble the tank and healer. Zhang Yang paused. Everyone alright so far? Yeah. Remember this, the second and third skill is very important to everyone. As soon as the battle starts, the boss will cast out 10 gas bombs. These bombs are homing projectiles and explode upon contact, causing 1200 magic damage to everyone. Now, the good thing is that these bombs are not so fast, so maneuvering away would be easy. Its third skill is probably the most bothersome one ever, Summon Clouds. These Summon Clouds will chase you at an incredible speed. Now, the clouds itself do not attack but once it's made contact with anyone, it will inflict a 10 second stun effect, proving enough time for the previous bombs to chase up to you. These clouds can be destroyed. They are about 5000 HP, easily removed. That's why once the boss releases the little clouds, Fatty Han and 100 shots will have to shoot them down. You guys have to make sure they don't touch anyone. This battle is about speed and movement. You can't win this match solely by slouching and hitting the boss. Ho ho. This is interesting. Let's give it a go. Drizzler was breathing heavily with excitement, eager to fight the boss. Alright, let's fight and get used to the tactics. The five of them walked into the battlefield together. Here I go. Zhang Yang initiated the battle with... Charge. To see you standing here in this battle proves that all of you have the potential. But your fight ends here, for I will crush you personally. Air Spirit Ains swung its spear and furiously thrust it at Zhang Yang. Dodged. Zhang Yang spread out. The boss attack was fast, but as long as it was not a skill attack, he could still continue to evade the attacks. After equipping the new bow, 100 shots attacking power reached to that of Drizzler, surpassing even Fatty Han's attack power. Aside from Little Snow the healer, everyone's attacking power was considered above average. In less than 10 minutes, the boss has lost 10% HP. Detestable pest. Die. Air Spirit Ains let out a loud growl, releasing 10 of 1 meter wide white colored gas sphere from his body. It slowly floated across the battlefield and started chasing everyone. Ding. Air Spirit Ains has unleashed, Air Bomb. Here come the bombs, guys. Mind your steps. Zhang Yang pulled the boss and started to shift his position away from the incoming, Air Bomb. Puny mortal. I will crush you. A red light glimmered across the boss body. It then raised its spear. Ding. Air Spirit Ains has used, Sonic Pierce. Zhang Yang's athletic was immediately triggered, activating, block, in crucial moments. Block. 117. Block, reflected damage. 234. Shield Bash. 
Nicely done. The boss skill had a preemptive movement that indicated the attack. Even so, it only provided a tenth of a second's time for the player to activate, block, to nullify the attack. This ability to grasp the short time to react is not for everyone. The four of them cheered in admiration. Guys, be alert here. Don't just stand there and stare. Zhang Yang hurriedly reminded the team when he saw them gazing at him. Stinking little pests. Let's have some fun. Air Spirit Ains stuck up his butt and let out several fist-sized clouds. These clumps of fart gases floated slowly up into the air and suddenly flew to Drizzler at a shocking speed. Ding. Air Spirit Ains has used, summoned cloud. You. Everyone but Zhang Yang frowned in disgust. This boss was really just putrid. Chapter 58, Wiped and Wiped Again. Fatty. Hundred shots. Quick, take down the clouds. In the light of a dangerous situation, Zhang Yang commanded the team properly while bearing the responsibility of a party leader. Drizzler was scared beyond words. If she would really take it in, even a tiny bit of that boss putrid fart would make her not eat anything for days. With Zhang Yang's clear words, Hundred Shots and Fatty Han turned around and changed their targets quickly and began attacking the cloud. However, the cloud's movement speed was too fast for them to properly react. Even though they managed to take half of the cloud's HP off, they were not quick enough to stop it from touching Drizzler. As soon as the cloud touched her, she cried out for help. No. No. Ding. Player Drizzler has received the, summon clouds, effect, rotten stink, stunned for 10 seconds. The stationary Drizzler wobbled back and forth while the, air bomb, slowly floated towards her. 1200. 1200. 1200. 1200. 960. Aside from Zhang Yang, the rest of the team's HP were in the red zone. As she was still stunned, Drizzler had another bomb coming at her. 1200. 1200. 1200. 1200. 960. Ding. Player Drizzler has died. Ding. Player Little Snow has died. Ding. Player. Complete Annihilation. Five souls appeared at the revive points. Blair. 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 Stinky boss. Rotten boss. Shit. 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 Drizzler's face had nothing but the expression of disgust. She stuck out her tongue and spat out everywhere. Calm down, Drizzler. This is all just a game. There's nothing real about this. Zhang Yang consoled. Be but, it's just so real. It's so smelly. I think I can still smell it on me. Drizzler cried. Fatty Han smiled evilly. Use XXX soap. Wash up for your health. Scram. Four middle fingers pointed at him. Shush. Five new souls entered the revive point. At this period of the dungeon exploration stage, there would be many parties sent by many guilds, wiped out in different ways, crowding the revive points. The newly arrived souls were Crimson Rage's party. Snow Seeker posted a question in the local channel, oh, it's none other than Zhang Yu, the party leader. Where did you guys stop at? Have you guys defeated the first boss? With the appearance of a beautiful woman, Fatty Han started to behave manly. He then replied, actually, Miss Beautiful Snow, I'm the real player behind the scene. I was the one who trained Little Yang. Ignoring his comments, Zhang Yang answered her question with another question. He he, Snow Guild Master. What about you? Where did you guys stop at? Snow Seeker replied after a few moments later at the local channel, we started off with the middle wing. 
right now, we defeated the first boss, and are still fighting the second. They started the dungeon with a middle wing. Zhang Yang thought for a while about it, and finally pieced it together. What they did was to hide the truth within a lie. While everyone was fighting furiously for the front wing first clear achievement, these girls silently raided the middle wing. This way, they would have saved themselves a lot of time. This method, no, this strategy was indeed ingenious. The only hiccup they could have ever faced was Zhang Yang's party. Wow, what a coincidence. We're also fighting the second boss. Zhang Yang decided to tell her the truth since the other party was doing the same. Shit. All five Crimson Rage party members grit their teeth. How could they be so far? Sister Snow, could he be lying to us on purpose? I think he's trying to inflict us with mental stress. Ever since her last encounter with Zhang Yang, Thorny Rose had nothing but a bad impression of him. Snow Seeker thought for a while, and shook her head, denying her suggestion. I don't believe that's the case. We can clearly see how fast Zhan Yu's team proceeded to conquer the front wing. It would only be normal to think that they could progress this far. White Orchid became worried. T then, we s should. Let the horses loose, empty the stable. There is no other way but forward. We'll have to use all our efforts to win this round. We have to defeat this boss. Snow Seeker turned her gaze at her teammates. Dancer, Perfume. I want the both of you to increase your attack speed on the summoned clouds. Rose, for God's sake, please pay attention to the air bomb, don't just chase the boss. Be but Sister Snow, I'm all boobs. White Orchid interjected Thorny Rose's word. All boobs, no brains. Yeah, I've heard that a thousand times now. Please stop using that as an excuse for your incompetence. I'm warning you. If you make another mistake, I'll take a plane and fly over to Juhang. I'll personally go to your house and burst those meaty sacks of fat. TCH Thorny Rose lowered her head in submission and whisper, my boobs are really that big. Perfumed water suddenly voiced out, you know, if you want to compare breast sizes, our sister Snow here is the real deal. He he. She's 36F. Is that for real? Of course it's real. It's a pity that Sister Snow always wears loose clothing. What a humble woman she is. He he. I even felt her size myself. Perfumed water continued to brag. You little witch. How dare you defile Sister Snow. I, I haven't even touched hers before. Sister Snow. Let me touch em. The five women turned the quiet scene into the utmost chaotic room. Zhang Yang's party went into the dungeon and revived. Whoa. That fight was really intense. The party members started to have small talk as they ran into the boss chamber. Little Yang. T they re all freaking beautiful. How about this, we let them have this round? You know, to get them to owe us a favor. Who knows one day they may repay us. That's when we can hit on them back. I could have two. No, three. Arg. I'd have them all. Fatty Hand started to dwell in his own imagination. H.M., what? I didn't hear you. I was thinking that I should find another hunter to replace you when I take down the next dungeon. Zhang Yang sighed loudly. Oh brilliant. I concur. You have my vote as well. Two thumbs up for me. Three voices spoke out. F asterisk CK. Since when did I become public enemy number one? Fatty Han shook his head, disapproving their action. When the party arrived at the entrance of the boss chamber, all five of them sat down and started to chew on recovery snacks before they moved into the chamber together. Fatty Han. Hundred shots. I'd leave the 
summon clouds, to you guys. We got it covered. Here I go. Shush. Zhang Yang used, charge, to dash into the fight once more. Remembering the fart from the boss, Drizzler Guts were still filled with boiling rage. You did not need to tell her, she would go on and fight the boss herself. As she furiously fought the boss, swinging her weapon around wrathfully, she looked like someone who had completely lost her mind. Ha ha ha. More pesky bugs have come here to offer their lives. Ains laughed manically and raised its spear to pierce Zhang Yang. I shall personally send you all to hell. The battle began. After a minute into the fight. Fatty. Hundred. The clouds. Crap. I'm stunned. Shit, it's about to explode. The five of them were sent back to the revive point. Little Yang, I really think that the two of us are not enough. Let little Drizzler help us with the clouds. Fatty Han voiced out his suggestion. Blair. 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 No way in hell am I going near those smelly clouds. Drizzler shook her head left and right as fast as she could. Zhang Yang also shook his head, disagreeing. Melee attackers can't attack the clouds. She would be stunned once she makes any contact with it. Okay, let's try it this way. Once the cloud is out, Little Snow, I want you to stop healing and start attacking. I think I can handle myself when all three of you are busy with the clouds. Hmm. Sounds good. Let's go. They revived, entered the dungeon, recovered their health, and started the boss fight. Two minutes later, they were wiped out again. Hmm. That was satisfactory, three of you with the clouds. Yes. That's the way. Let's stick to this. Zhang Yang tried to console the team. Fatty. I think you should really consider dieting. If your head weren't so big, the cloud would take 0.1 seconds more to reach you. We can still destroy that cloud instead of it smashing onto you directly. Drizzler playfully ridiculed. Little Drizzler, this fat body of mine is as important as my own life. Fatty Han chuckled. There are three benefits when you have a meaty body. Oh here he goes again. Fatty bro, are you trying to fool around again? Hell no. Listen. Being fat has three benefits. Number one, fat has high buoyancy, I won't drown that easily. Number two, fat makes me heavy, heavy makes good momentum, you'll be sure to be at advantage in a fight. Number three, fat is cool. F asterisk 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 ck. Four members booed Fatty Han. The party restarted the fight, and tried again. Complete annihilation. Again. All dead. Again and again. Little Yang, this boss is very tough. Fatty Han shook his head. I, I can't continue on anymore. My equipment's durability is almost gone. I'd need to go back to the city to have it fixed. No need. Zhang Yang hurriedly answered. There is an NPC in the entrance of the dungeon there. He's a blacksmith. He can fix your equipment. Let's revive and get out of the dungeon first then. How could we fail that many times? Drizzler thought about it but she could not find a way to solve it. The battle strategy was clearly laid out, but every time the fight started, she always got messed up. Making mistakes where she should not have made mistakes. The only reason she could think of is the, summon cloud, not being destroyed fast enough which led the, air bomb, to kill them all. We have been fighting for some time now. Everyone must be tired. Zhang Yang thought of a solution and said, guys, after we repaired our equipment, let's all log off and rest for an hour. It's already after 3 p.m. now and we haven't had our lunch yet. This is a bad condition for us to continue playing. Have a meal, 
have some rest and we'll meet back here at 5 p.m. sharp. We'll defeat the boss in one go then. Okay. Everyone nodded their head in agreement. In the beginning, they were eager to fight, excited to defeat the boss, and claim the first clear achievement. Of course, they would not feel hunger. However, once the fight dragged on longer and longer, and getting wiped over and over again, everyone lost their will and was unable to properly focus in battle. Unsurprisingly, mistakes will be made. They revived and went out of the dungeon to get their equipment repaired to its full durability. One by one, the team logged out and rest. Phew! Zhang Yang took off the helmet and let out a deep sigh. He cannot help but reminisce the gaming capsule he used five years later. In about half a year later, God's Miracle would have released a series of revolution. Number 1, a change in the gameplay style, allowing players to continue to play the game even in sleep. This method allowed countless of working adults to fully enjoy the game. Furthermore, the in-game time and reality time was set to be 3-1. Three hours in-game would be one hour in reality, allowing everyone take part in this wonderful world. Number 2, Introduction to the Gaming Capsule The utilization of both the gaming helmet and the gaming capsule would not cause any effect on the player character. The gaming capsule was developed by the Aerospace Technology and the Starseas Chamber. It had the function to provide nutrients and supplement the body needed in a fixed time interval. As long as the players were willing to do it, they could continue to play the game as long as 15 days in real life, with no side effect. When the gaming capsule was first released, it was obviously too expensive for normal citizens to purchase. It was a luxury only the rich could afford. One set of gaming capsule actually caused millions of dollars. Even a luxury car was inferior to the machine. It was only after two years later when the developers managed to solve a manufacturer problem that the gaming capsule became cheaper and many now could enjoy the product. Number 3, The Launch of the Professional League Championship Zhang Yang clenched his fist tightly. His heart was filled with immense excitement. He only had one year left to prepare himself. One year, that was when Yu Li entered the game. With her in his mind, Zhang Yang's eyes turned soft and kind, his mind was calmed down instantly as if a heavenly tree grew in his heart. Chapter 59, One More Time Zhang Yang reconnected to the game exactly on 5pm. He strolled for a little while and the rest of team appeared beside him almost simultaneously. Wow, I've got to tell you. After I had an awesome meal and had a warm bath, I feel so relaxed. Drizzler sounded refreshed and energetic. I feel like I could punch a tiger if one comes out now. Ha ha. Very well, Tiger Slayer. I have high expectations of you. Zhang Yang snickered. Drizzler snorted and proudly replied, HMPH. Just watch me. The party team regrouped together and entered the dungeon once again. They could not even remember how many times they had entered and re-entered. Now that the first boss was killed off before, the entire arena was empty. The only remaining monster in this dungeon was the boss, until the dungeon was refreshed and respawned all the missing monsters at midnight. All right, I'm not going to waste my breath to explain again. I believe everyone knows what they should do by now. We can win this if each of you do your part. Remember? We are the best. We are the best. Let's go. Shush. Both Zhang Yang and Drizzler used charge at the same time. Zhang Yang then activated provoke, drawing the boss attention towards him. Puny mortals. Die in hell. Almost every boss loved to use this kind of arrogant, powerful, and even provoking kind of speech to officially start the fight. 90%, 80%. The boss HP reduced smoothly without any complications. Ding. Air Spirit Ains has used, summoned Cloud. Careful. 
The thoughts are coming. Zhang Yang screamed to alert the members. In an instant, hundred shots, Fatty Han, and Little Snow had their eyes locked onto the clouds and started their attacks. 282 381 224 Having only 5000 HP, the cloud was quickly destroyed under the concentrated chain attacks by three players. That's right. That's the way to do it. Look at how easy that was. Zhang Yang moved around, pulling the boss on the hand, and evading incoming, Air Bong, on the other. In fact, all five of the party members were not stationary. Everyone was always constantly moving around. The bomb was not meant to be taken lightly, one touch and they would be completely wiped out again. 70%, 60%, 50%. The battle went better than expected this time. Their reaction speed and attention were raised after having proper rest and a decent meal. While performing at their best, the cloud was killed off in no time. No one ignored the air bomb, and each of them carried out their role properly. This was the true way to raid a dungeon. Each player had to play their specific role properly. An attack must have had enough damage power. A tank had to be strong enough to withstand attacks and had good crowd control skill. A healer had to be a good support and healing power. The remaining extra players filled in with the others while not making mistakes. However easy the strategy may be, it always seemed harder to execute the plan in actual battle. It was hard to make sure that everyone could perform their part flawlessly. With that theory in mind, a 5-man dungeon was easier than a 10-man dungeon, which was easier than a 20-man dungeon, and a 20-man dungeon was far easier than a 50-man dungeon. It was much easier for a 5-man team to make no mistake, but to make sure a 15-man dungeon to run smoothly was not impossible, but extremely hard. 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%. Guys, fight harder. Victory is just one step ahead. Don't let your guard down. The fight is hardest at the 11th hour. The last part is always the hardest. Do not fret. Zhang Yang immediately tried to boost the team's morale. They were excited and agitated. 8 5%, 5%, 3%, 2%, 1%, 0%, thud. The boss falls defeated. Ding. You and the party members around you have killed Air Spirit Ains. Obtaining 28,850 experience points. 50 points party bonus. Ding. Your party has successfully conquered Marsway's lair, middle wing, hardcore mode, and obtained the first clear achievement. This glorious accomplishment will be recorded in the hardcore first clear achievement board. As the party leader, please name your party. Without needing to ask anyone for it, Zhang Yang immediately keyed in Lone Desert Smoke into the confirmation box, and the server channel was dyed in red color again. Server announcement, Party Lone Desert Smoke has obtained the first clear achievement, Marsway's Lair, Middle Wing, Hardcore Mode. This glorious achievement will be recorded in the Hardcore First Clear Achievement Board, China Server. Server announcement, Player Zhang Yu, Party leader has obtained the first clear achievement, Marsway's Lair, Middle Wing, Hardcore Mode. Obtaining 10 gold pieces, 1 skill point, and 500 increased all races' reputation from the system reward. Server announcement, player. We did IT. Fatty Han's thundering voice could be heard clearly among the cheering of the other party members. Being stuck for roughly 4 hours at this boss, they could finally let loose their built-up stress. The guild channel was also in complete chaos. Everyone was extremely happy, jumping around crazily. With their guild name out in the open, everyone was celebrating this joyful event. Imagine walking in public with a guild tag on your head, all swag and cool. Hey, hey. 
Look at this player here. Don't you know? This is the guild that claimed two consecutive first clear achievements. Ha! Huh? You've never heard of it. Ha! Huh? You're outdated now, bro. Ha ha ha. Fatty Han had been laughing uncontrollably for a while. Little Yarn. How about we take down the main wing as well tonight? Sigh. Ignorant people sure are dangerous. Zhang Yang shook his head in disappointment. Huh? What's wrong? Fatty Han turned and looked at hundred shots, pleading for an explanation. Both of them were hunters, and since they had several common features, they became best friends immediately. The main wing is a twenty-man dungeon. We can't do it alone. His best friend explained. F asterisk CK. Why did it suddenly turned into a twenty-man dungeon? Fatty Han became angry. Ha ha ha. Zhang Yang laughed. That's because the main wing will drop a set equipment. Set equipment. Set equipment will grant a secondary effect when worn together. Out of the five equipment, there is the head, chest, hands, sheen, and legs. If you have three of out five equipment you will gain an effect. If you have all five of the set, you will gain the second effect. A set equipment effect is very strong, just like putting on one more piece of equipment. Having two effects is like wearing two extra equipment. Very op. Zhang Yang patted Drizzler on her shoulder, and when she turned to at him, he pointed his finger to the corpse, gesturing her to open the corpse. What about the set effect of a hunter's equipment? Fatty Han added. Zhang Yang could not recall any more. A level 20 equipment was just a temporary equipment that would be quickly replaced. Plus, he was never a hunter, and level 20 was something he had forgotten years ago. He shook his head and said, sorry. I've forgot. The only thing I could remember was the warrior set effect. Three equipment set effect was that every time you take damage, you have a chance to generate a barrier that can absorb up to 500 damage. The five equipment set effect was 10% damage increase. While Zhang Yang was explaining to Fatty Han, Drizzler opened an equipment. Air Spirit Sword, Green Copper, One-Handed Sword. Weapon Attack, 88 to 104. Attack Interval, 2.4 seconds. DPS, 40. Level Requirement, 20. The only person who could use this sword was Zhang Yang. However, since he already had the grey silver sword in his hands, he did not need a lower grade sword. Take it up to the auction house. We'll share the profit, said Zhang Yang. All the other party members nodded their head in unison, and Little Snow took the item. Being gold misers, Little Snow and Drizzler were the only ones who would try to snatch it away. If other bandits, guardians, or defenders found out what they were about to do with a sword, they would literally cry their eyes out. How could any situation lead to the equipment being unwanted? Little Yang, when could we fight the main wing? Fatty Han had the set equipment in his mind. HM. Let's try this. Tonight, we should all split up and try to form two teams to raid the Banger Crypt Hardcore mode. We try our best to quickly pick out 20 players with strong, above-than-average equipment. Zhang Yang started his train of thoughts. Once he became the guild master, he was fast enough to get into character. His responsibility had increased, and so did his expanded way of thinking. Right now, Little Snow, Drizzler, Hundred Shots, and Fatty Han were level 20. There was hope that they could dominate the hardcore mode, with just their level and equipment. Engineering Recipe, Gas Bomb, Engineering Recipe. Use, teaches you how to make a, gas bomb. Requirement, engineering. This boss was quite stingy. Aside from the sword, it only gave a recipe, and a skill book. Among the team, Hundred Shots took the recipe because he was the only one that learned engineering. That would take days. 
Little Yang, what if someone else claimed the main wing first clear achievement first? Fatty Han was already addicted to claiming the achievement. In his mind, the achievements was rightfully theirs. Zhang Yang laughed. If someone can and have taken it, well, it can't be helped. However, you must know that a 20-man dungeon is extremely hard. It's easy if it's just normal mode, and it would just drop normal equipment. But the hard mode and hardcore mode is a whole other story. There was a fact that Zhang Yang chose to hide, if anyone had the intention to conquer Marzui's lair before level 30, they had to depend on the beginner anti-shadow potion to do it. And with the rarity of the recipe, Zhang Yang wholeheartedly believed that only very few people in China possessed this particular recipe. As long as he did not release the potion out in the market, it was downright impossible to get passed through the fifth stage of the lair. Skill Book, Holy Shield Use, teaches you the skill, Holy Shield Requirement, Priest Ha! Huh. It actually dropped. Zhang Yang suddenly let out a scream. Now Little Snow can support the team better. The skill book, Holy Shield, was considered to be a global drop, which meant that almost every monster in the world could have the potential to drop this skill book, and not just air spirit aims alone. Once all of the loot was distributed, the party left the dungeon and went to the elf NPC to complete the quest. The elf smiled with satisfaction and awarded them with huge amounts experience points and also granted them the qualifications to enter the last dungeon, Marzway's lair, main wing. Now that we have achieved what we planned, I thank you all for your efforts. Now let's split up and do what you need to do. Remember? Tonight, we must be online. Please do your best to form a 20-man party. Zhang Yang smiled happily. Okay. All of them nodded their heads. Even though they had some rest, there were still people who were quite worn out and chose to log out to rest more. Zhang Yang was one of them. It was a sudden change of character for Zhang Yang. He now had many more aspects and matters to give his thoughts to. He was, at the very least, the vice guild master for the guild clear water in his previous life. A person with a degree of leadership, which helped him when he became the guild master for Lone Desert Smoke now. There was nothing that he was not used to here. The game itself encouraged players to join a guild. The system granted a certain level of benefit to players with a guild, like extra experience points, a level 35 mount, and discount on equipment repair or shopping. Although these extra services did not help in increasing a player's combat ability, but it was still beneficial to a certain extent. In God's Miracle, guilds were categorized into 10 ranks. To increase a guild's rank, the guild would need the corresponding guild upgrade order. The higher the guild's rank, the better the benefits a member could receive. However, aside from the guild upgrade order, the guild would have to accumulate the required amount of guild experience points. Zhang Yang remembered clearly, the first piece of guild upgrade order would be dropped at the level 30 dungeon, Shadow Moon Castle. However, his guild's current accumulated experience points was only 16%. To obtain the guild's experience points, its member had to complete the guild quest. Zhang Yang then decided that the first thing he would do later was to get everyone to complete them. Chapter 60, Guild Contribution World Greeny Fang Foxy Tonight, I want each of you to lead teams of your own. We will be carrying out a raid through the front wing and middle wing. I want all of your members to get qualified for entry to the main wing. Sky Shaman, the guild master of Sky High, was gathering elites in the guild to prepare for a large-scale campaign. Guild master, there are only 17 level 20 players available at the moment. We can't form four teams. World Hunter was quick to address the guild master's oversight. H. How long? How long before we have 20 level 20 players? About 5 hours, sir. 
That's too slow. I want you to arrange a team. I want all level 17 members to help those at level 19 to level up. Within two hours, I want to see all of them at level 20. Sir, yes sir. Sky Shaman turned around and faced his members. His face, initially lined with worry and anxiety, abruptly broke into a broad, knowing smile. Brothers, John Yu and his party may have left us behind for now. But, know this. They are in a bit of a pickle right now. Sky Shamans smiled with such confidence that if he did not know any better, victory was already well within his grasp. Guildmaster. His guildmates spoke up uncertainly, not sharing his sense of conviction, as evidenced by their past repeated losses to John Yu. Sky Shaman's smile only grew wider. They are currently lacking in party members. Take a look at their party formations. They have always been a wild bunch that charges into the fray like Leroy Jenkins. They may have taken on both the Banger Crypt and also part of the Marsway's lair. Have any of you realized that to be the most likely scenario? We, Sky High have dispatched two parties to take down the Marsway's lair. The same goes for the Dominators and Crimson Rage. Both guilds have dispatched two parties just like we did. However, it seems that the most John Yu can cobble up together is one miserable party. This can only lead to one sad conclusion, they simply do not have sufficient level 20 members. The main wing is a 20-man dungeon. No matter how strong John Yu's party may be, they are but a small team. How could they possibly take down the main wing with just five people? World Hunter and his party members' eyes radiated with renewed hope at the prospect of victory, for once. Now listen up. This will be our secret strategy. Know that we must treasure every minute, every second of the day and fight. Fight for our guild's honor. We shall go straight ahead with the main wing and start with the normal mode. There, we will take our time to gather intelligence on the boss. Discover every possible skill, explore every possible outcome. The equipment dropped in the normal mode are all level 20 black steel equipment, which are almost on par with level 10 green copper equipment. If you raid the normal mode of the main wing, it will be no different from raiding the banger crypt hardcore mode. Furthermore, this nest will drop set based equipment. Be it black steel, green copper, or even grey silver, they will all be set equipment with potential set effects. Sky Shaman eyes gleamed with infectious excitement. He went on. The hard mode of the nest will drop a level 20 green copper equipment. Which are the same drops as the hardcore modes of the front wing and middle wing. Which is why I have deduced that we could not possibly fall behind in terms of equipment strength. In fact, we could be even stronger than them. If my calculation is correct, we will have four days before John Yu can even muster up a 20-man party. What say you my brethren? With a four days head start, with all the tactical advantage from all the recon we could carry out, is losing to them even a possibility. Sir, no sir. We will win. That's the spirit. We will win. No, we must win. The first clear achievement of a 20-man hardcore dungeon is much more valuable than a puny 5-man dungeon. We, the Sky High Guild, are the strongest. Sky High's burning passion to overtake John Yu was truly admirable. However, if this so-called burning passion was to be witnessed by Zhang Yang, he would not be intimidated by one bit nor be in awe. He would, on the contrary, be laughing his head off sinisterly. A bunch of lowly players who think that they even matter in the big league. If they did not have John Yu's beginner anti-shadow potion to begin with, they would never ever get past the fifth phase of the Marsways. Yeah sure, the normal mode was practically a free service for you all, but the hardcore mode? If not for anything else pray that you could even end up walking out of the dungeon in one piece. Sky Shaman was not the only one that had a plan to counter John Yu. 
The Dominator and Crimson Rage also had their eyes on the apparent weakness of Zhang Yu, and had devised a plan to overtake him. The war for the next dungeon the first clear achievement was going to get wilder and fiercer. Zhang Yang logged into the game after his dinner. He opened the guild member window and checked the members' statuses. There were a total of 316 members. Only 11 players were level 15 and 99% of the guild member had exceeded level 10. They were all still currently raiding the banger crypt. Zhang Yang quickly invited 100 shots, Fatty Han, Drizzler, and Little Snow into the party and explained his strategy. Once he gained their approval, he turned to the guild channel and began his speech. Hi everyone, of the Lone Desert Smoke. I'm Zhang Yu, the new guild master. Whoa. Whoa. It's Big Brother Zhang Yu. You've finally shown yourself. Wow. My idol. Ah. Please come closer. Please power level me. Praise the almighty boss Zhang Yu. Ahem. Everyone please calm down for a moment and let me speak. Zhang Yang waited for a moment until the members had calmed down. Only then he continued, some say when you receive a higher title, you would need to show your worth for it. Now that I have accepted the title of Guild Master, this is my way of showing my worth. Ha 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 ha. Everyone in the guild broke out in hearty laughter. In an hour's time, Little Snow, Drizzler, Hundred Shots, Slim and Handsome, and I will lead two parties into the Banger Crypt, Hardcore Mode. There, we will start to pick and select the best of you. Awesome. I want in. Oh. Me too. Hey. I want in as well. Big bro John Yu. Please take care of me. Everyone started to get excited as they heard that John Yu himself will be leading them to a dungeon. When there was a chance to get better equipment, who would want to miss out? Zhang Yang waited again for the guild members to settle down and then he continued. I'm sure everyone is looking forward for this, but keep in mind that there are only two parties available. There are limited slots. Which is why Drizzler and I have made a decision to properly solve this problem. Whoever has contributed more to the guild will be prioritized. Big Boss Zhang Yu. What is this guild contribution and how do we get them? Most of the members started to echo the question. He he, this is a new invention of mine. Zhang Yang explained. In the future, whenever we want to raid a dungeon, the members with higher guild contributions will have higher priorities in joining the expedition. To earn contribution points, you must complete a guild quest. I have already designed a few guild quests. Furthermore, you can also earn contribution points by raiding the specifically assigned dungeon. There are other ways for you to earn contribution points such as donating items into the guild's bank, obtaining special system rewards and help in promoting the guild's name. However, these points aren't just for show. You can spend these points to exchange equipment from the guild. That is why everyone has the chance to do it. The guild got rowdy and some had even scooted away to carry out the new guild quests. Guild quests were almost similar to that of daily quests. You could only complete 5 quests a day. However, these quests were repeatable. This meant that the quests could be repeated day after day. The quests were simple and easy to complete. Some of the quests were as easy as killing a certain number of monster or running from places to places. All it would take was just a few moments of your time. Zhang Yang switched to the party channel and spoke to the team. Later, I will bring a team on my own. The four of you will bring another team. Both Fatty and Hundred Shots are Beast Master classes. Their two pets are almost the same as two tanks. With their level, they can easily take down a level 10 hardcore dungeon. Little Yang, can you really do it alone? Fatty Han tried to reason with Zhang Yang. 
he was afraid that he might get over his head and failed to leave a good impression to the guild members. Zhang Yang snickered. If that's the case, how about we make a bet? Let's compete in a race for the dungeon speed run. Drizzler quickly replied. Put. Puny little tank boy. We have four level 20 players here including me. Even if you could fight with all your might, you could only be matched with both Pervy Fatty and Uncle Hundred. Plus, I'm a super sailor soldier. Just I alone would be an even match for six or seven of your party members. Furthermore, we have my cousin here with her super duper huge support. Drizzler paused and grasped two invisible balls in her hands that seemed to be at chest level. Our team would only need one healer. Ha! Ah. That's right. Little Snow wrapped her arms underneath her chest and slightly raised them up, causing them to jiggle. Ha ha! I take it that you have accepted the challenge? Zhang Yang intentionally provoked them. Drizzler walked up to Zhang Yang with an intimidating expression. She patted her flat chest and said out loud, We accept. Just you wait. You'll soon be kneeling on the floor admitting your defeat. Little Yang. Even though I've always been supporting your back, but now, I just want to defeat you badly. Fatty Han rebelled. Zhang Yu. This is a fight for honor and pride. I will not hold back. Hundred shots declared. All right, all right. I still have to remind you that the skill of the first boss, Black Claw, will increase the damage you take. It is not a conventional attack buff, but rather a debuff on its target. Very deadly. Even if you're level 40, your pet will still die in a hit if you let the debuffs stack too high. The best strategy is this. Have two of your pets go up and fight together to accumulate aggro. Pull back any one of the two pets that is the first to stack two layers of death stare. Have the second pet take over the aggro and hold on. When the second pet is inflicted with two stacks of death stare, pull it back and switch the other pet back in. This one of the many ways to switch tanks. Zhang Yang gave them the advice because he was afraid that they were not all free from chances of failure. Hundred shots and Fatty Han nodded together approvingly. They thought that Zhang Yang's strategy made perfect sense. One hour later, the members' contribution points started to have some visible changes. There were more than ten members who had completed five guild quests and obtained five points each. Some others had stopped at four and three points individually. The guild experience points managed to accumulate to a total of one percent. Little Snow. You guys get to pick your party member first. Zhang Yang smiled sincerely as he let them have the first pick. Now that they had the chance, they did not want to lose to Zhang Yang's little challenge. They then chose accordingly to their class and guild contribution and picked out six members to form a ten-man party. After they had formed their party, Zhang Yang picked the next nine members with the highest guild contribution points and also form a complete party. Those who had been selected were happy and satisfied. This was not to say those who were not selected lost all hope. They knew that if they were not picked today, there is always a chance that they could be selected tomorrow. All members were more than eager to complete their guild quests. Gather at the dungeon entrance later. We'll start the timer and go in together. With the strong intention to win the dungeon, everyone braced themselves to fight the dungeon with a welcoming heart. Even if they could not get their hands on an equipment, they would still fight for victory. After 10 minutes, two teams, 20 players were gathered at the dungeon entrance. Little Yang. Competition comes before our friendship now. We will not hold back this time. He he. Likewise. To the dungeon. Zhang Yang switched to the party channel. Fellow members. Are you ready to lose to them? Hell no. Do you want to win? Hell yeah. Awesome. 
Later, I'll go ahead and kite the monsters, do not attack until I say so. If you cannot follow this one thing, please leave the dungeon now. Zhang Yang's tone gradually became stern. Roger that. Zhang Yang drew his blade and used, charge, on one of the monsters. Following closely was a normal attack that dealt 364 damage and raised his rage by 39 points. He immediately used horizontal sweep and dealt significant damage to the group of monsters. He then shouted without looking back at his teammates. Follow me. Zhang Yang moved further into the dungeon. The rest of the party were awestruck for a moment before quickly recovering and regaining their pace after his trail. And just like that, Zhang Yang was at the forefront, closely followed by the monsters that he had not killed off, and the further behind were the party members. In a short amount of time, Zhang Yang arrived to the second wave of monsters. Just as his charge cooldown refreshed, he immediately used charge and dashed towards them, leaving the monsters that were following behind further. He did a normal attack, following closely with a horizontal sweep and a thunder strike. The chain attack dealt a huge amount of damage and also caused a 5 second slowdown on the monsters following behind. Zhang Yang moved on further into the dungeon and within 3 minutes, they had already arrived at the first boss's entrance. Zhang Yang had kiked not only the monsters but also the bouncers that stood guard at the boss's chamber. Zhang Yang had more than 10 monsters kiked in a go. T this is a straight flush.